All right. That's pure alcohol, by the way. Wow. Take two, guys. We're about to uh, use the best class setup in Warzone 2. If you want to win games easily, this is not clickbait. This ain't like me trying to get views or subs or make you guys set notifications to all. I'm simply sharing this to make the game easier for you guys. Anyone out there who maybe didn't win a game of Warzone, maybe doesn't have a class or a gun that feels that good or a setup or a build that you like to use, but I promise you this gun is easy that anyone and everyone, no matter the creature, bro, you can use this. Whatever your skill level. It'll be easy to control, easy to handle, and I think you'll get your first dub if you have it. So check this out. This is my second attempt at making this sesh because my previous one, I wasn't able to pause the music with a button. Like, I want to be able to control my stream. I don't want to feel like my PC is taking over. All right, we're hopping in. So I'm going to show one more time. This time I won't take 30 minutes to get to the class setup. I'm going to get to it in the first couple minutes here. If I can locate how to get to the game. One sec, guys. Just figuring out the menus. All right, so I'm going to switch it out for... I'll switch out the STB. Let me just make sure I save this. The STB is actually very solid, a very fun gun. I like it quite a bit. It does remind me of the Tar 21 a little bit. A lot of guns in this game kind of do the Razorback. But the Tag 56 is kind of like the Scar L from past CODs. It's kind of like a better version of an M4, literally. It's almost what the M4 used to feel like in the past. You know what this is like? This is like an ACR, kind of. Kind of. It's not hard to use, bro. Anyone can use this gun. It's the most used weapon and ranked for ARs. At least it was, and it still probably is. For me, for backup, the Lockman is still my favorite SMG, but for AR, you can't go wrong with attack. My build is for Warzone, so it's not going to be like your build. I have a couple setups here. One does not have the AMOP. The other one does. This one doesn't have the bigger mag for Warzone. I think it had the second tread on before, but I believe I was just testing out this muzzle on here. But the setup I want you guys to use, the build with it is right here. For Warzone 2, I'm talking like El Masra. You could probably get away with this on uh, Vondel. You could probably take the AMOP 4 off, but since I'll be using the SMG for close up, I wanted this gun to be used for range. AMOP 4, I know there's many steps to this, but it's necessary. Check your dead zones. Make sure these are raised so you're so it's not sliding when you're trying to tune the gun. I have mine a little more towards flinch resistance with far. A 60 round mag because you're going to need it. You're just going to need that ammo to blow, bro. High velocity, damage range, steadiness. More towards those sides. You can tune it how you want. But I was testing, bro. And I was just trying to get that fine tune. You get anywhere, anywhere in this range. You'll see my tune. You can try for yourself. But the tune can be up to you, truly. But this is a build that, man, I cannot wait to use. The Hairbringer adds velocity and range. I added more smoothness and stability to make it even easier to use. The Tundra Pro Barrel adds range and velocity as well. Of course, we have the high velocity rounds on. I want to make sure this can hit at a distance, yo. It doesn't have a ton of damage, but it's so easy to use. You'll hit enough shots to put them down real quick. Okay, so this one's not as tuned. More towards steadiness than anything, but watch what happens. So it's at point 15. Watch what happens. It literally gets worse looking. I swear, like, you lose mobility and you lose even steadiness. You'll sometimes get more steadiness going the other way. It looks like that at least. All right, I was at point 15. And then that's it, bro. AMOP 4, Tundra Pro Barrel, the Hair Binger, High Velocity, 60 round mag. Give it a go, my dudes. My dead zones aren't lowered right now, but let's just give it a little gander. 
from this range, you're going to have to burst. You're just going to have to. Or else you're going to miss a lot. Make sure your dead zones are lowered. If not, by default, they're 0.14. That's way too high, bro. I went to this local shop near me, right? And there's this dude, the owner of the shop, playing Modern Warfare 2. He doesn't really know. I mean, he doesn't. He doesn't know what I do. I haven't told him or nothing. I just saw him playing Modern Warfare 2 in his own shop on a big flat screen TV, right? I was like, yo. I mean, I play. I know life. The crap out of Modern Warfare 2. Like, this is my game, bro. Did you try lowering your dead zones? I don't know if you got into your settings and changed your input dead zones so you can be, you know, so you can be more accurate. He's just looking at me like, uh, I'm like, oh, all right. I just, it, it'll just help you be more accurate. He's like, all right. He didn't even say, all right. He was just like, Sometimes I wonder if this guy's on something more than just weed. That's not weed, Shaggy. When someone doesn't do something that will 100% make them more accurate, it makes me question, did you, did you even hear what I said? Did you even listen? Did you stop listening the moment I spoke? Because that's how it goes. The moment I speak sometimes, people will just shut off. Unless you're saying something that's like drama or like... Or like controversial or that's like a trigger word but if you're trying to talk about something of pure genuine trying to help improve level up people will just shut down like all right yeah whatever whatever dude it's like what if i told you i have millions upon millions of dollars i'm rich and famous and i'm an emperor of a whole damn planet what if i would that help you like What will it take for people to actually listen to you? Still trying to figure that out. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on notifications and use this class setup if you want to win. From this range, you're going to have to burst though. Let go of the trigger. I want to see how this looks. Warzone 2 best, cl best class setup. Use this gun. I don't really like how the title looks. So I had, uh, I had to restart my sesh, but I don't like how... I don't like how the title looks. So you know what this means? Back to the drawing board. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We got Chef in the chat. We got Tora CTF in the chat. We got Rack9, Resendo, Weed is My Religion, and Venom, along with Knickknack, the follow members, badge holders, looking fresh, so fresh that I can smell you. Fresh linen. You like hardcore shipment, Sean? Negative. How's it going, Elite? It's going great. Try the gun in semi-auto. That hits... It hits like a faster battle rifle. Okay, okay. That's, that's worth worth a shot, for sure. I'd ask for a donation if you're that rich. Come on, now. You'd ask for a donation? Come on, now. You wouldn't ask, like... First off, what did you do to acquire all that? You would first ask for a donation? Come on, bro. You want to ask a question first? All right, let me, uh... Let me try to fix this title. I don't know. I don't like how it looks in the thing. We just keep it simple. Guys, I, I promise you, we're, we're going to get dominating soon enough. I'm just trying to see how different titles look. I probably should have thought of this before I went live, but 
I'm using the best class setup. It almost doesn't matter what you title it. It's just the best. Once you use it, bro, I want to help you guys win games. Alright, that seems good enough for now, bro. This is it right here. If you guys haven't seen this setup already, I'll give a second gander. The AMOP 4, the Tundra Pro Barrel, the Hairbringer D20, high velocity rounds, and a 60 round mag. For Warzone 2, it's going to be pretty much all you need. Or is it? For backup, you're also going to need an SMG. Let's be real. You're going to need something that's more than a machine pistol, more than a, just a normal pistol, more than a whatever else you're going to need. You're going to need an SMG because the Lockman sub, I think this tack right here is definitely one of the best guns in the game. Whereas the Lockman might be the best gun in the game. It might be just because of how much how much I dominated with it. It's kind of it's kind of scary. So I do like to pick this up for backup, but enough talking. I feel like I already lost my voice for talking so much. I'm going to not talk for the rest of the stream, guys. I'm just kidding. I'll talk. I'll talk. How would you like to invest in a flying skate? A flying skateboard? Call me in, bro. I think I fixed it, guys. Check it out. Boom, bang. We fixed it. We're live, y'all. We're live. We're live on the interwebs. Once again, happy Friday, homies. The best class setup for Warzone 2. We're live and dominating. Tune in. Let me grab my stream. Boom. And then let me grab my thummy. Boom. There we go. There we go. Well, I'll keep the tune in. I'll keep the tune in, bro. Isn't that popping, bro? I try to make the gun look like how it actually looks when you're holding it in the game. Because if you don't edit the thumbnail, the color, the contrast, the sharpness, none of that. If you don't edit it, it looks so dull and flat. I can show you before and after, but we're just going to share this. Boom. Make sure you guys follow me up on the Twitter. By the way, does anyone know what happened to Mr. Beast? I've seen him recently. He doesn't look the same. I don't know what happened to Mr. Beast. But I hope he's doing okay, man. <laughs> Damn. Happy Friday, folks. Welcome aboard. Preparation is done. All right, guys, we're going to go try hard mode with the easiest gun to use in the game. The Tag 56. I feel like it's been probably beat to death by now. But I really don't see it used in Warzone much until now. I'm going to start seeing it. You guys are going to start using it. Enemies are going to start using it. I feel like I'm not centered. My monitor? This monitor's got to move. Here we go. Here we go. 
Everything's got to be just right, folks. Got yeah, people playing on their couches. With, like, Cheetos fingers. Yo, homies. Smash the thumbs up if you haven't. We have almost 100 viewers in here. Let's try to get 100 likes. Can we get 100 likes for 100 viewers? Can we have every single person that's watching this right now to smash the thumbs up? I want to see how many people are real. How many act like actual, active, real, legit, elite viewers do we have? I'm going to guess a total of probably 300. Like, out of a million subs, 300 are probably legit. Audio's not like loud enough. There we go. Get on the ground or go underwater to avoid the <laughs> Enemy surveillance is up. Just wanna double check, just making sure my dead zones are Enemy fixed. Detected. Locations marked. Just wanna the gun. It's not really a gun at all. Hit that guy. He dead now. Hostel UAV in this sector. Like, I just want to find something that's full auto, perhaps. I gotta upgrade my chair because I feel like, I mean, as many if it's, if it's not one thing, it's something else. Well, I'm getting back pain with this chair already. We just started the sesh. My lumbar support ain't support my lumbar. Hostel UAV active. Try to invest over a thousand dollars in a chair. What is a chair that's made out of angel hair? Thousand dollars. It's actually a deal. Think about it. For how much you spend sitting in your chair, it'll be the it'll be worth the investment. Okay, businessman. What else can you say to sell me on it? Angel hair? Angel hair, you say? Go on. Well, if you sit in this chair, you'll never lose. Okay, now we're talking. Like, can you say stuff like that? Can you just like say whatever? Sham wow, it cleans up everything, including the blood from people I beat up in my downtime. <laughs> I don't have enough to buy my thingy majiggy yet. Quick fix? What about focus? On this one, are you, here? are you in the air? No, you're here. You got a low cost drop inbound. Screw up, guys. Hostel UAV in this sector. Running? Are you underground? Are you over here? Dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Hostile UAV overhead. And this game we play. Just chilling somewhere, waiting for me. Hostile UAV active. This game sucks. <laughs> oh god. All bounty targets are down. Well done. 
Enemy dropping into the AO. Dude, it's hide and go seek sometimes. I'm like, just fight! I'm looking for you! Then they're just waiting at some angle trying to get a, a cheap shot on you. I mean, we're all trying to do it. We're all trying to kill each other here. So if someone could kill you really easily without having to put much effort into it, that's great. That's what I'm trying to do once I get my guns. This thing's actually good, though. Damn, you guys' footsteps. Hostile bomb drone in this sector. ISO is still incredible. I might have to look into like a new chair sponsor. Dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Dude, this gun is so so easy. I keep saying it because it is. You just know. I have a shot stick. Last hands. Okay, okay, okay. You guys can see, right? <laughs> Enemy soldier incoming. Dude, I'm sometimes worried I'm on the wrong screen. I'm so focused. A dumb path to take. Let me just go down the stairs real quick. It's so easy, but I will need my SMG. Marching the rest of them, or else this guy is gonna melt me. He's up there. There's a guy up here. And in there. Put a body UAV. Need recon overhead. Copy that. This setup is gonna be so sick. Oh shit. I had to itch. I have to itch really bad. My mustache itches. My mustache senses were tingling. This guy has no brain activity going on inside of his empty skull. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. Jesus, bro. He was just waiting. Why do you have to be so rude? No, he was lacking a brain. That's his, That was his problem. Jeez, man. Be nice. Everyone wants to win. Everyone's trying to win out here. That's too bad, because we're the one who's going to win. I have the gun that wins games easily. Right? Right. Thank you, David. My buddy used to have a race car named Screaming Eagle. That's pretty badass. Jump, just the mantle is so bad. 
You don't even want a mantle. This dude, what the hell? It's incredible. I wanna get durable. And GG. I so beat out the Lockman. I, I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah. I guess so. Let's watch this young lad play, shall we? It's a little annoying that we lose to the ISO because I think that is one of the few guns that does beat uh, the Lockman out. Lockman sub. I couldn't tell who hit who first. It felt like I hit him first. I kind of wish he hit me first, but I couldn't tell really. ISO does shoot faster. Let's watch him play. Frag back Friday. We ain't fragging back. Let's see this guy play, man. Let's, let's see his skills. Let's see what he's got. I mean, he has 12 kills. What level is he? Can't look at the scoreboard. Kind of travels upstairs weird. I mean, it's kind of weird to lose to a guy that's not even preemptively looking up. I mean, just because he's not moving like me doesn't mean he can't win games, right? I just want to see the type of players that beat me. But oftentimes, it's not because they're better at the game. It's probably because their gun was better in that situation you shot them in. I mean, ISO. It shoots hella quick, bro. Man, this is what we lost to? Oh, my God. Damn. That's tough, bro. That's tough. This man lacks confidence in his life. Um, he seems very timid, timid to push anything. Uh, he doesn't seem very aggressive, but you don't need to be aggressive to win games. You have to pretty much be better positioned aggression does not win games more tactical movements it's not about how many kills you get it's not about how much damage you do but just a better understanding of how to survive so if that means not push not be aggressive not be confident in your gun fights hey so be it bro so be it Hoping MW3 brings back a little movement, but I don't believe Warzone's gonna change. MP of MW3 might be different. Thank you, Mind Blocks Gamer, and thank you, Alberto. Epic Player wants it. Happy Yay Day. Ruben, how did you know? What gave it away? Ruben said he got cloned. Listen, that wasn't supposed to be really shared openly like that, but now that we're being open, yes, I was cloned, but I'm just like the original Elite. Just like him. <laughs> this is what we lost to. Oh my god. 
I was expecting VSM from this guy. He's gonna win the game. I might have to put the ISO on just so I could beat people with them. I like the Lockman, but for close up, I think the ISO does kill faster because it shoots faster. And losing a gunfight because your gun doesn't shoot as fast is kind of lame. Do, 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 do. 1v1 and that's game the guy that got us ended up winning the game I put I put my feet in cold water you're crazy Michael you're crazy I can't believe they put in zombies in an MW game they might have just ruined MW3 before it even started what are you talking about, bro? Ruined it, what do you mean? How could they have ruined MW3 by adding zombies? Come on, bro, you gotta think like an eagle. I mean, you don't have to play the zombies mode. I hope by them adding a zombies mode wouldn't ruin the entirety of MW3. It's just, it's like saying the campaign's gonna ruin the whole game. It's like, it's just a different mode. You gotta think higher, bro. But the only way to think higher is if you cut out all the garbage in your life. And that's kind of a lot to ask from people if they still consume garbage. I'm not trying, like, I don't mean to get so serious, but like, bro, common sense isn't common. Because what might be common sense to you might not be common sense to someone else. When I'm talking to my family, I might like be talking about things that are like obvious to me, but to them they're just like, oh, okay. Oh, you're such a cute young lad. Oh wow. It's like, did you even hear what I said? What? No, you're right. Exercise, vegetables, breathing. We got it, bro. It's like, but you're still eating ho-hos and McDonald's. And you're still drinking Pepsi and eating crap and drinking alcohol though. Oh, you gotta treat yourself once in a while. You treat yourself once in a while for a long while, eventually you're gonna be a big blob! In your brain, in your body. Oh, dude, I sometimes... I have a lot of, like, inner... I just have a lot of feelings inside, bro, about a lot of things sometimes. And it's no one It's no one in the chat, it's none of you guys that, like, I feel upset about or bad about. Just, like, humanity in general, bro. It's just the way things are. No one really, I mean, just play the game and don't think about it, right? But it's like, I want to talk about things that I think are important and I want to see change. I have to be the change, right? So I'm always going to just say it like it is. And if others, you know, it's whatever. We're all just doing our best. But man. <sighs> yep. You know, I, I want to fly with eagles, bro. I want to fly with eagles. Hmm. You know what? I might want to test this gun on El Masra. Man. Life is crazy. Crazy. You maybe want to get some fruit blades and go ride around with my lady. Yo, it's actually hella fun, bro. It's Yo, I got these blades a couple years ago for my girl and I, and it's just something nice. When it's a nice day, you want to go out, you don't want to walk, or you might not want to just look at sights or go on hikes which is fun but sometimes you want a blade sometimes you want to just skate on the pavement my girlfriend ice skates she used to play hockey and uh 
yeah, it's like you get to ice skate during the summertime. It's just, it's fun. I like it. Thank you, Michael, for sharing that. You have swollen feet in the chat. Appreciate you for sharing that with everybody. I hope your swollen feet get less swollen. And if you want to lower the swelling in your feet, I recommend eating fruits and vegetables and throwing out all garbage in your house. If you cut out all junk food 100% and only eat healthy foods, it'll remove swelling. You'll lose, you'll like, bro, your body just wants to get rid of, get rid of, uh, disease and sickness and bad cells and inflammation your body just wants to heal and help itself but if you're not giving yourself the things it needs to help itself then you're going to get swollen then you're going to get inflamed then you're going to get cancers in your body you're going to get sick you're going to feel down you're going to feel many things the reason i'm so damn energetic and charismatic and have all this energy inside me i think it's because of what i put in my body what i put in my mind i don't eat twinkies i don't eat fast food i don't eat i don't drink pop i don't eat junk i don't eat candy I'm not saying you can't maybe once in a blue freaking moon i will have a little something but it's not like a daily ritual people eat shit garbage every single effing day of their life and wonder why they are feeling bad I feel like I'm one of the most energetic health coaches of all time that's in the wrong field of, of work. The older I get, the less I care about, like, who cares about YouTube, Call of Duty, drama, like, how about you take care of yourself and stop being a fat, lazy piece of shit? But if you say that, it's being insensitive, it's being rude, but, like, you have to have this inner beast this savage that doesn't tolerate laziness and not pushing yourself and like taking care of yourself bro I, i've seen my family die because of their health habits and i don't want to see it happen and it's gonna happen regardless i know Dude, it makes me sad sometimes, that's all. And I try to help this world. I want to leave this world with a positive impact, you know? I want people to realize what's actually important. I want people to realize the real lies. If you cut out all the sugar and shit and garbage and work out and actually eat healthy foods, you won't get sick as often. You'll heal faster, recover faster. Oh, oh my God, you won't... It's just... Dude, I, I, just, I just miss humanity the way it used to be before social media hundreds of years ago when everything was in harmony and perfect it was the history before the history books that's kind of where i've been learning that's what i've been looking into how life was for real for real when everything was in perfect harmony now we live in a slave society with people that pay tax we all pay taxes and have to eat <laughs> we're fed so much garbage unless you wake up and realize bro but some people still are like <laughs> Because their pineal glands are so calcified. They can't discern what's actually good from what's not. And they think what's not good is not bad to have sometimes. I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm trying to level up my life, my mind. And I feel like the reason I feel so energized is because of the habits. And because of the things I do, the things I talk about, I think are important to my life. And... Mankind, bro. I'm trying to help people out, truly, just in a tough love type of way. Someone's gotta be, someone's gotta be a drill, a drill sergeant. Someone's gotta be like David Goggins. If you don't know who David Goggins, David Goggins is, bro. Look him up. He's from Buffalo. This dude, he's like my spirit animal. Eagles and David Goggins. Listen to that guy. You gotta be a savage, bro. You gotta be a, if you can't last in a UFC cage match. You gotta be a savage, and if you can't defend yourself, who are you gonna defend? You don't have to be a fighter. You could be a lover and defend for love and what's right and light. You don't have to fight and punch people in the head, but you have to be strong internally, mentally. You gotta be physically strong if you want to last long. Only the elite survive, baby. The older I get, the more I care about real shit. Real stuff, yo. Oh, Elise Shot swears now? Are you trying to be edgy? I'm trying to make a point because no one listens. 
Like, I'm gonna start banning people in my chat if they say something like, I have Twinkies. That sounds ridiculous. Like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be a dictator, but like... Or I just won't read it. I, I just, you know, I, can't, I won't be able to read that person's comment. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to criticize a, oh, I can't talk to people that eat Twinkies. Like, I just... It's just so against my frequency and my energy, bro. Eating a Twinkie is like eating cancer. Literally. If you eat enough of them, that's how you get diseases. And if I say that, people think I'm crazy. It's crazy to eat Twinkies, bro! I'm just so leveled up. I, I got rid of so much in my life that wasn't uh, helping me. Now when I see people still doing the things that aren't helpful, I'm like, why are you doing that? You're killing yourself. I care so much. I don't want other people to die early. I don't want people to get sick. God, man. And I'm not afraid to speak up. I'm not afraid to say what's right. I'm not. Because it comes from a right place. It comes from my soul, my spirit, my core, bro. A place that I think a lot of people lost or don't know how to access because of all the junk and garbage they consume on a daily basis. Why is there more humans being as expressive, as open as can be? Why am I hearing all this like fake personalities? Hey, what's up? You gotta love this banger. Like, where's the realness? The real stuff. Oh, gee, golly, gosh, wow. My gosh, am I the only real one on this whole platform, bro? I know it's not true, but like everywhere I look, robots and zombies. What the hell? I feel like He-Man. I used to lecture my fam about the same thing, but I've come to realize I can't force change on them. They have to realize and want it for themselves. Sometimes I think to help people realize it for themselves, they need people in their life to speak up, to help push them, even if it's energetically, in the direction of what will actually help them. Because if I never speak up and never speak from my core and my heart when I think it's actually right, then I don't think change will happen. If I only make change in my life, then I might see people I love die much earlier than they would have to. Or I might see people get sick that wouldn't have to if they were to have heard some encouragement, words of wisdom, if there were to be some seeds planted in their brain subconsciously, and if they didn't have that voice, then who else would it be? They would just maybe die and then not realize until the next, the next life. I don't want that to be the case, but like, man, I lost my dad from such a young age. I mean, a few years ago, he was, he was not that old, bro. And a lot of his, I think a lot of his problems came from the foods he ate and how much alcohol he drank. And he didn't exercise that much. He was always active, but he had a beer belly and I love my dad and he's, you know, amazing. He is. What he would always say, learn from my mistakes, right? I don't want you guys to die early. I don't want you guys to get sick and have your organs and your organs fail and shut down. In order to make yourself not shut down and fail and die, you exercise, you get good sleep, you get sunshine, you drink water. You eat good foods every day, every day, every day, every day. I'm still working on it. My problem is I don't eat enough foods. The foods I eat, I try to make sure they're good. I just gotta get more of it. I'll play video games for 12 hours and then, you know, inter intermediate fasting is good for you, but it's not if you're not eating food, you're just fasting. I could go probably a week with like 5,000 calories. That's not good. If you want to gain weight, you know, and it stay properly nourished. Or if you want to lose weight, you got to cut out all the garbage, bro. I'm no life coach, but I know what it takes to be healthy and feel good. Because I'm just saying what helps me. Cut out all the pop, cut out all the alcohol, if you could. The cigarettes, the tobacco. Hey, you don't have to. I'm not saying you have to, but I just think it would help. Maybe someone could say, yo, Sean, if you didn't smoke weed, it would help you. Hey, maybe you're right. I'd love to see the research and science back behind it, you know, based on whatever experiences. But 
I'm just trying to level up myself. I'm trying to level up the world and anyone who supports me, my family, my friends. I want to support you guys. I want to be that voice in your life. I want to be that personality. That encouragement, that motivation, that determination. I want you to think like, yo, what would Elite Shot do in this situation? Would he push himself or would he just do nothing at all and give up? Not saying you don't deserve rest and sleep. We all do. But like, hey, push yourself to level up. I'm trying to level up in the game. That's why I'm sharing the easiest class setup to use. Here, I'm going to lock it in for you guys to win this game. But El Mazra is so boring, you can like literally write a novel and then read it to yourself. And then the game will almost be done. I just came so... I, I just got so used to Vondell and faster paced BR. This is straight up snooze fest central, bro. But it's a great place to talk and let my thoughts out. The energy we put out is so against mainstream narrative. Like, most mainstream What's stuff cares you about you keeping you sick, uneducated, <laughs> over-medicated, and uh, they, they want people stupid and dumbed down to, and to not actually care about things that are important. They want you caring about sports, athletes, and um, actresses, and actors, and drama, and whatever celebrities influencers they want you thinking about stuff that is literally pointless for your life and mankind and leveling up and what's actually important bro what's actually important is your life literally if there's anyone in my chat eating twinkies get out of my chat right now or else i will remove you from my chat that sounds messed up but like i don't want twinkie eating energy in my chat i need elite eagle savages who know what's up bro and if you're eating twinkies you better not tell me because like if i was your drill sergeant bro I don't want to have to ban Matt, but like, please don't be sharing the fact that you're eating Twinkies in my chat, because that like, is the most unattractive thing I've ever seen. I'm not trying to be so mean, bro. I'm not. I'm not. It's just like, when I'm talking about like, peace, love, positivity, health, and, and wellness, and awareness, and then someone's like, mmm, Twinkies. It's like, did you even listen to the message I said? I don't want someone in my chat who's brain dead. Nothing wrong with cheat days. What if what if your cheat day was eating good foods? What if someone never had any bad foods that you consider a cheat food? What if you compare someone who only does good things with someone who sometimes has bad things? What would happen in the end? Do you think the person who only consumes goodness would run better or no? I could be wrong. No, I 100% did, Matt. 100% outed you. Because I don't want, you know, Twinkie eating turds who think that talking about how yummy Twinkies are is more important than the pure health wisdom knowledge I'm dropping. Like, you're saying the opposite of what I was talking about. And for a streamer to see the opposite of, like, when I'm talking about something very passionate and very, like, authentically, and then someone's like, mmm, Twinkies. It's like... I get it. I'm making a big deal about something. I don't mean to point someone out, but it's like I'd rather have no Twinkie eaters in my chat than people that eat Twinkies. I don't know if that's like re rude to say. Is that is that am I going to get canceled for saying that nowadays? Like I want to spend time with people who are leveling up every single day and doing their best to cut out all garbage possible. I want to spend time with people that don't tolerate negative energy. Twinkies are negative energy. That's pure garbage. That's pure cancer in a little Twinkie form. It's disgusting. And it's crazy to me how normalized in society garbage is. It's disgusting, bro. Because not enough people like me speak up because they're afraid that people are going to think of them differently. Afraid that people might think they're not as nice or whatever. People are afraid to speak up. I'm not afraid to speak up. Why would I be afraid? I don't need to go on YouTube or anything. I don't. I love it and I don't 
It might not seem like it because I'm expressing it in this way, but I love that I have a place to express myself. I love that I can let out this energy. I'm not trying to cater to everybody. I'm not. I'm not trying to cater to tw Twinkie eaters. I'm really not. There might be like other YouTubers for that, but I'm not a Twinkie eater kind of guy. I'm like trying to be the most elite dominant savage and it might turn a lot of people off because people might think like, wow, Elite Shot's full of himself. He thinks he's the best everything. I don't want to spend time with someone like that. He's just a narcissist. I think saying something like that is narcissistic because I'm, I'm just speaking from my core and my heart. If someone thinks I'm a narcissist, I think you're a narcissist. Are we both narcissists for thinking we're narcissists? Can we just be real and have real conversations about real shit? Not just like, we live in such a, oh my God, I'm in the wrong community probably to be talking about this stuff because we're playing Call of Duty. This is just the game I'm best at, but my life is more than Elite Shot. I'm, I'm Sean, bro. Elite Shot, Sean. Of course, Call of Duty is my main thing, but like what's more important to me is my health, and, uh, wellness, my awareness, realness, the realness, bro. I sense not much realness on the internet. hilarious i just you know i literally let jesus take the sticks right there i just like i don't even care i'm just going for it taking shots well i keep shooting i'm not moving at all and he couldn't kill me if you move full speed you'll die in a half a second but i'm standing still the dude struggles it's aim assist el ghost right there I want that lockman back I can't see it he's up here I might be dead enemy soldier incoming damn gg boys Shit, that's why I needed my lockman. It fell through the train track, so I couldn't pick it back up. Dude, it's crazy that they put ranked and everything in El Masra, because that shit is so boring and slow until the end of the game. But man, I could I didn't have my damn gun I needed. Holy camoly. I just like this mode that we could talk for 20 minutes without having to really worry about too much. But when I'm looking for action, bro, I play Vondel. Even Ashika is more fun than El Masra. El Masra is more fun when you play with like-minded individuals who aren't yes-men, who just agree with everything you say and try to rub your shoulders and S your D. I mean, if we have to be savage, bro, I'll be savage. Like, I want to spend time and play with those who are absolutely savages in the game and in real life. Like, the reason K3 and I vibe is because he's a savage in the game, and in real life, he's also a savage. Dude's driving a <sighs> convertible vet. He's got like the C8. Not that that means anything, but like it doesn't. It doesn't mean it's, it's dope, but like you got to be somewhat of a savage, bro. You don't have to drive convertible vets to play with me, but like 
I'm looking for people that are so flipping good at the game that we just dominate and win. And the times we do talk, it's minimal for call outs. Or if you want, I mean, if we want to talk about favorite loadies, we want to talk about health and awareness or maybe a topic or a conspiracy theory, you know, we can, we can sprinkle it in there. But you have to be on such a level to be able to disconnect from the game to have an open-minded conversation but then the ability to instantly reconnect back into the game and to play properly because some people are good at like being chill and just having conversations but can't lock it in because they're just chilling there's people that can only lock it in and can't chill because they're just like i'm just here to play the game and win and i'm not here to talk about open-minded conversations i'm trying to have open-minded conversations while locking it in while also trying to refer to you guys in the chat and talk about ideas that will level up mankind while also trying to show the best class setups to play the game the best while also trying to tell you guys what i do in real life and share the bro we're not just a one dimensional character okay youtube the internet social media it tries to paint people as we try to paint our own pictures or people will try to paint others as certain ways because of little things they've said or the, the way they are energetically. Like Andrew Tate got canceled for what? Because of him talking about what? Like what specific, I'm not even, is he even canceled? Like he still is on the internet, right? What, they, what does cancel even mean? I wanna talk with people like him. Not that I support him and love everything he says, but like someone who's secure and confident in themselves has an understanding of this reality we live in and realizes that everything we have been told isn't actually legit and history is written like i want to speak with people who are woke is f bro i want to spend time around those who freaking know who know the real real realness of life not what's on tv and what's talked about most often bro i've been researching some real stuff like limitless energy and crazy infinite possibilities bro there's insane things that are out there right now that are kind of hidden from us. The truth and technology and, and people are talking about stupid stuff. I don't even have to talk about the things for those who know to know what I'm talking about. You either know or you don't. If you still think like, think of the most mainstream thought that if you were to ask someone, most people would say yes to, you have to think the opposite. If you ask anyone on the street, do you think we did this? You ask them a main, a mainstream question, and they go with the mainstream narrative, yes. That's like a giveaway that they're not awake, that they're just following the narrative they were told to believe. Now, talking like this is dangerous, because then for some reason, people think it's risky to be real and, and to be raw. But actually, it's the most beneficial thing for mankind ever. If you want mankind to level up, you can't hold yourself back or hold others back from expressing themselves and letting it out. You got people changing genders and changing whatever they want back and forth and I don't want to be any gender. If those people could do whatever they want to do, then who says I can't be the most confident, most dominant, most real, most whatever, whatever I want to be. I can be whatever I want to be if, if anyone can else, you know, if, bro, we live in a world where you can be whatever you want. You could be a fighter jet. You could be a cat in real life. So if I want to be a, a COD God, that's what I choose to be. I'm a COD God. You can't refer to me as a normal Call of Duty player. Like, but talking like that sounds so arrogant and so full of yourself. I think it's kind of comical. I think it's kind of funny saying stuff like that because you never hear it. But other people don't like it, especially if they have a name for themselves because they're probably going to think like, well, I think I'm pretty good, but I don't go around saying that I'm the freaking best, greatest COD God. Well, it's like, why not? You don't think you're one of the greatest? You don't think you're one of the best of all time? Well, well, I don't just say it. Why not? Why don't you say it? Express it. You know? Why not? Because I don't want to seem like an arrogant asshole like you, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're calling each other names? Oh, I didn't say you were that. Like, people might get offended by things if you're being so confident and so real. People might look at you differently because, like, huh, why is he acting like that? What's so hot about him? He thinks he's a hot shot. What's so cool about him? And they might try to get in your face and be like, oh, what's up, tough guy? I'd be like, and I'll just be myself. You know, people in my life try to take advantage of me in situations, but I'll just speak up and be honest and real. And they'll be like, oh, oh, I was, just, I was just kidding, man. I'll be like, I was just kidding too, bro. Then they're like tail between their legs and they can't look you in the eyes anymore 
That's, that happens so many times, bro. Because people try to, like, get one up on you in some way. But then I'll just come back at them with the most real thing ever. And they're like, I, I, was, I was just kidding around, man. I was just saying, like, I was just kidding around, too. And then you leave them with that feeling of, like, did I upset him? Is he offended? It's like, I'm not upset or offended. I'm actually the complete opposite. I'm enthralled. I'm invigorated. I'm Super Saiyan Goku, bro. That's how I feel inside. But talking like that, people might make fun of you. Like, oh, you're a, you're the real life anime kid. This guy reminds me of that dweeb. Like, they're gonna try to belittle you and mock you. Just be the freaking best, bro. Be the best. I'm hoping MW3 is not as phony as this game is. We'll see, though. We'll see. I mean, Warzone 2 is still gonna be phony. I like realness, bro. Older CODs are more real because they're not as phony with the Elgos that try to assist noobs. When you have two pros compete with Elgos that assist noobs, it creates for really wonky engagements that give instant headshot locks. It's lots of phoniness in this game for sure. I want to speak to a dev who's actually like, we realized the phoniness of the Elgos, but we were trying to assist those who haven't played because we realized based on the, the math and the numbers, we make more money if we cater to the casuals more than the non-casuals. Does that make sense? I actually might die right here. There's two of those, two. There's two, there's two, there's two, there's two. There's two. He might still be chasing for all I know. Fuck! I'm sorry, I didn't expect that guy to be sitting in that corner right there. It's the BR. Sorry for the swear. Sorry for, sorry for being the most realist Call of Duty player on the planet, literally. I haven't seen or heard anyone realer than me. Not to brag and boast, but like, where are the realest mofos at, bro? The realest mother truckers, bro. The realest of the real. Where are the real ones at? I think Doc's real. I think uh, Tim the Tatman's pretty real. Timmy is so sweet. He's such a... He reminds me of a big teddy bear. Um, I feel like the realist are established. The realist have a name for themselves. But sometimes I think the realist are afraid to speak up because they're afraid to potentially lose sponsors or maybe lose supporters or maybe lose people that vibe with them if they start speaking up honestly and authentically because they made this brand for themselves they don't want to tarnish shit because it takes one tweet to ruin your whole career i guess but i'm not a rule bro what career i don't this isn't my career my career is to live the healthiest happiest most abundant life i possibly can youtube is a hobby it's, a th it's something i love to do and i've made hundreds of thousands by doing it it's not a lot a lot but it's enough to live my life happily I can live happily ever after. I don't buy Lambos and yachts and private jets and designer and expensive jewelry and clothes. I buy things that are reasonable and once in a while I'll, I'll treat myself not to garbage and things that will poison me and kill me, but I'll treat myself to broccoli and spinach or I'll treat myself to a trip. I'll treat myself in, to go in the sun and the grass, to go on water, to spend time with those I actually love and want to be with. I'll treat myself by working out. I'll treat myself by getting good sleep. This is something I do for fun, and I love that I get to express and have this platform to share my voice. I believe my voice deserves thousands and thousands and thousands of views to hear it, because what we're saying I think is so crucial for mankind. I'm tooting my own horn, I know, but I think we deserve more than 170 people to watch a live stream. The things we talk about, it feels so valuable to me, but maybe not to the whole masses. I just know there's more woke ass, dope ass people like myself that are in the know that I want to talk to. But I'm just not sure if YouTube is the platform for that. Maybe Kick, maybe Twitch, or maybe EliteShot.com. And I'll just stream from my own platform. Because I don't want to feel like I'm being blacklisted, shadow banned, whatever, for being so damn real. I don't want to feel like I can't speak up and say whatever that comes to mind. And I know I've been ranting this whole time. But we need more rants. We need more people speaking up and coming from a place of pure integrity and honestness in their core. I don't want to just this outside. You guys are going to love this banger gameplay. Watch for more. Oh my God, this is sick. You guys are going to think it's awesome. Like. B.
being good at the game is a tiny part of the whole equation, bro. You could be the worst at the game, but the dopest, wokest person in real life. It doesn't being good at a game doesn't matter. Being good at re, at real life does. You gotta be good at real life. You gotta. Your brain has to not be shut down and numbed by everything. You just gotta be so aware, bro. But I've been living by myself and learning so much on my own. A lot of which I haven't shared openly in videos or commentaries because it's so out there and so opposite of what my Call of Duty whole YouTube channel has been about. But I've always incorporated the truth, meditation, books I've been reading. I've always included this light, this passion I have inside. The more I grow, the more this light grows inside me, the more this energy grows as well. I feel like I can express myself as fully as I want now without feeling embarrassed, ashamed, without having to feel like I have to censor myself or hold back from what I want to say. I feel like I'm so vibrant, so alive. But I know it shuts people off real quick because they just want to see a Call of Duty gameplay and they don't care about leveling up in real life. Yo, Spartans, bro. Quality over quantity. That's what life's all about. There's many puppets on the internet that have millions of followers, but they're a freaking puppet. There's also a lot of dope-ass people, too, that aren't puppets whatsoever, and they're just so cool and raw. But you can't just be like, hey, hey, so-and-so, I, I think we would be really good friends. I would love for us to hang out. I want us to spend time together. Hey, Mr. So-and-so, I think we're on a similar level. I think we both think about the same things. I think we'd be really good friends in real life if we were to hang out. You can't just go up to someone and say that, even if you think you are on that level. How do you, how do you show that you're on that level? You be on that level without saying like, Hey, I would... I, I think what you do, bro. I think everything you say, I think as well. I don't want yes men. I don't want people who are just trying to agree. I want real people, bro. Real viewers. Authentic individuals who aren't just trying to cater to a live streamer to be on their good side. I want you guys to get on my bad side. I don't want you guys to get on my good side. I don't want you just to say something because you think I'll agree or it'll make me happy. I want you to be yourself. Be so effing real, I'll sense that. Don't just suck up to me and agree with what I say. Be yourself. Share your own opinion. If you like, yo, if you like Twinkies, tell me. I love Twinkies, Sean. You really called me out because I really do enjoy eating them. And I think once in a while, Twinkies aren't that bad because I do exercise. And I do think in a way that once in a while, it is okay. So I, where's that? But I'm streaming. I can't get all that in the comments section. But like... I want the realness. I want people to like express and share like I do Re in a real way with each other, with you guys. The things we talk about, bro. There's a trillion million conversations. Any direction you can go with it. I know we're all over the place, but man, we're like the sun beaming. We're going all over, baby. I don't want to say everyone's so soft these days, but they sure act like it. Tiptoeing around things they want to say. They're like putting on a face on the internet, acting in some type of way for the camera. Be yourself. Don't be so soft and have to be so sensitive. Just say it. Just say it. Whatever that means. Like, F you, you suck, you piece of poop. If that's what you feel, let it out. See? He's going to be fucking elite. You don't have to worry about it. Hell no. You guys are honestly thinking exactly what, you, what what I'm thinking. You don't have to worry about nothing. Bro, I shit on kids for a living. It sounds weird. It sounds weird, but that's what I do. <laughs> Listen, do not send a SWAT to my house. No, we're sending this in. 
Hold up, I can't hear over the wind. What the fuck are you playing outside? I got an outdoor setup. I want to get some sunshine while also playing, you know? Wow, it was the, it was the parachute win, bro. That's just getting shit. Oh my god, that's so bad, dude. Yeah. I didn't know he was there. Yeah, people are good at hiding in corners and stuff. Shit, I'm just trying to loot and shoot, you know? Your squad mate is redeploying. Well done. Mike, die right here. We'll see how, how good he's at sniping. Hostile UAV in this sector. Hostile UAV overhead. I have no plates in a dream. Oh. Anything dangerous? They're gonna be on me. Nice. You guys might have to turn around. You guys should turn around so right now. Get on us. Are you gonna get on us? Get on it, Daddy. At least got one down. This has to be his hitting right that's, here. That's the leap for you right there. Oh, just getting started, yo. Wait till I get my guns. I need you guys to at least pretend you're elite. Just pretend with me. No. I'm, well, I can pretend. Okay, good. You can't make me. Well then, well, don't, don't play like you're bad. Just at least be good. Well, that's gonna be hard for, uh, oh my. You guys got him. Like, I'm your meat shield right now. I'll pretend I'm bad. I want to have you. Hold on, hold on. Just get up here. Somewhere up. chilling. Up here. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, he's ready, dude. Yep, Doing on top. Shitless, friends. People Broke are crazy the these days. I'm gonna, gonna randomly chase him and hope he doesn't turn around and kill me. And oh, I got a guy in cool. no. God, you guys are such fucking braggers. Oh, I got a guy on me. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah, you're not so special now. <laughs> Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know. I lost him. I lost him. You lost him? Are you sure he was on you? He's, he's he was on me, not in me. Okay. I'm he's about to be, shit. though. That's how shit. it starts. Bitch ass. Huh? You're a bitch ass, dog. You're a hey, bitch no bitch. one's a B word. We're all not that. Bees? We're not bees, no. bro. Enemy soldier incoming. Where is he? You sure he's not a bee? Well now, well now I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> oh, he's in the room! Oh my god! Whoa, yo, that was actually a that's a that's that's surprisingly good. That's that's yo, do you wear dresses when you're not playing, bro? Be honest. Oh shoot. Oh, he's on the roof. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I was just... That is too good, yo. Why are you so good at that? That's weird. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to focus, bro. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Thank you. Oh no, oh no, this isn't good. Oh. This is Wait, do you know this guy? Marking the rest of that squad on Me? You guys know each other? You have to know each yeah. other, right? Ah, you guys go back like that. Yeah. Then you, then you back. Jesus! Yeah. What a series of events. Yeah. I called him a gay dad. Gay dad. Is that He's illegal? Dad. <laughs> <laughs> that's called. That's called. I did. Yeah. You have the guys, line, what? Man. My brain, Stop. bro. You guys oh, are my yeah, teammates. Yeah, We're just gonna fuck around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my yeah, guns. Yeah. Guys, oh. I feel violated. Oh. Just oh. listening to you guys. The Elite's fucking playing by himself, huh? Well, that's yeah. what you have to do in this day and age. Oh no! Enemy dropping into the AO. Oh my lord! There's a lot of guns going off right now. I'm the rest of them. You should make a yeah. channel or stream or videos talking like that, overhead. and then people you would like it? they would believe it. Yeah, yeah. you get hey, money. 100 percent they'd give you money, especially if you take your clothes off while doing it. I'll fucking sell the fuck out of my. Out of your feet? Yeah, I'm photos, feet photos. That would be actually kind of dope. Like, I don't like feet, but if I could sell my own, that'd be sweet. <sighs> who like who likes feet? I think it's like embarrassing to say you like them, because who's who? I mean, you gotta be pretty confident, or like a big foot liker. I'm not kink shaming. I'm just like, I'm not shaming a kink. I'm just like, 
feel like people that like feet often don't say it. Like, I love Call of Duty, right? There's a lot of fucking people around us. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. You love me. They're pushing me or some shit. Anybody got plates for your boy? Nope. Oh, how, come on. Help, help your boy out. Help your boy. Move. Help your boy. No. How the hell did he zap you so fast? Did you not have plates on? Oh, well, we're gonna die. I'm gonna uh, retreat. Tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Yep, he's pushing. Oh, not anymore. He's pushing Daisy. Oh, shit, two. oh no. Surprise. No. Oh my god. You guys are shooting enemies too, right? No. No, I'm being for real. You guys are actually shooting, the, like, shooting your guns, right? Which trick is that? I'm I like conservative. It's pretty sure it's the I'm more of like, uh, just hide until last. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> That's how everyone plays this game, bro. Where are the real players at? Do I have to play with like Doctor Disrespect or Tim the Tat Man? What yeah. about who do I have to play with? You got a PhD in fucking death. Like, what streamer doesn't cheat? Oh, oh, I got him, I got him, hold on. I'm trying to think what streamers don't cheat. There's not many of them. That's a joke. That was a joke. There is many. I just don't know them. Oh, no, no. Broke him. I just don't kill anybody. Break anybody. Feel that. I don't have Most fucking have bullets. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Why are you saying oh no? What's going oh, on? Oh no! I got myself! Fuck! Yeah, fuck you, Stag! These cluster mines are uh, borderline useless uh, nowadays. They don't do fucking shit. March remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Nothing, eh? Oh, he's about to get clapped. Oh no. Take an effective fire. Nope. Can I see the kill oh. camera loose? Holy shit, dude. I gotta make new friends, bro. I gotta make new friends, dude. I don't have any friends to play this game with. Oh my god, bro. <clears throat> Yo, I want to team up with K3 again. I want to team up with some other COD streamers that I think are legit and play legit. I don't want to team up with people that I think are sus and have aimbot or Cronus or walls. I want to play with people that I think are legit, bro. Like... Preferably streamers and content creators. I know some of you guys are good, but like you're good, but not the best I need to play with the best people like if you think you're the best the best gamer like ever Let me know in the chat some of you guys are good, but like I'm looking for the best the best bro Best I'm tired of looking at a scoreboard and seeing teammates with a combined total of 500 damage and two kills Dude, I'm doing thousands and thousands and thousands of damage I need people that know how to play. Whenever K3 and I play, we can't lose. It's harder to lose than it is to win. We won, last time we played three games in a row, the first two were knife wins, knife only wins. The next one we used real guns and destroyed with like 36 kills combined. I need the best players. 
But Reznov, I don't think you are, bro. I don't think, I mean, I played with you. You're good, but you're not the best, bro. You haven't one time got more kills or damage than me. Not to call you out, I'm not trying, but like, if you say you're the best, I'm gonna say, well, you're not. You're not the best, though. You have to do better than me if you want to be the best. Sweat, or uh, K3, K3's got more kills than me before and damage multiple times. Swag, uh, I'm not sure about swag. We haven't played in a while. Smoke Ops doesn't play COD. Well, at least not in a while. Was damn good on wall, wall one, but two was just a sequel. What? Who do we got in the chat that can help our demon get some kills? New idea, Battlefield 2042, become the best helicopter team. Co my buddy Cooper's texting me. It's all about kills. Kind of. Damage, kills, movement, positioning, awareness, skill, ability, chillness, ability to stay calm under pressure. Like, not having to use too many callouts. Like, just knowing, like, just being the freaking best. Just being the best. I need to see like thousands and thousands and thousands of damage, 10 plus kills. I need players that know how to play, bro. We're playing solo right now. I want to play with my members too, like Reznov. I'm not saying we can't ever play again. Other members, I'm not saying we can't ever play again, but I'm looking for the most kills, the, the best, most Enough. dominant. I need okay. the best best and i don't want to tell someone that they're not the best but like if i'm a lead shot and i've been playing cod for 15 years and have so much time and experience in the game i can tell who's really really good and who's good or who's not oh matt matt if you can't take the heat bro i will ban you from the chat because the past few things you've been saying have came from a disappointed like place. Normally, I would have banned you already, but because I'm trying to be more compassionate, I didn't ban you yet. But if you're not feeling the vibes, bro, I can make sure you never feel them ever again. I don't want to make you feel like you're getting burned or like not having a good time, but probably because I'm calling you out, saying your name directly, you're not going to like it because I'm not saying I appreciate that or thank you. But if I actually act real, people are like, whoa, I was just trying to have a conversation. I'm having a conversation too, bro. I'm looking for the best players in the world, you know? Oh shit, I'm like, it's stuck. The best in the world. Where are they at? Oh my. Still need a gun. I gotta start doing tryouts. You guys gotta start sending me your tapes of game plays, like a full game unedited that I can watch someone play to see how they move, to see how they loot, to see how they scoot, to see how they shoot, react, engage, disengage. Bro, I could have created my own Call of Duty team with the most dominant players in the entire world, but I haven't yet. Maybe in the future, maybe when I have my millions and millions, we're not there just yet. But in the future, I plan to create my most dominant team of legit players only on an actual LAN system without cheaters or people able to download you know, soft aim or use programs, whatever, just real, raw gameplay. I will create my own league or whatever one day. One day. Maybe 10, 10 years or so. Five, 10 years. Probably more toward the ladder though, because life's a process. I need people to wake up, bro. I need mankind to wake up. A lot of people are going to get upset and hurt in the process. Only the elite survive in the end. If you can't take the heat, bro, you ain't going to last a second in the kitchen. Bro, when I'm cooking in the kitchen, I'm telling you, it's going to be spicy. It's going to be hot. If you can't take the heat, bro, Probably the hottest Call of Duty YouTuber in terms of heat 
in spiciness. The hottest one, hands down. I can't think of a... Like, Doc is the only one that comes close. Because he's Doc. When I'm talking about energy, when I'm talking about finesse, when I'm talking about ability... Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Back negative. Of course, that hit. Damn, I'm have to win this fight without getting shot. The above. Serious, serious. I just need your plates. I just need the plates. I just need the plates. I mean, I'll take the mask. I'll take the mask too. Remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Damn ruckus. I don't like when they just sit on top, ADSing the doorway, waiting for me to walk through. That's the cheesiest shit I've ever seen, and I don't want to die by that. They're just like. I just. Uh, fight me like a man, bro. At least charge me. I'm charging you. Charge me. Oh, let me just ADS at the way top of the map. I get it. I get it, bro. Do your thing. Charge me. You know I'm weak. Charge. Charge. He's not charging. He's hiding and ADSing somewhere. Enemy soldier incoming. It's probably tiptoe walking in the staircase. Come on. Guy's a freaking rat. Guys, it's not El Masra. Play the game. Move around. Don't be afraid. Everyone's just. Target down. Marking the rest of them. People play like they're fr little tiny creatures afraid to freaking move, bro. Don't be a baby. You're a human being. Use your sticks, your mouse, whatever it is, like a man or a woman. Be a man about it. Or a woman about it. Babies out here. Afraid to play. Trying to use the best stuff. Whoa. Don't zip. I'll probably die immediately. And I like, that won't even reach. I'm just gonna send it, see what happens. I might die, but, you know, there it goes. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, yeah, 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 no, I get it, I get it. I'll be back soon. Holy shit, holy shit. We've located the rest of them. Not good. Luckily, he wasn't better. Mark your operators from that squad. Hunt them down. It should be your goal to never die ever. Ever. Hostile UAV in the area. Hostile 
UAV active. I mean, people play like they don't want to die, but they also play like they don't know how to kill. You gotta, you gotta know how to fight. You gotta know how to fly, bro. You can't just sit there like a vegetable, wondering why you're not winning games. Parachute cut is killer. Another one. Watch the skies. Hostile UAV in this sector. UAV overhead. Fire state adapted. Buy station prices are adjusted. Whoa! Holy shit! Holy shit, they're twinning! Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunted. Enemy <laughs> That was intense. If I wasn't one of the best players in the entire universe, I wouldn't have got that. Wow, thank God I'm one of the best players to ever exist. I see people freaking out after one or two kills. I'm watching big name streamers, bro. Maybe get a kill or two in Warzone. I'll be like, oh my God, that was amazing. The whole game is like that for me, bro. The entire damn game is me on the verge of life or death all the time. Constantly fighting, constantly engaging, constantly killing. I'll do the most freakiest shit of all time, not even react. I see one person get one kill on the internet. Oh, I'm the greatest! Yeah, step aside, bro. If you want to use a baseline, watch me play. You'll see what happens. It's a miracle every time. No cheats, no walls. I'm not phony as hell like a lot of these chubby cheeks are out here. So many chubbies, bro. No offense to the chubby cheekers, but... I think we're too savage for how soft the internet is, honestly. Like, I can see why a lot of things UAV I say might, might make RTD someone feel uncomfortable or soft. So I'm soft too, bro. I'm soft. I'm also hard as rock. I have emotions. I have feelings. I can cry just looking at the sky. But I can also smash through a boulder. Like I'm the juggernaut. It's a balance of both. I'm a Libra. Gotta have the best of both worlds. I'm the balancing of tides. The balancing of life frequencies. There's someone in the water. Whoops. They were in the water. Will I die? I feel like you used to be able to cut these things. You can't cut them no more. More than one you could. Maybe they'll bring it back in the future. You go up a zip, you could like cut it halfway. 
There's a guy behind me. There's a guy behind me. He's up here. He's on the roof. He's on the roof. He's out there. He's just like, if I hear, if I watch people play that they calm like that, I'm not playing with them. On the roof. Watch out. Watch out. Like, what the hell is wrong with? Chill out. Chill out, bro. I'm a freak of nature, yet I know how to chill out when it comes to getting in the zone. Hello? Seeing shadows. That roof, I was a little tempted to go up there. Someone's tiptoeing down here somewhere. I'm constantly running. They're probably like, wow, there's someone really running around above me. Exactly. I'll die by a guy in a corner and be like, oh, that was the game, GG. Because I'm so willing to move. But Timmy with no thumbs, like that would be like, got the kill. She might die. We'll see. You've made it to the top ten. Pops, right, bro? Oh. Same guy. Wait. This guy behind me is locking on. Coming this way. We have a durable. He's got to move this way. If he has throwables, I might be in trouble. I almost want to like get a different angle. He's got on those stairs right there, I think. Push guns, hurry up, hurry up. V1. Pin me to fall. In this building? If he is up top, that would be his best bet. But I don't think he was. I guess right behind that wall. That would be weird if it came from behind. That would suck. There you go, folks. There you go. Although I didn't use the Tag 56 too much, what I gathered from that game was you have to be at range. If you're close up, regardless if you hit all your shots or not, like, one of those engagements, I hit a guy real close with my Tag 56. I still dropped. So that's your going for range. I kept the MP5 close up. Uh, thankfully, I had a self-revive. I weakened the guy so much. I saw the enemy across, like, that was in the corner of that rooftop we were on. He downed the guy that downed me. I self-revived. He died. I killed the guy that killed the guy that downed me. Wow, that was quite a series of events.
The way we get it done, baby. Come on. I don't see anyone else doing it like this. No one. There's no other solo player doing it like this, bro. The way we stay composed when things go crazy. The absolute legitness. No third monitor peeking. If you watch someone in an intense game of Warzone and they're a big name streamer and they constantly are looking to the right, they're not. They're, no, they're not just reading their chat, bro. In the in the in most intense situations, they're not gonna just go read their chat because there's some vital information in the chat that's gonna help them win this gunfight. They legit will scan to see their other monitor to see where people are. It's so obvious, but these big streamers have so many dumb little kids that watch them or dumb adults that have such nulled third eyes, calcify, they don't even know what legit is. They watch someone that's not legit play thinking, oh my God, they're really good. Meanwhile, they're third monitor peeking the entire effing game. We ain't third monitor peeking, bro. You could tell who's phony just by almost their neck. You just look at their neck. Something about a cheater's neck or their cheeks. I don't know why, but sometimes you could, sometimes body cues. That, may, that might be too stereotypical, but. Nick Merckx doesn't cheat because his neck is so big. You know, Doc has a very violent neck. Like, like I'm maybe I'm not in tip top condition to show you what I'm talking about, but it's all about the neck strength. You got a strong neck. You're probably legit at Call of Duty. You couldn't choke me out even if you tried to choke me out. My neck is too strong. No elite, they claim to be watching their minimap. No one watches minimaps like this. This is a minimap. Your head doesn't have to move for the minimap. If your head does move, it's like this. It's not this. This is no minimap, bro. Like Z-Laner, you gotta make it less obvious, bro. I know it's not all the time, but sometimes it's pretty obvious, bro. Not to call him out, but like, hey, I'm not sure if that's calling him out. I could be wrong, but I've seen clips. I want, yo, I want these supposed legit people to go on camera and say, I swear on everything holy. If I ever cheated, like there has to be some reaper. You gotta say, you gotta make it seem authentic. I see people play. I'm like, bro, you look like you're cheating. By the way, your eyes wander so hard anytime you're looking for enemies. Based on your movement and your awareness when I see you play, there's other people like Symphony. He cheats, obviously. I mean, I could be name dropping hard. I could be wrong. Hey, I could be wrong. And that's the, that's the risk I'm willing to take. But based on what I've seen many times from many big name streamers, it's like, you're phony as shit, bro. You're obviously phony. I would take you down in three seconds. Like, it's not about in real life strength. It's about willpower. It's about your authenticity, your legitness. Where's the legit players at? They're all cheating in some way or playing with cheaters. In these tournaments, so many people play with cheaters. There has to be one person on the team that can give all the call outs and know exactly where everyone is. It's, that's why I, don't, I don't participate in those phony ass tourneys because people cheat. Too many chubby cheeks, bro. Dudes that can't even do 10 push ups or run a half a mile. Not that that matters, but like they're trying to make themselves seem better in a game because they're not better in real life. When you're the best in real life, you're the best in the game. It goes hand in hand. You don't have to cheat. Yo, when is the UFC YouTuber match dropping? Who wants to get in the octagon with me? Let's go. First one to die loses. Death match in real life. Who wants to go? I'm being sarcastic a little bit, but that's the energy I feel. Like... If I'm going against someone else, whether it be in-game or real life, I'm giving it everything I got, bro. Fast and hard. It's going to be over quick. I hope you got a strong neck. Coming off a solo dub, easy peasy. I need more kills. I'm running by myself right now, Reznov. I'm not trying to mingle with fellow Eagle Energy right now. 
What are your thoughts on Rida? I have no idea what Rida is. I know Flo Rida. Just tell them, cheaters, you're naughty, a good player. <laughs> the most obvious one. Bro, she's so bad at lying. It's so, it's so funny. Jesus, bro. Elite and Swag and IW going hard together years ago. Yo, Swag's actually legit. I say actually because people think he's not. But Swag is legit. I'm not sure if all the people he plays with are, though. I think there's been times he played with some sus people, that's for sure. It's kind of tough to not play with sus when you're so big because these people who are sus are so big, so they play with other big people. But there's always so much susness going on once people get money and fame. They just are so sus. No realness at all. Eating McDonald's. Following mainstream media. It's like... No wonder, bro. No wonder why you are where you are. And no wonder why I am where I am. I'm so opposed to mainstream. Like, any sponsors would probably view me as a threat. Because, like... Unless the company's legit and authentic and cares about the universal energy of truth, knowledge, and wisdom transcending time and history, if these companies aren't on that same frequency, then they're not going to vibe with me. I believe my energy is what is going to be more popular five, ten years from now. I believe the way we speak, the way we handle ourselves, the way we speak our mind, our vibe, our energy, our core, and say it like it is, it's becoming more popular over time and people are being their authentic self. There's just a time right now where we're going through, there's going to be a big crash that has yet to happen since the C word. I mean, they've been propping up the market and big banks are so over leveraged with fake monopoly money. The whole system has to change drastically. And until then, there's gonna be, you know, some power shifts, some people taking over in certain areas, companies acquiring other companies, uh, phoniness being revealed, the lies being shown, the truth being discovered. Over time, more truth, more legitness, more authenticity. Because we're actually trying to return back to a time in history where everything was in harmony. But there's been a huge shift the past couple hundred years. Huge takeover of energy and power. And they try to make it seem like you have to like, be a part of this slave society that pays taxes forever and has to, you know, like... Just the society we live in, bro. It changed so much when the settlers discovered the America. The, oh my god. You might think I sound dumb and stupid, but when you go back throughout time, I understand why things are the way they are because of power and control, yo. Money, power, control. It's pretty obvious. Make the people fight each other. Make the people pick sides, sports teams, uh, different debates about politics, religion, um, debates about science. Make them fight each other. Distract them from the actual truth. Just keep them distracted, dumbed down, over-medicated, under-educated, and... Maybe the powers that be will hold control for like five more years, maybe. But I think there's going to be a huge shift. There's going to be new billionaires who change the world for the better. New inventions, limitless energy, uh, devices that create free energy, vehicles that run off water, um, you know, hydrogen. Like there's going to be amazing technologies coming out over the years, but they're slowly releasing it. Because if they just were to drop it now, people would be able to live freely without having to, you know, use fossil fuels. So... I understand they're just trying to keep you know keep things the way they are but everything's changing bro and you have to be pretty damn woke to even know a sliver of what i'm talking about you have to be because if you're still curious who's gonna win the super bowl uh good luck good luck we just, we just keep it so raw and so real bro not many people can vibe with it it's just too edgy for them it breaks the reality it shatters their mindset and people are so indoctrinated and have so much cognitive dissonance I'm the opposite of that, so to me, I'm like the Grim Reaper. I'm like their worst nightmare. People who are so fake can't vibe with me because it's the opposite of them. Just their fake-ass energies. So many podcasts, huge podcasts have fake-ass people running it or hosts with them. I mean, there's been, there's been some drama going on in different communities. I'm just like aware of things happening. And you realize over time, all the fake shit, bro, starts to ev evaporate. And the realness is what ends up sticking around. That's just how life is. You ain't gonna spend time or energy on something you don't vibe with. That's why a lot of people vibe with a lot of stupid people and vibe with a lot of stupid things because that's their energy. That's their frequency. They're on this low-ass vibration that still is mainstream. They haven't transcended past that yet to a new dimension, a new level of reality in the mind. You perceive life differently. And I sound crazy, right? To stupid-ass people.
No offense, but I was stupid about a lot of things. I still am. The more I learned, the more I realized how dumb I am about so much. And I realized, like, wow, for so long I believed that? Wow. I can't believe I was believing that for so long, bro. What would it take for me to wake up? Cutting out a lot of BS. That's what it takes. And if you can't take the heat, then, bro, get the hell out of the kitchen. For real. You can't spell elite shot without hot. Enemy destroyed. I said it. It's, fa it's true. Look it up. We keep it spicy. When you vibrate within a certain frequency, you see those around you really show their true selves, aka broken matrix shifting within our quantum field. Exactly, bro, exactly. And someone who's like, well, that's stupid nonsense, woohoo magic talk. They're still asleep in the matrix and think what they see on TV and what they were told growing up is real. Once you wake up, you realize who hasn't yet. And holy shit, it's about at least 50%. That's being nice. I know I'm swearing a lot, but if I don't say a little spice here and there, sometimes if I don't fully express how it feels inside, I can't just let that sit there and become something worse. This is what happens when energy is stagnant and it stands still. If you don't say or express or share or be your authentic self, that's how you get sick and get illnesses and uh, cause stag stagnicity. Is that a word I made up? You just create problems in the body when you're not moving or being active. Energetically, physically, emotionally. You have to share, you have to express, you have to let out. There's so many young kids nowadays with zero effing emotion, zero energy, because that godly energy inside of them has been stripped or has been blocked or is being like taken away. I see so many younger generations who are just like, desensitized by everything because they grew up with social media and they think that they have to like be some type of way then they end up being this hey guys thank you for watching in this video you're gonna witness something it's like they it's like they went through something extremely traumatic in their life and haven't recovered from it that's what it feels like you see these rappers who are probably had to do something nasty after they sign a deal they're like I sold my sold my soul to the devil Marching the rest of them. Zero empathy. Zero emotion or energy. Just lackluster, bro. Zombies everywhere I look. Their eyes are dead. Their soul inside is dead. That's how it feels when I talk to those people. Where's the energy? You know where it is? In our soul, baby. It's in our core. Strengthen yourself. Your body, mind, and soul. Nothing will stop you. In the game or in real life. Strike me down and I'll become more powerful than you can ever imagine. You think it sounds phony? You just wait. There's a lot. There's more truth in science fiction than there is in <laughs> not fiction. Straight up. When I'm speaking, I feel like I'm speaking to millions. When I'm speaking, I feel like I'm speaking to the whole universe. Even if there's five people watching, I feel like I'm speaking to the entire plane of existence we call Earth, bro. But I'm speaking on such a high frequency, the powers that be try to shut it down by blacklisting, shadow banning, not alerting people, and they try to like make me seem crazy or dumb or wild, or maybe I do that by myself. It's just you, bro. Hey, great. I, I, yo, I want everyone to speak up because it shows True, true colors. I don't have to vibe with you. I don't need you to vibe with me. I want to see who's legit and who's not, bro. Your squad mate is redeploying. Well done. Like, I vibe with anybody. I vibe with crackheads. I vibe with the president. I vibe with whatever political party or side. But the moment you try to come at me or my energy, I'm gonna come right back at you and be like, "Yo, what's up? What's good?" And I'll be straight in your face and get in your grill and be like, "Yo, what's up?" Not in a mean way, but like energetically. Like, what, what's up? What do you feel? What do you think? What's going on? Like, say it like it is. So much phoniness, bro. We're speaking to higher dimensions. Our streams reach out to more energies than I can ever imagine. But YouTube wants it to seem like, oh, Elite Shot's dead, his channel's dying, no one watches him, no one cares about his opinion, his, he, he dropped off, he, he's, he's dead. But meanwhile, my energy is more vibrant than ever. What I feel on the inside, I've never felt so great in my life. 
and I'm sober. Well, maybe a little THC, but that's faded. How, what time is it? I smoked a little bit of weed earlier. Earlier. A little bit, you know, a little bit. Are you gonna, are you gonna report me? Like, bro, I feel high without even smoking weed. I'm, I'm this energetic with nothing. I wake, the moment I wake up, I feel this way. I might have to get the crust on on my eyes and be like, oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, hey, good morning. Good morning, world. Good morning, universe. Good morning, sun. That's how I feel on the inside. But the moment I'm on stream, I have to get so real, so raw and edgy because there's too much fakeness and softness that you guys deal with that on a daily basis. I'm like the realest energy there ever was and will be, baby. And I got to stop saying that because that probably turns people off big time. It probably does, but hey, we're here. We're just going Super Saiyan, that's all. Would you stop Goku from going Super Saiyan? Probably not. Two. Could have grabbed the medic to heal him faster. You have reinforcements inbound. Tossing smoke grenades. I sometimes feel like I have have lived many lives before this one and have learned many things. Everything in moderation, yo. You could smoke too much weed, you can eat, you could drink too much water, you can eat too much broccoli, eat too many apples, you know? Moderation. If you're smoking weed all day, every day, you're gonna be a, probably a vegetable, unless you're really trying hard to stay active. People, you know, drinking could be overdone, but I'm trying to cut alcohol out entirely. I still, you know, celebrate sometimes once in a while, but I'm not just like your, like your typical human who drinks every day, every weekend. I just, I just, the alcohol is not good. It's a poison. I'd rather consume things that aren't poison so I can level up. Once in a while, sure. But people do it, that, that say that, do it every day. My friends that don't smoke weed, they're alcoholics. I could, I mean, you call me a stoner, but it's not like I'm 420 blazing 24-7. Like, to be a little creative, maybe before a hike, maybe before sleep. I'm not like, just trying to numb my mind. Trying to level up. I think weed has more health benefits than negative ones. Alcohol has none besides doing stupid ass shit and feeling like you could do, you feel, you know, liquid courage. You might be like, well, there's research showing that actually shows why in a bottle of. D the people I'm talking to are the alcoholics, okay? They don't even realize they're alcoholics. All my friends. <laughs> I love you, friends, but damn, y'all are sick. My girlfriend and my brother are the only people in my life and maybe one other friend that doesn't drink alcohol. Guys going down. It's actually kind of funny when you think about life and the people in power that have a lot of money. Sometimes you notice a lot of very, <laughs> a lot of influential people don't seem to be too influenced by uh, the real stuff. I love when I hear people like Aiden Ross come out and talk about like. 
some type of mental health or awareness. I'd actually never watched one of his streams before, but I saw him trying to get healthier or more fit, and I thought that was a good message to put out. But I think they just do that for about one week and then go back to their drink alcohol and stupid ass lifestyle, whatever that is. No, not trying to make fun. I'm sure he's a good person, hangs out with some good people, but the, you know the time, the people you spend the most time with is kind of what you become. You know. Oh my god. Surprise, cabron. Oh yeah, I mean, if you smoke weed every day, you're definitely addicted. You're addicted to the habit of doing it. You could be... People that play Call of Duty every day are addicted to... They're addicts. They're a Call of Duty... I'm a Call of Duty addict. A gamer addict. Gaming addiction. People are addicted to social media. People are addicted to porn. People are addicted to shitty foods. People are addicted to thinking improperly. People are addicted to not taking care of themselves. People are addicted to thinking in the wrong way. People are addicted to everything that don't even realize it. I'm trying to be addicted to all the goodness, all the power, all the strength and energy, the real stuff, the, the goodness. That's what I'm addicted to. And then I smoke a little bit of weed. Which you could say I'm addicted to. I'm addicted to water as well. I'm addicted to broccoli too. Addicted to doing push ups and sit ups. It's closed. Health is not. Oh man, I'm gonna die. Damn. Shit. Damn it, dude. Fudge. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention this whole game. I really wasn't. I got 17 kills, 6,600. I need teammates that have to not. I want teammates that don't even have to pay attention but can get all the kills. When you do it for a living, if you're a streamer, a content creator, you could do this without even having to try. You just do it, because that's what you do. But if you have a day job, well, it's not your day job to be good at Call of Duty. Joey said before he got married, he was addicted to strippers. Me too, bro, before I had a girlfriend. Okay, I wasn't actually addicted. I just would go a few times. They're kind of fun. Then you realize how gross they are. Not the strippers, some of them are pretty gross, but just the energy and the people that go to those places. Pretty gross. I remember being a young whippersnapper, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, being like, yeah, it's freaking GTA, just walk in the club, what's up, yo? I remember going the first time with my friends, we went to Canada, this place called Sundowners, which was all nude. And they didn't have that back in Buffalo. I remember we get to the front of the club, right? First off, they're all nervous if they even wanted to go. They're like, oh, I mean, should we go? Some people are like, I don't want to go. Like, come on. We never went before. I think we we're like 18, 19 or something. And uh, I remember having to be the first one to walk in the club, the gentleman's club. I had to be the first one to walk in because they were scaredy cats. I walked in proudly. And I'm not joking you when I say this. You walk in, there were like 20, 20 females lined up. I feel like I walked into a different world. Oh my God. The moment you go to sit down, they're already swarming you. Sit on your lap. They're putting their hands. They're putting, they're putting your hands on places without you even doing it. You're just like, whoa, whoa. Damn. You want to dance, baby? It's like, I just got here. I'm trying to, trying to fill out the area. For, I'm just trying to get a feel. I'm just trying to see what we got going on, you know? Come on, baby. It's like, I don't like you. But you don't want to say that. Hey, play it cool. Be respectful. But I'll pass. Hey, you want to play on me, baby? No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm all good. Thank you. I had, I could tell some stories, but maybe for a different time. Maybe for a video, I'll tell some stories. I got some stories I could tell, but I got to be careful. Also, preaching me healthy is good, but that... Ha that same token sometimes unhealthy the unhealthy outlive the healthy 
That said, just enjoy your life. That is the crazy thing about it. You'll see people that are piles of shit, no offense, but they just don't take care of themselves and they eat crap and they do drugs. They're just not take care of themselves and they live longer than someone that's purely healthy, athletic, eats all the right stuff. And there's, I mean, there could be genetics involved. There could be freak accidents. There's wild things. But I would base, I guarantee you, if you take better care of yourself and you live healthier, I guarantee you more often than not, you'll live longer than someone who doesn't. That's how it goes. You might say, well, I know someone who's a pile of poop who lives longer than who and lives longer than Mr. Olympia. Like, well, it depends. If you're doing steroids, this doesn't mean you're healthy. If you're like being healthy, what does that mean? I don't want to get too into it. Whatever it means to you, but I think we all know. I'm just, I'm just, I, I don't like seeing family and friends die young. I don't like seeing people not well. I don't like seeing people unhealthy, not able to move. I want people to feel invigorated, energized. And if I have to light that fire, plant that seed, then I'll be that guy. I don't want to make fun. I don't want to be little. I don't want to mock. I don't want to ridicule. I don't want to judge. I don't want to be a Debbie Downer, a negative energy. I don't want to make, I just don't want to be mean and nasty and a rude person, but I want to help light people up. I want to help invigorate. I have so much energy, bro. I have infinite limitless possibilities and potential straight up. I feel like I've only tapped this much into the entire reservoir that life has to offer. I feel like I barely scratched the surface, bro. I believe my future, I'm destined for billions. That sounds crazy, but like a billion won't be as much in the future as it is now. 10, 20 years, a billion is going to be the new million. They're going to have like a million dollar coin. Like a bread's going to cost a hundred bucks, bro. And it's going to be a digital dollar. So they're going to be able to control your bank account. And if, uh, who knows? I'm saying some, you know, theoretical things, ideas you've heard. But like, over, if you look at throughout time, that's how it's been going. Money, they just keep printing it. Money becomes more and more worthless. Everything else becomes more expensive. The cost of living keeps going up. They keep sending out stupid ass medications that are killing people very slowly because there's population control involved. There's a lot of things going on that are very edgy topics that no other COD YouTuber is talking about because they're still wondering what they're going to get from McDonald's like they haven't realized yet. But there is some serious population control going on. I mean, look at the past couple hundred years, bro. Look at the medical, look at the pharmaceutical field. Look at, look at the practices. Look what's being pushed. Look at the garbage. Go to a grocery store. Look at all this shit everywhere. It's all garbage. Look at the ingredients. Most of it is junk. Oh my God. And I, what am I, the only guy to realize this? The only one to speak up? I don't care if I lose subs talking this way. I don't do it for subs. I'm looking for the real people, bro. If I only had to spend... If, if there's only five viewers my whole life and they were the dopest, most authentic viewers ever, that'd be worth it to me, bro. I'm doing this with a quality. I'm doing it for the realness. And I know it's probably cringy and it's it's not... Like, even myself, I'm gonna look back at this thinking like, bro, relax, just play the game. Well, whatever's coming through right now is more important than this game. Not everyone will think that, but it's my soul, it's my energy, bro. I know a lot of people probably only tune into streams to, to hear their name read, or to see their comment be read, or to hear their donation be read, or to hear their membership be read. I know there's a lot of people in this world that are people pleasers and just want to get attention. I'm the same way. I'm the same way, bro. That's why I know. But the more I grow up, the less I want to people please, the less I want to sugarcoat things, the less I want to tiptoe and like speak like I have to be sensitive and walk on eggshells. The older I get, the more real I get, the more I feel. I'm not doing this for the dum-dums and the... Bro, Jesus. I want to see a real Call of Duty. I, I want to create a real Call of Duty team of savages, bro. Like, such dominant players. I can think of some names. I think of some other streamers and players that I think are legit. But there's so much phoniness. You have to sift through a lot of garbage. Go to the grocery store. A lot of it's garbage. Same thing with online content. Except there's more garbage online. Because the real stuff is hidden. It's suppressed. It's shadow banned. It's pushed to the side. Because they don't want people awake. They don't want people realizing the real lies. They don't want people taking care of themselves. And not taking orders from authority. They don't want people not listening to mainstream. Come on now. No wonder why my shit is shadow banned. Because we're so real and authentic. We're so open, bro. But when I was little, I wasn't talking about this stuff. I was talking about like, oh, we 
You know, like, I was, I was, bro, I was still wearing diapers. I was still living at my mom's house. I was still, like, didn't even pay bills. I still went to school. High school's a joke. I was still in high school. I feel like my life actually started once I moved out of my parents' house. I feel like I actually started to learn things once I was out of college. I feel like I truly woke up once I stopped listening from the authorities and the figures that are trying to push garbage in your head. Then I started to wake up, but then I realized, oh wait, the internet doesn't like when you are sharing these things. Oh wait, there's certain topics you can't talk about, you'll get... And over time, that's how the internet happened, because they're trying to control society, they're trying to control the narrative, they're trying to control information, and they're trying to control me. And I think there's so much I can go into, but... I guess we have to win this game, because... Someone in the chat's gonna get upset. And I have to make sure that one person's not upset. I have to please every single person here. By the way, if any members want to play, I'm down to play. Just realize I might not always, like, I might not talk to you. That sounds real, but I might not use comms. I might just mute everyone so I can keep just preaching, venting, ranting, expressing, sharing, just existing. It's hard for me to express myself when I have people on my team who, period, on my team. But I want to be able to play with you guys that are members. I just don't want you feeling upset if I don't talk to you. I don't want you thinking, oh, he doesn't like me. Your squad mate's back on station. Good work. Because that's not true. I love everybody, even people that hate me. Seriously, I do. I love when people okay, express yeah. their feelings. Even, even like, you suck at this game! Like, I love that. It's like, yes, let it out. Express it. Seriously, let it out. It's so awesome, dude. Fight better. I would heal you if I can't wait till I team up with some other streamers that are actually dope and legit and real. So I can just vibe and actually speak my mind and have them do the same without feeling like we have to people please each other or suck up to each other or like rub shoulders and be like, yeah, you're the greatest of all time. No, you're the greatest of all time. Oh my God, I love you. No, I love you. I don't want that. I don't. Are you fucking kidding me? You're so lucky, bro. Let it out, let it out, go ahead. Let it out. Let it out. I need pistol rounds. Let it out, guys. Let it out, y'all. I wish everyone was their authentic self 100% of the time. I wish everyone said everything that was on their mind. Even if it was like, I hate your freaking guts, you suck, you smell, and quite frankly, I just don't like you. Like, if that's what they actually felt, I want people to just let it out. I really do. I want to live in a world where everyone's real, where everyone's legit, where everyone's telling it like it is, where everyone speaks from the heart, when everyone is telling the truth, when no one lies, no one steals or hurts. I know, no, no, no one's perfect. I realize that. I realize that. But I'm hoping to live in a world one day where I feel more of my energy in other people. I want to sense myself in others more. I do right now, but I'm, I just can't wait for the future, man, because I still feel like there's so much nonsense. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to do. On top, on top. Can't stay here. Just took that from him if you wanted it. Hostile UAV active. You have reinforcements inbound. I'll be good, I'll be good, I'll be good. Learn 
from the loss. I don't know. I, I don't know. I couldn't shoot. Did I not have bullets? I pulled the trigger. I just. The enemy's hey, GG. Okay, that was going pretty well too. I just didn't pay attention to the circle at all. Hey, just because we're the best player in the world doesn't mean we win every game. I mean, if I if I set my mind to that, I'm sure I could. I just I was setting my mind to what I was saying and sharing, bro. I share more knowledge and information than you've ever heard in high school, literally. If you just watch one stream, you'll probably pick up on more, like, real universal energy than high school would ever teach you, bro. High school will teach you the Pythagorean theorem, and uh, they don't even teach you how to do your taxes, bro. High school doesn't even prepare you for the system that they force you in. That's crazy. You can't just... Bro, if we want to win, we got to win. You know how? You get your stuff. You go to the center and you play like your life depends on it. You don't talk about truth. You don't talk about knowledge. You don't read the chat. You don't talk about nothing. You're focusing on winning. You're playing to win. You're not trying to do nothing else but win. That's how you win. It takes a lot of willpower, a lot of patience, a lot of determination to actually dedicate your 20, 30 minutes to one thing without getting sidetracked. We live in a very distracted distracted world, social media, TikTok, and you know, all that stuff. So focusing and giving all of your attention and energy is very rare for random people to do. Most teammates, I'll watch the scoreboard at the end that have, you know, less than a thousand damage, less than five kills. I'm not making fun. I'm just saying they're probably not locked in enough. When they're talking about kissing their dad and like whatever other weird stuff people are talking about, they're just trying to be that funny guy. They're trying to be that just like comedic relief, even though they suck absolute dog water at the game that's not their goal to be the best some people are just playing just to play i'm trying to be the best i'm trying to win sometimes sometimes i'm just trying to talk and express and share but when i really lock it in i'm not being any other way we win that's just what happens when you focus bro that's why i'm trying to find teammates who are also on that level who just want to win and who do win regardless if they're with a the team or not i want teammates that drop 10,000 damage in 25 kills like I'm, I'm trying to do that, you know? I don't want teammates that can't even shoot. That's just, it's not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. Imagine if a, a pro league, whatever league, brought on some peewee. They would die. They would literally die. That little person, that, un, that unskilled, unexperienced person would literally die if they went against pros. Um, and I sometimes feel bad for you guys that want to play with me that die, die, die. I don't want you to die, bro. I don't want you to die. That's why I want to play with people who are so good, bro. So good. Make me pray to you. I feel like a COD God. Make me pray to you, bro. I'll pray to K3. K3 is a savage. I'll pray to him. I haven't played with many <laughs> savages. Like people that are getting more kills than me. I haven't. I haven't. I feel like one of the few OGs who still play Call of Duty. There's a lot of these new phony kids. I feel like one of the last OGs that's been playing Call of Duty, man. Uh, like OG, I'm talking 10 plus years. I'm trying to think of someone that still plays. The people that I grew up with, the people that inspired me, don't play no more. I'm trying to think of a name that was making videos when I was making videos 10 years ago, 11, 12 years ago. That, like, it used to be LEA, Syndicate, CNNers, T Mart, Hutch, X Jaws. None of those guys, I don't think, play COD. Biological men versus female in boxing be like, I'm not a member, but give me a chance, Sean. Hey, 499, bro. If you want to see me, if you want to show your skills for the price of a coffee, I'll potentially recruit you, bro. If you want, if you want to be on the Savage team, I don't want to say like you almost have to be a streamer or a content creator, but I'm looking for people that have been doing it as long as me, if not longer. You're 44, still kick ass. He plays LEA, Fortnite. Do you remember Daniel Cross? 
He was good, but disappeared. I remember Cross. He was a very quiet man. I met him before. Very quiet. Very gentle man. I hope he's doing okay. If you played MW2 back in the day and played SND, you know the name Reznov. Am I going to play Vondel? Yes. Thank you for asking obvious questions. Michigan jailing people for hate speech? You can go to jail for hate speech. We don't have to agree with everything you say. I lost the comment. We don't have to agree with everything you say, but that's the good thing. It's good to hear other points of view. Yes. Yes, bro. Yes. It doesn't matter how good you are. You can always improve. That's why I go 100% every second of every game. Yes. Exactly. I played with Hutch and MW2 in 2008. Yo, the, the guy who said, God dang, I was asking, do you ever come to my streams? Do you ever watch my streams? I've never seen you. To ask me if I'm going to play Vondel is like saying, do you play Call of Duty? You're, you're, I mean, bro, come on. Now, I'm not trying to be rude to people that don't watch my streams. I'm, I, I, if I were to go to your work and ask you a question that was so obvious... It, 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 ta it takes more energy to respond in a way that's not triggered. It takes the bigger person, the... the <sighs> it's difficult as a streamer to read every comment and to not feel somewhat like annoyed by some comments because it's human nature to feel annoyed by certain things. Asking me if I'm going to play... You're going to play Vondel, Sean? I, want, I immediately want to say no. I immediately want to say no. Because some questions seems like people only ask it for me to potentially read their comment, not because they're actually wondering, just because they want to feel recognized and appreciated. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to express everything without feeling like I have to babysit or like hold your hand or have to read your comment to make you feel better about yourself. That sounds so rude. Maybe, I don't know. Or if it just sounds true, I don't know. I sometimes sense people get upset because... I might not read their comment or feel like annoyed by their dumb question. They're upset that I'm annoyed by their dumb question. And I'm annoyed that they're upset that they asked the dumb question. Yo, Sean, you ever, you're going to play the new Call of Duty? It's like, how old are you? Yes. Hey, Sean, you drink water? Hey, Sean, do you breathe oxygen? Hey. I'm new here. Hey, read my comment. That's what it feels like. Drop down and give me 25 push ups. 25. 25 push ups. 25 push ups, bro. Drop, yo, drop down and give me 25 push-ups. If I see one more stupid-ass question, drop down and give me 25 push-ups, soldier. Oh, and the game, the game's starting, so I'll be back. Like, 
Hey, Leech, uh, you ever gonna play hey, multiplayer again? Hey, Leech, uh, hey, Leech, uh, I play your way. Jesus. Nikki, did you get a new job done? Damn. Looking like balloons out here. Looking like balloons out here. Hey. I'm a streamer. I play this game for a living. Oh, for real? Fuck with that. Yeah, I know life to shit out of this game. Uh, coming off a solo dub. Were you on kick or uh, port hub or what? Uh, Only fans. Pretty good. to mute you poppy but can you like do talk to, to you know what i push to talk exactly that's what i'm saying God, why do you you let the whole team hear that the whole time bro damn that's selfish no it really is selfish as shit bro it is to hear that's what we hear the whole time, bro. That sucks. That sucks, bro. That's Walmart $25 headset. I'm sorry, bro. You can work at McDonald's for three days and get enough to pay for that headset, son. Go to McDonald's for three days. 28 years young. 28 years young. Get a new headset. I muted that guy. His mic sucked. How old am I? How old are you with a $25 McDonald's headset? You kidding me? That's a little, like, baby headset you use when you're five years old, learning how to talk for the first time. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go buy fucking loaders. Alright, God, I'm trying to win games out here, not hear the wind blow. I go outside to hear that shit. People need common sense, dog. I got too much of it, that's my problem. I gotta like get dumber, so I don't care about that stuff. Bro, once I get heated up, once I get heated up, if I hear a random say one silly thing, he's gonna wish he never spoke. It makes me seem like the bad guy, but you'll find out in the movies the bad guys are actually the good guys. Hostel UAV in the sector. Here, if anybody needs a cell, I have two extra. Hostel UAV on the Yes, it loads up. I'm copying one of those. Hostel UAV active. Hostel UAV in the sector. You <laughs> should not have given Wes the money, bro. Oh, he got it. <laughs> nah, bro, I didn't know how to buy a loadout for the longest time, bro. <laughs> No, no, take mine. Damn, Elite Shot really became a big butthead ever since ever since he woke up. Now he's so mean to everybody. He mutes you people that have shitty mics. He bans people from the chat out. for asking dumb questions. Wow, he really changed and got full of himself. Bro, if I have to live as happily as possible, you're gonna have Watch to cut out a lot of negativity out. in your life. And people might call you negative for cutting out negativity, but that's just, you know, how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. This is how the cookie crumbles. Yo, I love that Chris is calling a positivity because that makes me happy. Because I don't want to seem like the bad villain. He said, love the positivity. Elite squad for life. My daughter, Samantha, keeps me watching every night. Yo, shout out to Samantha for 
for watching. Thank you guys for for watching. Yo, West does that actually look like that? Shouldn't have won that fight because I shot back. Alicia, I did. Bro, I thought you were a streamer, bro. You gotta get kills. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll have more than all of you combined. You just wait. Oh, you wanna bet? Yeah, 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 for sure. I'll put a hundred on it. I'll put a hundred on it. So more kills than all of you combined? Stay low or use the water for concealment. Hundred bucks on that? I'll put a hundred bucks on it. All right. How much people are left? Enemy scans active. Get down. Shit, I better start going, man. Locate to the rest of them. Train. Nice stop already. Locations marked. Target down. Enemy surveillance is down. They've lost visual on you. They shot this one right here. Yeah. Oh, he's ducking, he's ducking, he's ducking. Watch out behind. Hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Take your time. Take your time, take your time. You got on the stairs? No. There is, there is, there is. There is. Wait, he's, he's running, he's running. Trust me while I get right. We're behind, behind, behind. We're good, we're good. Thanks, boo. Thanks, boo. The way she said that, damn. I'll go. She so the way she said it, she like, thanks, dude, thanks, boo. It's like a little kid. Oh shit, there's people down here. You see my son there? Yeah. You have reinforcements inbound. Oh no, I hear him. Myself. I don't want to shut that door on me. We've located the rest of them. There's one down Target on down. the other side. Marching the rest of them. Like right here, right here. Yeah, yeah. Also next to us, dropping in. Good work. He's in here. I'll oh, peek that probably. Down him. Nice. Down in here. Hit him. That wasn't my kill? Wow. Which kills were based on damage and not last shot? Imagine that. I'm only saying that because it's $100 in line. Target down. Marching the rest of them. I should have specified whoever does more damage. More damage than the whole team combined. Are we still... Is, is the best still on the line? I mean... I saw technically damage. Uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. We'll see how the end goes, if these guys can survive. And if they, if they don't, you win. Alright, you won 100 bucks. Uh, PayPal. You got more kills, you got more kills. You got more, you got more kills, bro. I guess I changed the rules. You get on Fortnite, bro. You want 50, bro. How about we both send each other 50? Nah, bro, it's okay. A deserter left your squad. My teammates lost because their mugs sounded like this. <sighs> Not to say this, bro, but gaming almost is a... Being good at Call of Duty is more than just, like, being... Being good at Call of Duty, man. What does it take to be good at Call of Duty? Because it takes more than equipment. You can't just have a good headset, have a good controller, a good monitor, good internet, and just be good. Okay, you can't just have skill either. You can't just be good at shooting. You can't just be good at moving. You can't just be aware. You can't just be all those... Like, there's so many ways to be and play. And then the, the guy that has the... 
your headset ends up going, you know, zero and, you know, whatever. Like, you often, I'll notice patterns. Like, they get really upset when I'm like, yo, can you mute your mic? It sounds like crap. I don't have to say it like that. I could say, hey, can you go push to talk? It's kind of tough to play when I hear the, shut your mouth. It's like, I already know for sure he's going to suck at the game because if he wasn't bad, first off, his headset wouldn't sound like that. And second, his attitude wouldn't be like that. My energy and my attitude is so fierce and aggressive and dominant and deadly. And it's a bit scary, and intimidating sometimes. It's not nice. It's not sweet, soft, compassionate, lovely. It's, 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 it's very kind of like from an edgy, sharp place sometimes. So... I could see how others might perceive me to be a not nice person because it comes out in such an aggressive way. But I deep down, I have good intentions and I mean well, and I wish the best for everybody. And if I say something to somebody, it's not because I'm trying to make, make fun or belittle them as a human. Sometimes I like to plant seeds in a very aggressive way. I shove that thing so deep into the ground, they're not going to forget it ever. I plant seeds in people's minds so hard, they probably will just level up because... They got to play with me. That sounds self-centered and selfish, but I met a lot of people in my life and I think I changed a lot of people from conversations and the things we talk about and the effect that has on your psyche over time. If you spend time with people that are like-minded and looking to level up and get rid of garbage, it makes you a more awake, alive, real human being who cares about real stuff. But if you're not spending time with those who actually care, then you're going to end up becoming a, like a thick-skulled, low IQ'd, chubby cheeked, thick thighed. Okay, that's not let's not keep saying physical traits here. I just you could have thick thighs and chubby cheeks, okay? Look at Buddha, bro. Look at him. He had the biggest belly and the biggest cheeks. He was the most happy. It all comes down to truly how you feel in your energy. If I were to keep coming on stream with this kind of energy every time, it would be like if I were to keep it like blah 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 la 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 ra ra bang boom ra after a while it would be it would be taxing on my energy and that's not gonna help prolong my life if I'm constantly having to attack and fight uh, tooth and nail like sometimes that's how information I say gets out there because that's just how it comes out I guess but then there's times where I might be like. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Thank you for tuning in. Happy Friday. Let's get it. But I'm more than one type of way. I think YouTube over time tries to make people feel like they have to be one type of way forever. And if they were to change how they are, their mind, their thoughts, their opinions, then they're going to lose subs, views, sponsors, clout. People are going to watch them. So I see so many YouTubers fun, like they bottleneck themselves to be one type of way. And it just feels fake. It feels phony. But businesses everything i mean if you're running a business sometimes you know not to say it's gonna come out fake and phony but you can't come out being like don't listen to mainstream news do this and don't do that that's not gonna that's not gonna create a good community being a dictator blah 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 do as i say you can't do this you can't do that that's not good either the energy I want to put out is just being your full, authentic self without feeling like it has to be like this. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, and today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay commentary. In this video, I'm about to play an I Play Your Way. In this series, it's where I... <clears throat> Let me redo that. Then I would literally redo it. I would literally, like, oh, I didn't like that take. I'm going to go again. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, guys? It's Elite Shot here, aka Sean, and today I'm bringing you guys another gameplay commentary... I don't like that one. <clears throat> Let me get more authentic. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Elite Shot. That's still how most people are. They still try to put on a face, put on an act. They're still trying to be some type of way for the camera, for social media. But then they act way differently in person. They're not going to share their in-person persona, their thoughts and feelings with their viewers and audience. I met a lot of Call of Duty players, streamers, content creators, and how people are online is always different to how they are in person. They're not like, yo, what's up, Sean? Good to see you, man. In this video, today, we're going to go here and there. What do you think about that? It's like, are you recording a video right now? No, this is just how I talk. No, of course, their energy is going to be different. Of course. But for the longest time, I felt like I had to be this type of way, right? I had to be this smiley, happy, go lucky person that only talks about the game. I play your way. I stay alive. I stand alone. 
Man, I can't wait till I have my own like website where I could stream from it, EliteShot.com. I don't want to have to use YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, Instagram, Kick, whatever else. I just want to have my own plat. I don't want to have to be at the the will of YouTube, you know, and, and things I can and can't talk about. I wish I could just spill the beans right now and wake everyone up in one sesh. I could like tell you everything that you've never heard that you need to know to level up to the next experience, the, the next plane of existence, the next realm, however you want to say it, bro. In video games, there's like hidden secrets, there's levels, there's Easter eggs. I know all this. Well, not all of them. That's very naive. I know a lot of secrets and Easter eggs in real life that helped me get where I am today. But if I were to start saying these things, just like blatantly just saying it to the point, you would think I'm crazy. You would think I'm lost my mind. You would think I'm on drugs. People would unsub. YouTube would probably end the stream if I started talking about specifics that literally in the guidelines of YouTube, they say there's topics you can't talk about because they're conspiracies. But if you pay very close attention to the things you're not supposed to talk about, there's so much truth in that. There's a reason you can't talk about it. They want, they don't want the real information being let out. They're just going to keep, you know, CNN, ABC, whatever, you know, bro, we've, we've learned so much. And the reason I'm still so energized about learning is because I'm still learning every day. My buddy today was sending me information about let me just show, let me just open it up. He was sending me information. Let me see. Look up items called monstrance. They are made of gold. You feel you fill the reservoir with mercury or the blood of Christ, which red mercury. They glow like a brilliant light while projecting energy. They are religious items that were plundered from cathedrals in World War II. Um, there's a lot of old world tech that was collected. Mon monstrance were one of them. So we'll just go back and forth with information we're finding, like stuff that's kind of tough to find. You're not going to hear it on the news. You're not going to hear it on some mainstream stuff at all. But like how kind of reality was before it is now and all the technology that comes with that. It's so fascinating, bro. That's why I'm so like energized about it because it's so fascinating. Like reading something that you haven't heard in school or anywhere else and it having this... Wait, we have a team? No way, we just had a team, right? I think we did. You'll read something you never read before and it'll have this like this vibration you feel that just makes you know it's real. You're just like, oh my God. It's like an epiphany feeling. It's like a, a eureka, eureka. What's the word? You, you, eureka, eureka. It's that like, oh my dude. It's like you're, what? It's like I never knew that. Oh my, it all makes sense now. There's so many pieces to the puzzle, bro. There's so many pieces to the puzzle. Now, the one thing that will determine if people are an NPC or not. Now, this is might get me banned off YouTube, but I'm gonna say it right now because we're about two two hours, almost three hours in. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna say it. And now you guys might unsub, you might think of me differently, you might think I'm crazy, you might think I'm wild. You could th and it's okay if you have a different opinion, but based on my years of knowledge and research and experience figuring out the truths of stuff, this is one thing that you could ask someone to find out if they're an NPC or not. And I don't want to offend you. You might you might like feel offended by the question I'm about to ask because you're going to think differently than me. So you're going to think, no, Sean, you're the NPC for thinking the way you're thinking. But if you think about it, if if a thought process is thought by more people than, than not, then that thought process is probably the NPC way of thinking. So this is the, this is the thing that you could tell an NPC or not, an NPC from a, from a real person. Now, you might be an NPC. You might find out right now that you're an NPC. And if you find that out, it's going to be your wake up call to keep looking down that rabbit hole, to keep searching for the truth and the knowledge and wisdom. It's the things that movies hint about and old stories and the hyperbole, the, the, how it relates to. So the thing I'm about to say, you ready? This is going to this is it. You guys are about to unsub depending on what you think. You ready for this? You ready? Do you think we landed on the moon? If you say yes, you're an NPC. And that's it. And that's all I'm going to say. Now you might say, oh, you're a crazy conspiracy theorist. Hey, think what you want. Think what you want, bro. Think what you want. But you got a lot more searching to do. A lot more digging to do. A lot more digging, bro. Your third eye is way too close if you don't realize that. That's like... That's like, that's like a minimal level stuff too. That's like the first question you can ask if people are an NPC or not. That's the first one. That's it. I already said it. Gonna have to go back and play it back, but that's it, bro. I might lose subs. I might get canceled. I might shut down the stream, whatever it may be. That's, that's the biggest the sign right there. That's number one.
That's number one, bro. That's the first one. So anyone who's like, all right, so wait. We, we can't keep digging bro keep digging if you want to keep trying to say no we can't no we can't go to the moon we can't <laughs> my reality is <laughs> that's how people feel on the inside when you break their they believe something that is true that's not true and the cognitive dissonance wants is telling them no you're wrong no you can yes no 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 no, Sean, you can't, you can't. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't, bro, you can't. And if you think you can, you might get banned. I'm sorry. We're eagles, not seagulls. We're eagles, not seagulls. Woke third eye sea. We're eagles, not seagulls. You can't be a seagull and have a woke third eye eagle mind. And so many big name streamers and personalities are afraid to talk about the real stuff because they still believe the non-real stuff. And they're gonna think I'm crazy. But the real ones know. And once you know, you don't forget. So people are like, no, no, I, I was told as a baby you could. <laughs> Wake up. Wake up. Holy hell. And once you start there, you keep finding out more and more. It's so obvious. That's that's the that's why I know, like you guys in the chat that vibe with it. I know you guys are eagles because you're not saying, Sean, that's very wrong, bro. No, we did. You are spewing lies and conspiracies, bro. You guys are woke as hell that know. And those who don't know yet, you got time. You got plenty of time to learn. Don't you worry. We're one of the wokest dudes in the whole community, bro. We really are. Just ask someone, do you think we did or not? And if they say yes, well, got to keep learning, brother. Got to keep learning. Ah, it feels so good to let it out, doesn't it? It feels so good to be real. Seriously, it feels so good. It feels so good. It's so good, bro. Yo, I, yo, I want anyone that doesn't, like, I want anyone that believes in lies to speak up because then it just helps me realize where the real eagles are and who the seagulls are it helps it honestly it helps so much it really does so i gotta start speaking up more to see who my real ones are because the npcs and bots will make it real obvious like i said i'm gonna lose subs viewers and whatever but i'd rather gain the power of truth <laughs> than believe lies or have people spew lies to me, you know? They just started making rockets at the time, just... I mean, any history, like, all fabricated. History is written by the victors, so... I mean, there was a period between, like, 1700 and 1800 that was wiped. They kind of erased a lot of history to make it seem like many inventions were actually created in the late 1800s, 1900s. They want you to think that back when these coliseums and these ancient structures were created, were made from stone and chisel. They want you to believe that there wasn't technology existed in ancient civilizations that actually went well beyond our technology. They had the ability to uh, levitate objects with the use of sound that could harness the electrical energy in the air, magnetism, and like Tesla coils. I mean, Nikola Tesla pretty much found the the secrets, the uni the, the secrets of the universe with vibration. Uh, what's the saying, bro? My brain goes a mile a minute, but like, there's so many things to digest. There's so many pu pieces to the puzzle. When you start building a puzzle. You're gonna like you look at all these pieces. You're like, oh my god, where do these even connect? Oh, they're like, no, nah, I'm not even gonna bother with it. I'm not even gonna bother. So people don't even try to go down the rabbit hole. They don't even try to solve the puzzle. But once you're like, okay, so this, okay, this definitely connects here because these connect. So there's that connection. Oh my god, this, yo, I found the other piece of the puzzle. This connects as well. Then once you keep connecting these pieces, you start discovering more and more. And once you discover those pieces and find the ones that connect, you don't just like forget it you have it it's right there you don't forget it but there's still so many people in this day and age that haven't even began 
to connect the pieces because they're still like wearing diapers even if they're a grown adult they're still like mentally baby level iq they, they, they still think a lot of nonsense like even people that think they're smart because they went to school and read books and were regurgitating what they were told they think that's smart i think real intelligence is be able to discern what is real and what is not what actually is truth and what is not truth that's real intelligence regurgitating a book or what you get from google isn't intelligence intelligence to me is that is the energy you feel inside bro you just know you just know when something's legit you just know it you don't have someone doesn't have to say like well based on my history and findings uh calculations like you just like oh my god that makes so much sense you'll just understand you'll just know but it takes many pieces of the puzzle to put together first until you can feel that sense of okay it's all coming together now because at the start it's like it's, it's all crazy you're not you're not gonna know so there's one question to ask people and that's where they can start there's mother, there's other questions i could ask you guys to kind of gauge where you are on a spiritual level like if we're you know i could gauge people in a by discussion the things they talk about and say and it's not it's not arrogant to say this it's it's being as real as possible bro i love it so much and i hope you guys appreciate the realness too and if not you're probably not here probably not feels so good bro to be in the moment to be in the know you just know baby you wake up happily the more you realize the more you want to realize the more you want to undis um undiscover undiscover discover rediscover pretty much like re-remembering things you know because you learn something it just clicks it's like you're remembering it again We've had this knowledge. I see that skin. I'll make sure they die. I don't know why, but this one has to die. That guy tried to rush me from the roof. I instantly turn on him. Instantly. Get him vaporized. Bro, my mind is on such a different frequency, on a, such a different plane. Even when I play, I watch other people play. You sense where their mind is at. If they're panicking, if they're staying calm, if they're reacting properly. Sometimes I slip, sometimes I fumble, but you can watch someone play for five seconds and get an idea. If this is their play style, you kind of get a quick idea like okay that's how that's how they play if someone's rushing non-stop 24 7 you get an idea and it's your goal as the player to obviously beat everyone else at the same game you're playing so whoever can can play better whatever that means sometimes it means not moving and being that camper sometimes that's what it means being better doesn't mean always faster like, did I lose that because I suck? Maybe. Maybe I suck at the game. I don't know. I could be the worst player. Is it because I was trying to buy something at the same time he approached? Well, probably. If I had maybe the MP5 I f or maybe a different gun, maybe I could have beat it. Ugh. I thought this was Resurgence, by the way. I didn't think it was this. Everyone, had, everyone who tries to figure out the last piece dies. I mean, hey. If that's what you want to think. I think I figured out more pieces than people that think that. Like, if you... How many pieces did you figure out that think... That makes you think that by f learning more will make you die? Because the more I learn, the more alive I feel. I, I mean that. Even though I might get less views on the internet. Even though I might have less subs. Even though less people might m vibe with me. The more I know, it's like... The better I feel, but the less... The internet kind of appreciates it because who do you think runs the internet who do you think owns <laughs> come on now you don't think information is controlled so of course people like me might not be as big as someone like timmy who's not you know no offense but like 
I'm sure Timmy does talk about some beneficial things that help mankind and he helps lift people's spirits and make people feel good. And that's the most honestly beneficial thing. I've watched Timmy not too much, so I don't have a lot to say, but like, is he talking about truths of reality? Is he mentioning them, you know, these different conspiracy theories? Not that you have to, everyone's different. Everyone has something different to bring to the table. I'm not trying to be a Tim the Tap Man, and Tim the Tap Man's not trying to be an elite shot. No one's trying to be anyone else but themselves. I'm just, I'm just trying to be my real self too, bro. And sometimes real self for others means talking about sports and talking about, you know, hamburgers and pizza. I'm sure Tim talks about more than that. Obviously, he's human. But a lot of times I tune in, it's either food or sports which is understandable because they're fun and they taste good. I mean, do you think Timmy smokes weed or do you think he only drinks? Because if I were to guess, I, I wouldn't, I know a lot of people that don't smoke who drink. And I know a lot of people that don't drink who smoke. It's either you smoke weed or you drink occasionally or, and it seems like those who drink more seem not to care as much about like conspiracy theories than those who smoke those who smoke we are like yo man i wonder how life really is like whoa dude that's crazy man oh my god bro you blow my mind right now but then someone who drinks is like that is false based on the textbooks and what i learned in school da -da -da. that's people who drink alcohol Uh, but if you smoke weed, you're, you're a hippie, man. Yo, chill out, man. What are you freaking out for, bro? Just shred the gnar, homie, and just go with the flow. You know what to do. I could tell by the sound of people's voices if they have what it takes or not to be good at the game. That sounds so weird, but it's almost like the, the sound of their, it's like the confidence in their voice, kind of. I mean, if you hear someone say, what the heck was that? Oh my God. You might be like, wait, was that his real voice or is that actually him acting, reacting? And then if someone's like, I'm going to come back and kill you. You'll be like, oh shoot, really? Let's see it. Like, I want to hear that. People don't say that. They're like, what the F? Oh my God. No wonder you suck at the game, bro. Where are the savages? That's like, I will find you. I will kill you. I will stop at anything to make sure you die. Until my very last breath, we'll make sure mine's the last. Like, why don't I hear that? Instead, it's like, you N word. Come on, bro. You F word. People suck at even being mad. They suck at dissing. Where are the savages? They not exist no more in COD. Is everyone soft? Everyone's afraid to push? Huh? Everyone's afraid to speak up? What about you? This man's not afraid. He went for the risk, and I respect that. I respect it. ISO is actually probably better than Lockman. Just for close up. I can't imagine, though. I mean, if we're still talking about conspiracies, because I love talking about them, I can't imagine still thinking the things I did when I was a little kid. Like, still believing the same nonsense. I can't imagine growing up to be an adult that still believes in fairy tales. It'd be like so weird, like living that kind of life, thinking like, <laughs> it'd just be weird. It seems so young. I don't know. I don't know. 
But I know a lot of people twice my age that still believe in nonsense. So it's like you gotta you gotta want you gotta want it, you know. You gotta wanna know. Hey, I'm just gonna relax. I don't really think about stuff like that, man. I'm just kinda chilling, that's all. I'm just relaxing, man. Teams. Okay, okay. Gas is moving in. New safe zone located. At least. No, no, no. This is solos. You just had south, right? Occupation just kind of scan. felt like his teammates were nearby. The enemy scanning the area. Oh, I didn't mean to hop off. What the hell? Damn. Yo, King is gifting five? I see why they call him King. The man is enlisting five new members to the Empire. Targets located. Go. I almost died. Oh shit, there is teams. King, I'll get to those enlists soon, my dude. You're absolutely crazy for gifting five, my guy. Incredible aim assist. Yo, J. Cyrus P, Celsi Bennett, Tazar Alexander, we got Ted Schaff and Terrell Jeter. Now official members of the Empire, and there's no going back. There's no going back. Once you're elite, you stay elite. And once you stay elite, seagulls. You'll start to notice more and more seagulls, bro. When you're an eagle flying high, all you see is seagulls down below squawking for scraps. We don't even feast on seagulls, bro. They're not worth our time or energy. Thank you, King, for gifting five new memberships. That's like... Give him birth to five eagles, bro. Oh my goodness. Welcome aboard, guys. Because um, when you gift a membership, it gifts it to those who come to the stream often. I've noticed like anytime you guys gift subs, someone who is probably in the chat right when they gifted them got the membership. So thank you so much for that, man. Seriously, thank you. Appreciate that, King. If there's any members that want to play, uh, I'm not expecting you to kill, but if, if you want to just fly with me and see what happens, I may or may not use comms, but I don't want to feel like just because you might not be the best player in the world means we can never play. Nor do I want you to think because I don't talk to you, it means I don't like you. Sometimes when I stream, I like getting in the zone and me getting in the zone involves not talking to anyone else when I'm playing. You gotta lock it in, bro. So much knowledge. So much wisdom. I can't wait to see more legitness drop over time. When do we get the flying cars? When do, when do we get the cool stuff, bro? Can they release? Where are the alien invasions? I want to see an alien invasion take place. Where is the fake alien invasion they've been planning for a while now? Where is it? There's, they're going to say it's an alien invasion when really it's just military technology we've had for hundreds of years that they're calling like aliens when it's pro I mean, al we're aliens. If we're, we're also aliens, so it's probably just some tech we've had for a long time that a common person hasn't seen before. 
It's all out there, bro. I'm just waiting for it. They're taking so long to show the good stuff. I don't know why. Like, come on, hurry up. All, all we got is iPhone so far? Come on, bro. Where's the good stuff? I feel like I'm already living in the future. 100%. I felt this way for the past... At least five years. At least. When I first started YouTube and stuff... I didn't feel too future-like because I was just so new to it all. But then once I became an adult and grew up... I'm reloading. You, you learn more, you realize more, you become a man. And I'm still becoming a man. There's still a lot I have to do and learn, bro. I'm I'm a boy in some ways and a man in others. A child at heart, but a man in the soul. That kind of sounds weird, but deep down in my soul, bro, I feel like... I'm 85 years old. I'm 125 years old. But then when I'm playing games, having fun, wee! I feel like a little baby. Hey, Timmy. Do you actually have my six? Come on now. Come on, guys. Come on. Guys, come on. Let's see, let's see the left sticks. Let's see them. Don't be afraid to use that left stick now, guys. MW3 is bringing movement back. A lot of kids in here are going to be afraid. Yo, peace out, Sheezy. Have a nice night. And happy early birthday to your son. Oh, wait, what? You are watching since you were 14. Have a son turning one on December 1st. Man, that's incredible. Bro, I don't even think I have a... I haven't even got a fish in those years. You had a kid. That's that's amazing. Come on. Come on, Nick. You're better than that. Put me in a late game to try to help bring my team back. Since my stats are higher than everyone else in this whole lobby, which I would put $100 on. I want to like, I want to be proven wrong though. When I say something that, like that, I want to see the average KD of everybody. I want to see the stats. I literally want to see it all broken down. I'm hoping MW3 we could see that because in older CODs, let's say a game's done, you would quickly look at your teammates, your teammates' KDs and score per minutes, and your enemies' KDs and score per minutes. And every time I was able to check, mine was the highest. I'm not trying to brag, but that's my goal, bro. It's my goal to have the highest stats, the most kills, the most score, the least amount of time played with the most amount of kills. In every COD, every game. I know it sounds like I'm full of myself, but it's literally my goal, my objective, to be the best player in every lobby, every game I play. And I'm very surprised when there is people that are better than me that have higher stats because I just don't see it too often. I don't. I really don't. I know I brag and boast a lot the older I get, but like I'm looking for the best, bro. I'm looking for the best. Like I'm, I'm pretty much forced to play free-for-all if we're playing team-based stuff. I mean, this game doesn't have the the post lobby map voting like MW3 will, so it just disbands every time. Even if you stay in that late losing game to try to help your team win, it'll just put you in another late game after that. It's ridiculous. So the higher your stats are, the harder the game will feel to win, like by yourself, because the game thinks, well, you're like three or four enemy, three or four teammates in one. We can't have people just like you on the same team stacked, or else. The other team would lose. But because our stats are high, my my teammates are not. My enemies, oh, dude, that's why free-for-all. We go free-for-all to see, like, okay, who's the best one here? Every man for himself. I have this fire inside to be the best, bro. To be the best. I, bring it on, bro. Bring it. I might even take this off to put, if we're playing on P, to put this on. Hey, How the fuck are you a thousand, bro? Why? Yo, why is why is everyone say yes? I do have a girlfriend. I do this for a living, bro. I stream. I make. I've been doing this for 13 years. What do you do for a living? Suck at Call of Duty. You're level 49. No wonder you suck. No wonder you suck at the game. You're level 49, bro. Get on my level. One day you'll get there. Teach me how to dig a hole. Teach me how to build a wall, and I'll teach you how to play Call of Duty. I'll teach you how to increase your KD and your stats. Nah, because listen, bro, this nigga, he's a twitcher, bro. He's like, show me how to do it. I'll show you how to play games. I'll, like, I'll show you the way. Because you come in here like, like, how is this guy level 1,000? I'm a construction worker and I suck at the game. How do you do that?
I'm, I'm telling you the way. You need some wake up call. You need someone to light that fire under soldier. Drop down and give me 25 push ups. Don't talk back to me. Don't fight. You like that? You like that energy? Your mom's ugly as fuck, nigga. She's a nice lady. Keep digging holes, buddy. Keep digging holes. I'm a lady. Keep digging holes. I'm shooting skulls. You're digging holes. You're digging the hole for yourself. I'm about to bury you in your own hole, son. You're about to dig your own grave. How does it feel? How does it feel? Drop down and give me 25. Drop down and give me 25, soldier. Yo, yo. Hey, I have a girlfriend. Ask your boyfriend to do that for you. Oh, gotcha. What's your, what's your number, bro? Your 716. Number, bro. Hold on, hold on. Let me get my shit out. You pussy nigga. 867. You're fat as fuck. Fat as f. Ah! 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 So fat. So fat. Ah! I'm so fat. I'm so fat. Ah! Ah! I'm so fat. I'm so fat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're not coming in first, bro. That's what I'm I guarantee you I will. I guarantee you I will. Why you say gay jokes? Are you are you hiding something, buddy? Everything you say is gay. What are you hiding? What are you hiding, bro? Come out of the closet. Come on out. Holy crap, this is fun. This is so fun. This is the most fun I had in probably 10 days playing time. I guarantee you no lie. It feels so good. Thank you so much, Tyrell. Or Ty DZ. Hey. Oh my god, it feels so good. Thank you. Thank you guys. Honestly, I feel so energized. I feel like I just ran a marathon. Hey, good luck guys. Have fun. I'm drunk, bro. You can still suck. I'm lit thing. as shit. I'm good luck, bro. Good luck, bro. Bro. Did you... Oh, I felt so good. I felt so good, bro. Seriously, it feels good. I guarantee you, I will win this game. It's going to take a lot because I hooked them up a lot, too. I'm like the best drill sergeant. The best, like, team hype. Hype man. Bro, I will hype a whole army up. If you're on my side, you're getting hyped up. If you're not, well, you're gonna be underground. I have a good way of hyping enemies up though, because I make them feel things they haven't felt their whole life. I really do. And they help me out too. They make me feel things that like I'm craving to feel. Like that energy, that drive, that fire. I love that, I really do. It sounds crazy, like that's energy, bro. Fight me, let's see what happens. Then he's gonna make excuses like, I have to get my inhaler reset or something? I don't know. Anything Got someone says against you is literally just them expressing what they feel inside. So it's like, suck my D, they secretly want that, but that's how it comes out. You know what I mean? I don't say stuff like that because I don't want it. I have a girlfriend. I have a lovely woman that takes care of me graciously. It feels so good though. It, it really does. I feel like I could go for a run. I feel like I could even start drawing something beautiful right now or painting. Why? Because I'm energized, bro. I'm like the Energizer Bunny. I just never die. I just guaranteed these guys I was going to win the game. I hyped up uh, Ty DZ or whatever his name was. I hyped him up. He hyped me up. Watch my back. AFK? Get back here. I can't, yo, I can't imagine being like level 49 saying like, I'm gonna beat your ass in this game. As like, I'm level 1001. I can't imagine being like level 49 with 50 minutes played thinking like, 
they're going to beat someone. I just can't because I've okay, never been in that situation. I'm so used to winning and so used to coming in first. It's a surprise if I don't. I'm not even joking. It sounds so mean and like it sounds arrogant, but it's so true. I'm so used to winning. You guys are used to seeing me win so much. It's more surprising when I don't. That's a pretty good place to be as a gamer. It's surprising when I don't turn up. I'm gonna show his little face or what? You actually behind there still? There's no way. He actually is. That's wild. When I play, when I play free for all, I don't want to say it's the best show of skill because these guys aren't that skilled. But everyone's trying their best to win, whatever that means. It's a true test of personal skill to go against everyone else that's also trying to be the best. When you're playing with teammates that have negative stats and you're the only guy on your team going positive, it's not a good test because your team is weighing you down so much. When there's nothing weighing you down, bro, when you're an eagle flying in the sky, the only thing bringing me down is me going down to catch my prey. That's it. I only come down to their level to kill them, to catch them. I'll pick them up, drop them midair. What are they gonna do? Eh, get out of here. You know who you're messing with? They're showing in real life, but then there's Elite Shot online. Elite Shot is a savage and he will not stop until he wins and it gets what, what he wants, what he says. Like, that's how my Elite Shot energy acts, is. It's an act, but it's what I really feel. Music though. Did we lose him yet? He backed out of the game. No, he's still here. Who was level 49? <laughs> Pineapple Express. Hi, Deezy trying to hide in the corner. Was that him hiding? I was y'all don't even pay attention to names when I'm playing. Everyone's the same to me. Ah. Movement does not help, by the way. The faster you move, the more their aim assist locks. So if you're moving slower and you're trying to shoot early, instead of like trying to jump into it, because the faster you are, if you're tax spring full speed, they don't have to be accurate for those shots to hit. Rotational aim assist will do the magic. It goes both ways, though. Everyone's playing real scared now. Mic check, mic check. I went right through him, by the way. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Free gun is online. Can't unmute him. Mission is complete. Good work. I can't unmute him. <clears throat> oh, good game. Well played. GG, boys. Ty DZ, he said he was going to beat me this game. Went 5-17. and 17. He said, I guarantee I'm going to beat your ass. He went 5-17 and 17 with a .29 KD. He hyped the shit out of me, bro. I got hyped up as F. I love that. Seriously, it's like the most... It's like in nature. When two animals come, you know, like... 
come together and start bashing their their skulls to they start ramming each other they start fighting each other two animals trying to prove dominance that's what it feels like in a free-for-all match pre-lobby you know you could you don't have to speak all like like a grizzly bear trying to gain territory of a you know you know you know you don't have to but like I like when someone thinks they're going to win and it like amps me up to make sure I do win because they're not going to be able to keep up with that energy. They're like getting like upset and offended. I'm getting more and more energized. I feel like I'm, I don't know. I just, I'm express, I'm letting it out, bro. I'm bl exploding with energy. I'm like, I'm, just, I'm like a shooting star. I'm like a eternal ball of fire. I love it. I love it, bro. That's what I'm talking about. That's the type of scores we get. 30 and 4. It takes me back to my youth. I was just as much of a savage back then, but I right now would take out my previous self 100%. If I were to fight my old self, bro, in the game or in real life, I would destroy him. It would, I mean, that's how it goes. You're constantly trying to level up. So if these puny little weakling enemies think they have what it takes to step up, step up! Step up then, bro! Because I will take you down in nature. I'm not going easy in nature, bro. This is the Wild West out here. You ain't taking it easy. Hey, GG. That was a lot of fun. Seriously, I really, for some reason, enjoyed that. <clears throat> you know, people that participate in the UFC and Octagon, you think they have fun with it? They probably do. I don't think they'd do it if they didn't like it somewhat. I'm sure getting punched in the face a bunch and having your arms and legs almost broken all the time, maybe it's not fun, but that release of energy, it's like testosterone, it's these endorphins just going wild. That right there, dude, is how you get armies hyped up. That's how you get your 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 team hyped before the game. You gotta get the energy up. You guys are ready to win. I saw you ready to win. Like, that was without any practice or preparation or any charge up too. If I truly charge it up, Bro, I could charge up a whole army, bro. Because I'm just letting it out. GG. GG, bro. I haven't met another human with more energy. Not yet. I've met people with, you know, they got close levels. But when you're over 9,000, you just keep going up and up, baby. Seriously. I do things in real life to... To like grow this fire and energy I have inside. I try to get rid of the things that hamper it or try to hinder it or try to like make me not feel it. Just because I want to feel the most. I want to be the most. And damn, it feels good. It feels good to not hold back. It's like putting the pedal to the floor. Knowing you're out of here. You're going, bro. Drive responsibly on a closed track or a place that does not have speed limits. And when you just freaking go... You're just letting it go, bro. When you're giving a full throttle, whatever it may be, even when you're sprinting full speed, it's that same energy. It's when you're doing push-ups and it's getting real hard. You keep pushing even harder. It's when you're doing sit-ups. You just start to sweat. Your core's on fire. You just keep going. It's that energy right there. And if you don't have the ability to keep pushing through that energy, I don't know if you'll make it to the next level. You got to keep fighting through different walls. Maybe you'll get to your breaking right point. You'll get to this what point where you feel... We're right straight... Now. Bro, you're witnessing history. This is the speeches of the ages, bro. Want any more? No. Oh, come on. It's, <laughs> it's how I win games. It's how I hype myself up. You guys want to win or not? I need to hear the energy that you want to win. Do you, you guys want to win or not? Does anybody want to win? Am I the only winner on my team? Does anybody else want to win? No one else. They're all muted. I said, does that... Hard point. <laughs> Bro. Okay, okay. We have to, we have to, uh, we have to oh, calm six. ourselves down. Six. It's pubs. Chill, bro. I am not chilling, bro. Say it to my face. Say it. <laughs> Yo. Enemy personnel at the hard point. Got your six. Might have to take off the 60 to put the 40 on. I feel a little slow with the with the 60. Hard point compromise. I replaced the AMOP 4 with the F tech. Oh my god though, it's accurate. Oh my god! I reload though. I gotta change it right now. 
Yo, I might even be able to get away with 30, but let me try to 40 out. We're taking the lead. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Grenade. Mantle is slow. A grenade kill? Confirming next hard point. Stand by. Requesting recon flyover. Copy. UAV. If you want to be the best, you got to be better than the best. Location updated. And we've been better than the best, bro. I've been a lead shot my whole life. Well, actually, I've been a lead shot since 2010. Keep the hype! No settling down! Get in there, soldier! Drop down and give me 1,000 trillion push-ups! Until your arms fall off! I said, drop down! I'm gonna have a heart attack. I think I'm having a heart attack. Next time someone's having a heart attack, you have to step to it. I don't know if anyone here has ever watched Portlandia, but that show's hilarious, and Fred is one of the most underrated comedians. Fred Amerston, Amerstein, Amerstein. Your max. Dude, his, his characters are so funny to me. What was I before 2010? Before 2010, 2010 I was just uh, Happy Go Lucky, Sean, Michael, Osuch, and he did his homework. He listened to his parents. He was a good friend. He was nice to everyone. He uh, ate his vegetables. He, um, you know, it's just your well-rounded, happy-go-lucky boy from Buffalo, New York. But then until 2010, bro, I became an absolute, you know, once I became elite shot, I used to be epic X elite shot because elite wasn't enough. I had to be epic and elite. My clan was called Epic. It was the Epic Clan. It was me and my boys back in the day. Oh. And then once I kept playing Call of Duty over the years, Elite Shot has became this online persona, this online way of being or playing. It's like when you're in the game, I'm giving it my Elite Shot. When I'm speaking from my, co my core, my soul, I'm giving it my Elite Shot. You know, when I'm talking right now, it's, it's my Elite Shot. It's, it's Elite. But then, if I want to go back into Sean mode, I have to, uh, I have to, like, drop, drop the ego, not speak from the core, look at the chat and be like, Hey, what's up, Nicknack? I appreciate that. Eloy, you're saying that all changed after 2010? Exactly. Uh, Epic Player One said, boom. I have to balance sh the Sean energy oh, with the right. Elite Shot energy. The and if I only let the Elite Shot energy take over, then I'm not sure if anything else will remain, and I don't want that to happen. Locating the next hard point. Get ready. You know, if I if I only harness the elite energy, we might actually go through a uh, a second golden age, and everyone will wake up immediately. If I were to release my full potential energy like that, everyone would wake up in an instant, and people would stop believing lies immediately and stop eating garbage immediately. And there'd be a massive shift overnight, but I have to be careful with how much I release my energy because I don't want worlds to collide and, you know, universes to start overlapping and it'd get real complex, so I gotta be careful, you know? That's what happens when, you know, world destroyers truly release their full energy, become the true form, and, uh, devastation. Destruction. Nothing but. Merch. I have like five shirts that won't probably fit any of you guys. Um, I have a lot of hats. 
have a lot of hats right now. Enjoy, Joey. Enjoy. I dare you to end it with a cold shower. I dare you to end it making that water as cold as possible. And I, I dare you to endure it for at least a minute. All over your body. I dare you. I dare everyone, actually. Next time you take a shower, you can start warm and get all soapy and, you know, clean yourself off, right? But when you, when you get out of the shower, before you do, make that sucker as cold as you can and stay there for as long as you can. I dare you. Because it'll make you stronger. It'll make you better at the game. It'll make you better in real life. When you put yourself through things that are very uncomfortable, it makes you stronger because you're not dead. So you have to get stronger. You're not going to turn the cold water on and immediately die. Upstairs. Love their call outs and everything. It's pretty cute. I think it's Battle Royale or something. Y'all are silly. Question recall. I drop a nuke on their head, I don't know. Confirming next hard point. It's my backup. Let's even work. Enemies inside the perimeter. Oh you still die. You absolute like absolute turd. It's literally a turd. Look like one, smell like one, you play like one, you're a turd, bro. Whoops, 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 whoops. Let's get in there with the advanced dog. Repulse taking him out. I got no ammo for this thing. Let me take your gun. About less than two minutes. Target sighted. Oh shit! That aim assist is strong. Switching max. Not utilizing this. So this game, the more kills you get, the better you do, the more aim assist enemies enemies get, where it becomes blatantly obvious and absolutely horrendous. Horrendous. If you play that back and watch it in slow-mo, I swear, it's every, it doesn't matter the gun they have, any gun. The moment they shoot, it instantly locks on and one shot kills you, regardless. I mean, you could think I'm just upset because I died by a shoddy, but like, any, I mean, this happens in many CODs. The ones that <sighs> past few years. Do you see it though? Like, do you feel it? Do you do you see when you get more kills and you're dominating how easy it is for enemies to kill you without actually having to aim? But if I were to be in that same situation and shoot the guns that they're shooting in that type of way, it wouldn't get a kill that easily. If I were to shoot a shotgun at an enemy like that, the way he did without having to aim, it would be a hit marker immediately. But because I was on a 20 plus kill streak, it makes it so every enemy who shoots me has a much greater chance of killing me because of the streak I'm on. 
that's part of the game. It's not just conspiracy. It literally happens, and I've noticed the more I play. It's kind of amazing, ain't it? For the sake of balancing, though, of course. For the sake of balancing. So if I'm using the, the TAC-56 in MP, don't need the AMOP. Probably don't even need the, the suppressor. You could probably put the sack in Tread or even maybe something else. At instant, immediate, lock-on, aim assist without any brain activity whatsoever. I gotta love it. I wish I was so bad at the game and it assisted me. I hope. Like, when I'm playing bad, I'm like, yo, game, help me, help! But because my stats show that I'm not bad, it's like, you help yourself, bro. You do the aim. You know how to aim. You don't need to rely on the, the game to do the aiming. You got really high stats. You're the highest statted, legit Call of Duty player in the whole game, bro. You can handle it yourself. But I'm like, wham, but skill based. But why the aim is It's because you're so good, bro. That's why. So it should be taken like a compliment. Thank you, game, for making it incredibly difficult because I'm so good. Thank you. Because it's making me better. It's making me even better. These kids with 0 0.05 KDs killing me are actually making me better. Because the Elgos turn up to the point of like aimbot. So I have to go against aimbots. It, ma it makes me better. Truly. Truly, 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 bro. Let's go win a, a Warzone match. In case anyone's wondering, yes, I still play Vondel. You still you gonna play any more MP, Sean? I just gotta be, I gotta be more selective of which comments I read out loud or even like in my head. Cause I'll sometimes read a comment that triggers me for some reason, cause it sounds so stupid. I shouldn't, I mean, why do I get triggered by stupid comments? Cause there's no such thing as a stupid comment unless you ask me, are you gonna play Vondel? I just am wondering, jeez! Elite, I just wanted to hop in your stream to ask you one thing. You still gonna play Call of Duty? Bro, MW3. If they don't... If it does not feel faster than this game, I'm becoming a Fortnite streamer. I'm gonna do what Allie did. Well, Fortnite content creator. I might stream it too. If, if MW3... I need specialist and movement. And so far, I heard that the movement was better, so I might not become a Fortnite guy. And massive props to Allie, because literally he's one of the most successful Call of Duty slash Fortnite YouTubers, just gamers on YouTube of all time. One of the most successful, hands down. That dude's a multi, 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 multi-millionaire. And one of the nicest dudes I've ever met. Anytime I've ever met LEA at Gamescom or PAX or Call of Duty, you know, pre-releases. Every time I've met this guy, nothing but good energy. LEA, amazing energy. He literally would approach me and say, yo, Elite Shot, what's up, man? I can't, I'm, I don't have a, I can't talk British for you guys. He doesn't really sound, I mean, I guess he does sound kind of British. He's not even British, though. Is he, what is it? What is LEA? English? Super nice dude. T-Mart? Yo, T-Mart's a super nice dude too, bro. Every time I met T-Mart, solid, solid dude. Stand-up guy. He will take the coat off his back. I'm at Syndicate. Syndicate, he's a little more to himself. He's not gonna be like, oh, yeah, what's up, so He's gonna be more kind of just to himself. Kind of more of in his own world in a way. I remember seeing Syndicate and Elie and a lot of other people and you kind of get a feel for people's energy if they want to talk or not. You don't want to be like, hey, I'm your biggest fan. I really love what you do. Hey, oh, okay. Th thanks, man. Can I get a picture with you? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Marching the rest of them. Wow, parkour. If you guys ever want a picture with me, please don't be afraid to ask. I promise it won't like be annoyed or anything. If you see me, I'd rather you say something than be like, yo, I think that's I think that's a YouTuber. I think that's yeah, it's definitely a YouTuber I can recognize from his voice. I've heard people like talk about me behind my back. Like, I, yeah, that's guy, that guy's a YouTuber. 
I don't know. What's that? Oh, hey, it's a. Hey, re if you recognize me, you better say something. Because I can hear you creeping. I can hear you. If it's not someone that knows me, it's an old lady saying, Oh my, he has such lovely hair. Wow, your curls are beautiful. Thanks, lady. I have a. Uh, I think old ladies love me, bro. It's not into old ladies. I mean, I, I respect them. They're beautiful. Old ladies are the best. Can't just walk around a grocery store without an old lady complimenting my hair. No hits on that round. Hmm. <clears throat> Guys are hilarious. Hilarious. If I just stay in the toilet, maybe you'll never know. Oh, he got me. He got me while I was pooping. I'm gonna poop on your head. Of course, I still got it, bro. You don't forget it once you got it. Bro, we're an OG. I've been playing Call of Duty more than I've been living real life. Literally, I've been playing this game, spending more time in the game than I have outside in real life, for real. But my last few have been trying to spend more time outside. That's why my views haven't been so great. And I haven't been posting as many vids because I've been living life without sharing it. But after a few years of not sharing as much, now I'm like, you know what? I want to start sharing more stuff again. So here we are, sharing stuff. More, more uh, vlogs, more vids, oh, all that. Hostile UAV overhead. You've got a low health drop inbound. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunting. Ah, GG. Game over, boys. <clears throat> no, no loot crate. No loot crates. They they uh stopped doing loot crates like ten years ago, or maybe like eight years ago. Maybe five years ago. They stopped doing them a while ago. It's kind of crazy to think I've been living in my own home for over five years now. It doesn't feel like it. You'll think five years when it's actually like eight. Like, oh, I'm five, year, five years or so. It's like, bro, it's been eight years ago since that happened. When you think about time, things just go so quick. If you're not living in the moment, life just might slip right past you, bro. If you're not making the most of right now, if you're not expressing, sharing, being, loving, whatever it is, you're going to wake up one day and realize, oh, man, I'm old, and I don't know if I've ever fully lived. I want to fully live now. So how do you fully live now? Whatever that comes to your gut first, go with it. You want to go out? Go out. You want to stay in? Stay in. But it's good to challenge yourself and push your boundaries. Do things that maybe you haven't done before. Anytime I've gone somewhere I've never been, bro, having new experiences, seeing new things, trying new foods, being active, I always come back feeling refreshed, feeling energized even more. And I, I, I play the game better. I'll view the game like it's literally clearer. The game physically gets sharper looking for some reason. Because when you're just spending all day, weeks, months, years inside staring at screens, you stop kind of appreciating the technology for what it is. 
and outside starts becoming this annoying thing like, oh, I gotta go outside. I just wanna play games all day. And when I was a kid, 16, 17, 18, 19, I was playing games all day long, every day making videos, every day, all day, for years and years. Friends hit me up, wanna go to party? No, wanna go here? No, I'm making a video, bro, bro all the time. And then it got to a point where everyone just stopped hitting me up because they knew, well, he's probably making videos. And then 10 years go by, oh my God, Elite Shot, you actually did it, bro. You actually were able to make it through YouTube. You got your house, you got your car, just from playing video games and making vids? That's crazy, bro. Dude, good for you, man. Good for you for sticking with it. You're awesome, man. I wish I would've stuck with it. Back when I was doing it, still am doing it, people be like, ah, parties, hanging out, drinking, celebration. Bro, the grind is now, every day. We're grinding, son. Even when I wasn't posting daily vids, I was still grinding different ways can't just be good at one thing and that's that i want to be good at everything whatever i whatever i set my mind to i end up getting really good at it anything bro anything literally it could be painting bro i used to take art classes i'm hella good at art digital media even drawing bro I'm sure if I tried to sing, I could sing, but my singing voice might be too good for mankind to hear, so I try to save it for myself. I could become anything I want to be, bro. And because I've stuck with what I loved for so long, I set myself up where I could do whatever I want to do. If I want to go to Disney World, I can go to Disney World. If I want to go to Australia, I can go to Australia. If I want to go to Tokyo, I can. I haven't yet, but I could. I have the means to. I just haven't had the big enough urge to make it happen yet. But I've been challenging myself. I've been trying to do new things, you know, and also trying not to be a hoarder of money. It's really easy to save, 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 save. Easy to save, right? Easy to spend. But then after a while of saving, 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 you start feeling like, well, if I spend money, then I won't have as much. And if I buy this useless crap, then it's just wasting money. But if you save, 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 and never buy anything, and then you kind of stop the flow of, you kind of stop the flow of the money. If you just hoard it, hoard it, hoard it, and never spend it on anything, you never upgrade, you never buy what you want, or go where you want, or buy, like, eat what you want, you just hoard it, then you're not really living life to its full potential. If I were to die tomorrow, that would be really sucky. That'd be really, really sucky, because I did not spend my money. I have too much saved up. And I still have a lot that I want to do. So I got to make sure I make it last, but also I also have to spend it because like I said, dying with a sh crap ton of money. Of course I want to give to family, you know, but we have a lot to accomplish in life before I think about dying. I'm trying to live to 125, man. But more, thinking about our mortality, might be one of the biggest motivators for mankind. Thinking about death and that this is not gonna be forever. Since we're not gonna be here forever, you might as well just do whatever you wanna do and express what you wanna express. You're not gonna be here forever, so just do it. What do you wanna do? Do it. What the hell, what's stopping you? I'm trying to talk to myself this way. What's stopping me? Laziness, video games stop me. Call of Duty stops me from living my full potential. Because becoming the best COD player doesn't mean you become the best human. You're not actually getting better at life. You can, like, make stuff out of it, make more content, so... Life is quite the juggle. Balancing acts. Quite the performance, right? If you only focus on money, 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 then you're maybe you're not living. If you only focus on live, 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 spend, 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 then you're not saving for a rainy day at all. Then you're like, crap, I got nothing. It's this mixture of living, saving, and just trying to make your life as comfortable, as confident, as secure as you can. But I never want to stop doing what I love, you know? I retired years ago. Then I came back. Retired from what? I, I retired, bro. I reti retired from uh, gaming. Call of Duty playing. When it came to making videos, I still played. I just... Now I'm back out of retirement. Enemy dropping Not that I need to be, it's because I want to be. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. Because playing video games all day, and that's it, is very boring Heads after up. a while. 
You're like, you know what? Captain. Maybe I will start living life and doing things. Does that mean sharing stuff on the internet or doing things outside of my comfort zone? Makes life feel a lot more fulfilling. Because, bro, I'll, I'm the t I have like an addictive personality where if I play a game I really like, I'll play it for like 200 hours straight. I mean, I'll take breaks, but I'll play one game and put so much play time in in a very short period of time. Even if that short period of time is, say, like a half a year or a couple of months or whatever it may be. Like, I'll put in so much time in a, in, into something and then just stop. And then just stop entirely. I've never done that with Call of Duty fully, but I have taken breaks from playing it as much or making videos on it. And now I'm back to like, yo, I actually like sharing stuff. Any type of content. It's fun, man. It's fun. You still have everything and the energy drink? Enemy soldier incoming. The mantle is so killer. I wasn't trying to camp it. Wow. Hostile UAV active. Target down. Marching the rest of them. Hostile UAV overhead. Hostile UAV Welcome back. Welcome back to the show, baby. Amazing. It's incredible being the best player to ever exist. Holy crap, dude. No one's on my level. Not even close. They try, but they have to cheat. Even when they cheat, they still can't. Oh, man. Oh, man. Not even close. If I were to race these guys in real life, they would eat so much dust, it would not even be close. I'm faster in real life than I am better at them in the game. Let's just say that, bro. And I haven't ran in forever, and I'm still faster. How do I know? Because I'm fast! I'm fast! That's why! These guys aren't fast. They're slow as hell. Actually, hell's faster. His name was Neo? Yeah, right, bro. Yeah, you wish. You wish. I don't die by people that are faster. I die by those who are slower. A lot of people left. We get a lot of kills this game. Can't wait to complain about aim assist though. <laughs> you get a crap ton of kills, you'll die in one bullet soon enough. From like a crappy ass gun too. That will never get a one shot kill, but somehow it gets you. I've seen it again and again and again. Don't ask. For the sake of balancing. Enemy soldier incoming. I sell UAV in this sector. Enemy UAV overhead. Good kill. 
kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your tactics. Get hunted. Hostile precision Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. Fire sales over. Adjusting prices. Hostile UAV overhead. I'm gonna trace the whole time. Can I zip that? I mean, the circle's closing this way. Hostile UAV in this sector. Glad they're dead. I want that person to die for some reason. There's, I don't like that skin. I don't like. I don't like him. My screen has so many smudges on it. don't have like a knife or something. That's how many, yo, how many versions? All right. Damn, all these gunfights feel risky as hell. So this game is so amazingly designed. It makes sure that anyone can kill you regardless of skill level. Hostile UAV in this sector. Holy shnikes, he left. No one can belittle me. No one can say differently. Good luck challenging me. I pray for you at night. Good luck.
All stations, a jailbreak is active. I don't want to use it just yet. You're in the top ten. Well done. See lots of ride shield action. I'm gonna get to the circle. Maybe actually I don't even need that there. But I yeah, I grab this. Heads up, the jailbreak is active. Jailbreak, let's go. Twenty. It's Twenty-one. No. Oh. Holy shit. Sit the hell down, little boy. You, little boy, you suck ass at the game. That's why. Not cheating. You just suck. Literally, you just suck. That's literally why you died. I'm not kidding. You're just bad. How often do you see me sitting in a corner waiting for someone to come through? Never! I might watch a... I might watch somewhere where they're camping, but I'm not going to be like, Okay, I'm going to watch this little doorway now. <laughs> Get the hell out of here, you suck. That's why. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so savage, but sometimes you have to be. Cause if I'm not a savage, who will be? One of these guys? Hell no. They're not savages. Shield guy. Is there something I chuck at this freak? He's got something to chuck at me. Fuck, man. Only five remain. You are close to victory. I had nothing to throw at him. I should have. The guy that had the underwater pistols. Oh my god. 25 kill game, came in second place, and lost to an absolute rat. GG.
GG, I'm gonna grab some water after that one. Damn, son, damn. We're the best of the game. Everyone else sucks, apparently. Apparently, I didn't see nothing out there impressive. Riot shields and people sitting in corners. GG, that's a win for me, baby. Bro, when we have amazing guns in our hands, we're capable of doing amazing things. This right here is my f one of my favorite guns. I want to say my fave because I think it's my most used, at least for, for BR. It's still incredible to me after the nerf. But the ISO shoots quicker and I think it does beat it out up close. I might actually put on the ISO to compare. One shot right now. Uh, the hell? Is it actually set up for a one shot? Well, let's take that off. I'm gonna have to take the optic off so I can get another attachment. And I might also put over pressure on here since I like running it. Uh, let's see. My dead zone's gonna mess it up. All right. I know I could use my keyboard, my D-pad, but my controller's sticks will just still make it slide all over the place. Start spay spaying? Wait, do you mean sp spraying? Wait, sparring do you mean? <laughs> Not spraying, sparring? Is that a little typo? It's sparring, considering it for sure, I bet. It said five left, but I think that was a glitch. I don't think there was five left. No way. All right, so. I'm gonna need this to be steady. I actually don't lose much control at all. Keeping some of that range. Honestly, like more towards the center. Seems better. I'm gonna go extra steadiness, or do I want that velocity? I was just basing that on the visuals of the graph. I mean, it's gonna be for close up, but having more bullet velocity means your shots register sooner. Like your shot will hit sooner. That seems kind of clutch, but if the gun's not stable at all, that's not clutch. I have to, wait, what do I have in my lock, man? I might just copy the attachments. Let me just check it real quick. Phase three, real pendulum. I don't know if it's the same though. Whoops. Ooh, whoops. Just put. Wait, 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 wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. I had the FR Advancer on here. I want the Tempest. Off this recently. These three. Already has so much stability apparently. Walking speed, aim walking speed. Let me get a little feel. Ah, hold on, I'm so used to, and my dead zones are turned up, but I'm used to my Lockman sub. This thing's gonna be, have to be for close up obviously. But I need to kill faster than a Lockman. Close up, that is. This far, obviously, that's not the range where I want to be using it. Okay, okay. Velocity, range, movement, head fire accuracy. Steadiness, range. Smoothness, velocity. Stabilization, aim, walking speed? Let me, let me feel that walking speed. Oh, that kick. I'm gonna be a hit point a lot with this. It's wild. Uh, so the ISO. I don't know ISO. I don't know. We're going to find out if it's good though. 45. More ammo to blow. Is phase three the one though? Aiming auto stability, hip fire accuracy, stabilization. I want to see how it feels with this on here. It doesn't add much. That does nothing. This gun just shoots so quick. I try to make things easy to use. Not ridiculous. Does that even actually make a difference though? Just pretend it does. All we have is gold for. Still digging this thing for sure. Do I take this off? Easy to use gun. So easy to use. Gotta fix my dead zones. It was turned up so I could tune my stuff. Let's see. No. No, 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 no. Looks a little weird. 
a little bit sometimes. Like that, the part in the front. See how it kind of jumps a little weird, but it's a pretty easy setup to use, even without the aim out. Haven't played in a while. Ashika. Yo, Elite, how the hell you level 1012, bro? I play this game for a living. I, you suck. You get a life. You ever touch a girl? I'm jealous that you get to play games and I have to dig holes. Go get a life and go dig a hole like me. I'd be upset too, bro. If I had to dig holes and I was talking to someone that got to play video games for a living, I'd be like, screw you, man. At least I have hands. You got little baby soft hand video game hands. But instead, like people that say stuff, their disses aren't that good. Like the things they say back is like, get a life, loser. It's like, bro, I play video games for fun and for a living. What do you do? You shut up. You suck. You bad. Touch your girl. It's like, I have a girlfriend. I'm so happy. Why are you so not? Get a life! It's because they see that my level is higher. So they use that to like, oh, I'm about to poke fun at this guy. Then they find out we're Goku and one punch man and one. Sure, I might see them all calm and whatever on the outside. But if I get all, if I, if I freaking charge up. I transform like the Incredible Hulk. There's no... There's no chilling. There's only killing. When you release the Savage, bro, there's no going back. This does not need to aim up scope, and it's a waste. Back in the day, if you couldn't get used to Iron Sights, you were kind of missing out on the attachment since you couldn't put so many on. I definitely preferred running the iron sight and you get faster ADS. Training is over. Time to see what you have learned. Did I have the pineapple grip on the ISO before? Maybe, maybe. That grip is good for hip fire, so it might be worth trying. Much love from Tahiti. I saw the knickknack. It's always fun playing with K because the man gets a lot of kills Send and more damage. Squad, I love seeing kills and damage, bro. Where? Where? I can pick it. You guys. Down for wherever. We got going right now. We got Lose AFK, I think. Lose AFK, I think. All right, they're getting muted, just like that. Deployed the boom boom. If I hear hey, myself, bro, you're getting muted. Hello. If I hear my stream in the background, you're getting muted. If I hear an echo, a wind blowing, a fan, air conditioner, you're getting muted. Like, I gotta hear pure silence and the sound of my enemies whimpering when they die. Oh no! Oh, you got. Me. You gotta lock it in, bro. There's no time for fun and games. Well done. My patience is very low when it comes to killing. You're dying quickly. It's not gonna take a while. Ooh, I had more ammo in that thing. Is this resurgence? Not sure what that was. Resources, go get your revenge. 
in trouble. Hostile counter UAV overhead. I might die. GG boys, GG. Alright, next drop, we're gonna have to pick a spot and get some guns. Pick a spot and get some guns. I took too much time trying to talk to teammates, trying to decide where to drop. You just have to drop in and get going. You can't be like, hey guys, so where are we gonna go? Oh, you guys got a mic? Hell, you guys got a mic? Oh. It's too much time. Too much time delay. You just have to get in there and get it done. There's no time to talk. There's no time to decide where to drop. Just get in there and get it done. <clears throat> Dude, if enough Teletubbies attack, they're deadly. When I'm playing this game, it's attack of the Teletubbies. There's just so many like, ah, here they come. If I have a good gun, though, all the Teletubbies are going down, bro. All of them. You can tell the difference between an eagle and a Teletubby. What's the difference? What's the opposite of a Teletubby? It can't be an eagle. That's the opposite of a seagull. A Teletubby, a Power Ranger. There we go. Are you a Power Ranger or a Teletubby? Come on. I need those Power Ranger teammates. We have to join forces and become a Mega Morph. Mega Morph. Rain, mega Morpher Rangers. Mega Morphing Rangers. Go, go, Power Rangers. Go, go, Power Ranger. I just want one random teammate without having an echo in the background. Just one. I just want to not hear like crinkle of chips or their shots. Maybe, maybe my expectations are pretty high for for how I want the game to go because I'm expecting to win, get a lot of kills. So if there's like any interference, if there's any distractions, I'm like, that's gotta go. That's gotta go, bro. Whatever. I can't hear that. I don't know if it's being petty or just trying to lock it in as much as possible. I want to. I want to control this this whole game. I don't want to hear someone else's game from their TV. Practice That's just over. like they're just taking away from the moment, you know. Again, a lot of this stuff might sound petty by itself, but when you start adding up all these things, if you have a good controller, control freaks, gamer grip, a headset, a monitor, good internet, you just keep adding more essentials, just optimizing your setup, just playing better and better. You'll keep getting better. But if you have Distractions all over the place. The Come on now. To be elite, bro, you gotta look at the details. Every little step, every little thing makes a difference. Use all your equipment, have all the essentials, you're gonna need it. Pick a spot and just go there. And you know, my teammates could do what they want. I'll have to take the lead, bro. I'm gonna have to be the white power ranger. Or was he also... Wasn't the white ranger also the green one? R.I.P. to the actor, man. Oh, these guns are slow. Oh my god. We have teams of three around us here. You have reinforced... Way you're both in opposite corners. No freaking way you're both in opposite corners. Holy shit, everyone sucks at this game. Oh my god, bro. Why does that mean you suck? I don't know, but it's a quick indication. Jesus. I want to go against people that are savages, playing with savages. Teletub I'm a power ranger down by Teletubbies in corners. Oh my god. Where the hell are you kids? You have reinforcements inbound. 
Hostile UAV over. I'm expecting guys to play, to push, to go for kills, not... Come on, bro. I thought my matchmaking was better than that. Water support incoming. Copy your mark. Water strike inbound. Hostiles dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Here we go. I'm dead. Action! We need action! We need energy, kills, movement, weapons, essentials! I'll keep going back there until this team's dead. Need weapons. Friendly loadout drop on the way. I didn't shoot because they were all turned around immediately. Breach the enemy's network. Locate their uplink stations and download their intel before they lock us out. I had this buy up over here. Our UAV is orbiting the area. <clears throat> What do you mean? Need recon overhead. <laughs> All right, I so let's see what you got. Gun does not need the aim op. It doesn't. Maybe on a Masra, but. Hi. Ah. It has. Primary objective complete. <laughs> target eliminated. Man. I feel like I'm legit killing NPCs and bots. Everyone. Most people are NPC or a bot in some way. They just sound like it. They play like it. They act like it. There's not many legit people out here. Even if they're real people, they don't seem like them. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's like the same generic responses every time. Y'all seem Moving like your NPCs. Enemy soldier incoming. Oh, 
Flanking here. We right up top, we right up top, we right above. 25 are left. Stay sharp out there. We're all dead. This gun is so good. Surprised you don't see it more for how good it is. Ah, hey, don't go. Yeah, this is probably the best iron sight in the game. Definitely does not need it. Iron sights are like training wheels. Definitely don't need them once you know how to use the gun. Man, that's cancel reload. I can't wait for that to be back. That's going to help out. Big time. Teams gonna all die now. No! Green's a dead man, bro. I want to reverse psychology it though, so I just hope like he's gonna die so he survives. If I say he's gonna survive, he'll die, so he ain't gonna make it though. Man's not gonna make it. Man's not gonna make it out of here, bro. I did not hear the guy behind me, unfortunately. Come on, 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 please, 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 just get him. Fall. He's dead. He's dead. Oh my god. Failure is a white teacher. Oh my god. Oh boy. GG teammate, you did your best, bro. That was a great play using the bomb drone like that. That was sick. High IQ plays. High IQ plays, baby. Whew. Imagine being Einstein or someone hella smart thinking like, why is everyone so stupid? Why is everyone so dumb? Why am I so smart and everyone's so dumb? They probably don't think that because they're so smart. But like, I sometimes feel so good at the game, I question, like, why would you do such a stupid, idiotic thing like that? But it's not nice to judge and to make fun and to crit criticize what people are doing, but I'm trying so hard to win games using every trick in the book, every move, every everything I possibly can, and I watch a teammate use a bomb drone in the gas. 
while a full team is next to him. I'm just like, oh. Sometimes I feel like Einstein playing with like dumb and dumber, dude. I feel like my IQ is so high, my head's getting bigger. I think my head grew for sure, bro. I got some hats that don't even fit no more. Playing solos. I gotta make some more streamer friends. I gotta make some more, you know, people that. I gotta play with people that play this game often and stream it, make content. I just have to collab more. I have to play with people that are in the same boat I'm in. It's tough for years and years having to carry dead weight all the time. It sounds mean, and I know it's all about the teamwork, make the dream work, but if my teammates are blind, have no thumbs, and don't have legs, it's really hard to win, you know? I want teammates that preferably have all their fingers and stuff. Um, it's okay if you don't have fingers. I just might, you know, we might play against bots or something first. Like, I don't want to criticize or make fun, but I want to play with the best gamers in the world. I really do. I don't want to play with cheaters. I don't want to play with wall hackers, Cronus Max users. I want to play with legit gamers that are the best players in the world, man. I've never competed professionally on a team, but I want to play with professionals. I want to play with gaming athletes. That's, that's a not oxymoron right there, but like Jumbo Shrimp, gamer athlete. I want to play with gamers that that's all they do. Like they're, they make money or they compete. I want to play with people like that. I don't want to play with streamers that cheat from their at-home setups in Warzone 2. I want to play with legit ass gamers, bro. But I'm not good at making new friends. I'm not good at collabing with people because I don't reach out and say, "Hey, so and so, it'd be <clears throat> wanna maybe." I was thinking, one, perhaps sometime, maybe like, I don't know if you're busy, but like, it would be cool if you and I could perhaps sometime. Now we face the enemy for real. Will you date me? Can we be boyfriend girlfriend? It sometimes feels like that. It's like, I want, I just want the real to recognize the real. I'm trying to team up with people, but I think I intimidate some people, bro. I think I scare them from wanting to play because how energetic I am and how like aggressive I can get that maybe they get in their head and think, I'm not sure if I'm an elite shots level. I'm not sure if I can compete with that kind of energy, but it's not like what it's about. I want you guys to play your best. I want to play with people who are the best. I really do. I want to win games where all of us are getting like 20 plus kills where it's so much damage. I don't collab. I don't reach out. I don't. I have to do a better job of that because for most of my life, I just did my own thing by myself. And the people that were vibing with me, they stuck around. And I don't really often go out of my way to like hit new people up. I just don't. And I, you know, I, I got to improve in that way. Bomb drone play would not have worked ever. You get one kill, and that's, it won't even kill him. Using a bomb drone at that time was not a good idea. I mean, I could be wrong about it. Maybe if he got one and somehow killed the other, but... Ah, bomb drones don't even kill people no more. I'm sure there's a lot of good Call of Duty players who are legit who probably look at me thinking I'm a joke or something because of how much I brag or boast or, or buff myself up in ways because I truly do feel like one of the best players but I'm sure there's other people who think they're the best but don't want to play with me because they don't want to play with someone that thinks they're the best because it's an ego thing and it's tough for really good players to sometimes play together because everyone thinks they're better and if there's not enough teamwork and you're just both are trying to compete for kills and like go against each other then it's not really going to help win games that's not how I am. Like when I play with Kay, I'm not trying to get more kills than him. I'm not competing. At times it might feel like he's trying to get more than me because that's just how he plays. And that's the teammates I want. I want teammates that are try like, trying. They're actually really trying really, really hard. Really hard. Really, really, and playing really well. You don't just try hard and die. You have to actually be doing work and staying alive. I trust when Kay can go push people by himself. I'm not like, uh-oh, he's going to go die. I'm like, he's about to go kill it over there. I want to play with teammates, a full squad of Slayers. I have yet in my entire whole Call of Duty career during Warzone 1 and 2, I have yet to play with the full team of streamers or YouTubers. I haven't. I played with maybe one. 
at a time, maybe two. But I want a full squad of just a four-man team of slayers. Slayers, bro. I'm not talking about cheaters and wall hackers. I want to play with legit-ass teammates, bro. So many good players play with someone that cheats, and it's it just it's it's sick. It's sickening. Now, I'm sure I've had teammates that cheated before. Like I had randoms that had 30 plus kills on Vondell. I've never seen anyone in my whole life get that many kills. And I know there's good people. There's also good people that cheat. I say it's not possible, but like anything's possible, right? Mazra people play different than Ashika people. Ashika play, people play different than Vondel people. Every mode, people play differently. I think the biggest sweats are actually on Ashika. I think Ashika players are the best ones for some reason because they don't play Vondel. They only play Ashika, so they're really good at it. And people that play this, they're one step above DMZ players. Not to compare, but like the, the skill levels I've seen in the different modes, it varies for sure. People that play this are just trying to survive, bro. They're just like, if I sit in this corner for 30 minutes, maybe I'll get my first win ever. <laughs> I don't know if they're manic and crazy like that, but that's how it sometimes seems. Cause like, if they're just sitting there, what brain activity is actually going on, bro? Okay, it's patience. Just because they're not a freak of nature like you will lead shot. It doesn't mean everyone else is worse than you. No, I agree. I agree with that. Everyone's not worse than me. They're just not as good. Hostile counter UAV overhead. There's a difference between wor being worse and just not as good. You can be good in your own way, just not as good as me. How could and I can't be as good as you. How could I be as good as you? I'm not you. No one can be better than me. I can't be better than you. I'm the best me. You can't be a better me. What the hell? What's the best kind of ever played? OG, MW2, MW3, if we're talking OG, boots on ground. If MW2 didn't have one man, one man army, danger close, noob tube, commando pro, it would be probably the best, the best COD game of all time. MW3 brought specialist, the MOAB, which made the gameplay faster for sure. So I think I like playing MW3 more. If we're talking advanced CODs, I think BO3, AW and IW, I, dub, I mean, not in that order. I just think um, those CODs are really fun because of how fast they are. And if you're like a rat or a slow poke, you're not good at them. So I love playing COD games that people aren't good at. I don't like playing COD games that give every noob aim assist, lock on headshots without any aim, without any movement. Very dull, very boring. If I want to play a boring, dull shooter game, I go play Rainbow Six Siege. That game has so much potential, but it's not my cup of tea. Not for me, too slow. It's a different shooter game. I'm a Call of Duty fanboy. I like fast paced first person shooters with at least 60 frames. Maybe it's obviously more on PC, but Rainbow Six Siege felt like it was 24 frames. It was so slow, so campy. Not my cup of tea at all, bro. I'd rather play Fortnite, because at least it's cartoony and fun. You get to hop around and fly and stuff. I don't want shooters to be slow, tactical, old men shooters. I want games that require skill. There's a skill gap. There's a, a learning curve. Not this. Uh, aim assist all the way locked. 
What? That's what we got in here, so here we go. If my aim just locks Bro, Lord, you. Goes by God and Ari. Mm. GG, your brother, GG. I think MW3 is going to be faster than MW2. I just don't know yet because I haven't played if it's going to be better than, say, MW1 or the OG CODs. This one and the past few CODs, MW2019 wasn't as bad with it. The Cold War, Vanguard wasn't as bad. I think Vanguard has a better engine than uh, MW2. They, like, they dumbed something down while trying to make it look a lot more tactical and realistic. But something with the aim assist and the way the game's just designed. If you compare it to the MW... Just, wow. Just the previous one. GG. Like, playing this literally makes you want to play MW 2019 because of how the aim assist feels. It's not super sticky lock-on. It's kind of like... Remember playing on Rebirth Island with the Car 98 and the MX-9? Remember how crispy that was? So crispy. G G baby a G a G Got to get out there and allow your gamma to speak for itself because it does you are the coldest on a PS controller and there are a bunch of other players that stream that are on the same level Bro, I, I gotta see it. I gotta see where they're at. I Don't know too many personally, but I would love to make friends with people who are just as good I just haven't personally met them yet. Haven't played with them, you know? There's a lot of unauthentic, unauthentic players. Some of these streamers who get accused for cheating, there's a reason they get accused for it. There's just certain clips you'll see that look more, that, that look like it's more than just skill. And I don't think these people that have cheat before always cheat. That's the thing about cheaters. They don't cheat 24 seven. There's some really good people that are really good. There's some really good people that really cheat. Then there's really good people that might feel like they're not getting the limelight as these guys who are using walls or playing with someone that has them. So then they feel like, okay, well, if they're doing it, then I'm gonna do it then or find someone that is. So I'm not technically doing it, but one of my teammates is. And it's surprising how they're able to make a career out of it for as long as they do. And it's like, it's known that they do cheat, but people are like, no, they don't. They're just legit. Meanwhile, more people are like, bro, that is sus as hell. And how can you defend that? If you actually open your eyes and realize, well, a lot of people still believe in fairy tales. So it's no wonder people fall for fakeness. You know, there's no wonder. It's no wonder little kids believe them. No wonder. They still believe in Santa Claus. And I'm sorry if I just burst your bubble. But on a different level, they believe in things that are just... Social media and clout and views and money and fame changes the way people act and are and the content they share and what they do and how legitly they do it. If there's money involved, bro, people will steal a dollar if there's money on the line. They'll do whatever they have to do. So keep in mind, people will ADS and wait for you before they push. So you just got to ADS more. You got to kind of give them a taste of their own medicine. Finn was super good too. Like I've never heard of him or I've seen him play personally, but I'm sure he is. I'm sure there's so many people I don't know that are good, that are legit. I just don't know him. I just haven't, I haven't tried looking, honestly. Back when I started from my mama's house, bro, I, like I would play as best as I could, drop a nukes, MOABs every day, but I never would watch any professionals play. I didn't watch them compete because I thought it was annoying to watch them. I thought it was literally just not fun to watch. There's some really talented ass players, of course, but I just wasn't into the competitive. It just annoyed me hearing the call outs and the spam. I feel like I wasn't actually learning something. I was just learning how pros play, which doesn't always translate to you playing in pubs or in Warzone. Like if you don't have a team of people calling people out at every angle, well, just because someone's good on a pro team doesn't always mean they're gonna be good by themselves. I'm sure there's a lot of amazing pros that maybe don't play solo because why would they play solo if they're used to having teammates? 
And I'm sure there's some that are. Like, everyone's different. Everyone brings something unique to the table, to the team, to the world, you know, whatever it is. I'm just trying to find like-minded, like, energetic, and skill. I want people that have a lot of skill. I'm sure, I'll throw it at him. I can. Oh, oh. <laughs> he absorbs a helicopter. What the hell? That's so funny. They don't let that be a kill. Good kill. Marking you the drop. Rest of they want. They want the game to be so realistic. You drop a helicopter on someone's head, and they have to put a plate on. You shoot someone in the head with a 50 cal, they put to put a, they just have to put a plate on to repair from that. Keep Call of Duty arcade like and fast paced and fun. Don't make it realistic and then make it not realistic at the same time. Because then it just feels like a slow Call of Duty. <laughs> That's not actually real feeling at all. It took a lot of bullets, guy. It took a lot of bullets there. This game has RNG and gunfight. It's too much phoniness that to take serious. But I still do because I want to win. But then phony phony things happen. It takes way more shots. Like, why? Because I wasn't... Because what? I'm hoping MW3 fixes the issues that lie, that lie in this game. Like... MW1 was a better COD, period. Warzone 1 was a better experience, period. There's really no debating it. If you played both and you felt, I don't know who would actually like this more, unless you haven't played older CODs or the OG ones at all, maybe. Because I, I know obviously there's gonna be new people that hop in COD and Warzone that never played before. So to, their, to them, they might think like, this is my favorite one, bro. I haven't played the old one, so I really don't know. And it's like, okay, that's understandable. But to those who've played all of them, I don't think I've met a single person once that said, no, genuinely, I think Wars, Warzone 2 and MW2 is actually the best one. And I mean that, honestly. I haven't heard one person say that. Not one. Over time, the COD fan base gets more and more difficult to please because we had so many. So I can't remember the last time people said the COD was good. When, when 2019 was out, people didn't like it. When Vanguard was out, people didn't like it. When Cold War was out, people didn't like it. There's going to be people that don't like any of them. But when's like the last general consensus good Call of Duty? The first one that came to mind was BO3. I actually don't know many people that thought it sucked. And those people that thought it sucked probably sucked at the jetpacks. Probably sucked at the movement. But there's like this general feeling that game was community-based. And it seems like Treyarch and Vondahar... We're taking full advantage of that, you know? The maps. Not that I care about camos and stuff, but the Mastercrafts, they killed it with that. So they were doing things that made people in the community happy. Infinity War decided to ch change that formula and to make everyone pissed off. And I think it's because of money. And they thought, they saw that there were more casuals who played this game. So if they cater to them, they'll make more money. But the, those who are actually most passionate about it and have been playing longer, they just kind of said F you and spit in their face. Not not physically, but spiritually. Spiritually got spat on. I mean, there's interviews with devs talking about them trying to make safe spaces for new players. <laughs> That's such a cute thing to say. I want to create a safe space for beginners. How can we get new people to play our game without scaring them away? Don't worry if you're new, we made it easy for you. Where's the savage devs who are absolutely gods at the game? Do they exist? Like who's the best dev? I wonder. That's actually a good question. What dev is the best at the game? I want to listen to that person. I want to see what kind of ideas they have. Because their ideas will drastically differ from someone who's not good to someone who is. You got pros wanting one thing, you got noobs wanting another. So how do you balance both? How do you make how do you make both sides happy? You don't. You don't make both sides happy. That's a problem. You can't make everyone happy. And if you try, then you won't be. It's just how it goes, you know? I don't even know what I'm doing. Buy my MP5. It's gonna work. Oh, that that'll do something. I'm gonna quick. Okay, he's actually. 
I'll give you, you know, I'll give you a chance to survive. I'll give you a chance. Just a little chance, though. He's running away. Dude's hopping straight to the water. Come back out of the water, little fishy. Why is it throwing knife so hard? Not to use, but like it just Hostile goes hard. Like getting a kill with that it just UAV feels UAV like, yo, I freaking got you. It almost feels more disrespectful than a teabag. So you're getting thrown knife when you're down. Kill confirmed. We've located the rest of them. Shooting dead bodies or teabagging is is isn't the way anymore, bro. That's an, that's an old thing. <laughs> How can I really show this person that I got him? I'll shoot his dead body. That'll show him. That'll show him who's better. I got you, son. Not once in my whole career. Not even a single Call of Duty teabag. I saved the teabags for Halo. I'm too busy going for the next guy to worry about the one I just got. Where are you? Hostile UAV in the sector. Reveal yourselves. Remember, people ADSing in corners. People ADSing in corners. Enemy dropping into people the People ADSing in corners. People ADSing doorways. People ADSing doorways. People ADSing doorways. People ADSing, doorways. People ADSing stairs, rooftops, windows. Basements, attics, people ADSing everywhere. Everywhere, someone's waiting somewhere for you. ADSing. It wasn't him. We'll find one eventually. I'm just going in where I think people might be. Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunting. I don't even need this. Hostile UAV active. XP multiplier active. Ah la la. Oh my, I can't swap. It gets stuck sometimes. People ADSing, camping, hiding, sneaking. I just gotta keep reminding myself. They're not moving. Not moving, camping in corners. I just keep reminding myself of what people do. I will kill them. Because it's nothing worse than letting your guard down, running blindly through a building, and then dying by a guy who's just sitting right there. You're like, oh my god! And it's about to happen. Fire there was someone closer. Where I thought I saw something. Okay, I like the movement. I like the movement. I respect it. Surprised I got the kill, but okay, okay. Time for vengeance. You redeploy. MP7 versus ISO. What wins? I'm surprised that actually got me. Game's breaking. Enemy destroyed. Use your attack map to hunt down the rest of them. It's got a lag switch. Holy shit.
Hostile UAV is detected. Be advised, the resurgence is no longer active. This is for keeps. Hostile UAV active. I no ammo for this thing. Oh, I do. There are 24 enemies active. Kill them Imagine all. if the only time you got aim assist is if... Is if they were sitting still and anytime you were moving, they had no aim assist. Imagine if it was switched. Right now, it's... No, it's just the opposite of what I said. Like, I want them to favor the person moving, not the guy who's just... But this is a more strategic COD, right? So... They don't favor the guy who's bunny hopping, jumping, sliding. No, 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 no. Supposedly, MW3 is gonna bring back the movement. It just doesn't mean it's gonna be back in Warzone, because Warzone's its own thing. Don't have self, don't have a gas mask, don't have an SMG. This thing might not work, yo, for close up. It's really weak. Should be a little better, I think. You would think that f -Tech Siege would be good because it shoots so fast, but it takes 50 bullets to get a kill. It's got 75 rounds in the, the drum or whatever it is on there. Hey. Hey. Might get me killed, but we'll find out. Found a buy station. Right, I actually have to hit that right now. Cross your fingers and toes. Here we go. Leave though. Only five left. Claymore up there.
What's happening? My game's breaking. The hell was that? That was the weirdest shit ever. That was so weird. I don't even know what happened. That was really weird. I don't know how to explain it. This game is weird. It's I should not have won that. I don't know. Oh no, it just happened. Should not have won that. Is this how we're gonna lose the game because it's a guy in a helicopter? I don't have a mask. He probably has a mask. I don't have. Uh, I have one self. I got two. Don't have a mask. Can I buy one? Hey, GG boys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the sesh. I appreciate the love and support. Being best of the best, staying elite with the umpire. GG boys, thank you for watching, boys. RIP the dream. Two back to back second place games. Wow. GG boys. G a G. I wonder how many selfs and gas masks or what. I mean, I don't know how that guy stay alive. One more game. I don't think you guys want it though. You guys don't want one more game. That's all you guys want. You guys are sick of my gameplay. You you had you had enough of it. I've won every game, even the games I lose, I still won. You call that guy a winner? You think that guy was a winner with the ride shield? You think the guy's a winner with a helicopter? Those aren't winners. Cowards. Cowards, I tell you. Afraid to fight. Afraid to actually play the game. But Sean, that is playing. That's not playing, bro. It's being a coward. Fight. Shoot. What are you doing? Hiding? Hiding the whole game? I have yet to lose. Even when I lose, I still win. Somehow. Bro, I know what I'm capable of. Stormtroopers gifting another sub. So I guess we have to go again. If it wasn't for Stormtrooper, I would have ended it right there. So let me launch this amazing game and let's uh, play just one more. Thank you, Storm. Cowards. Cowards. 
Imagine being in a boxer, a UFC, any athletic sport ability. Imagine just hiding. Do winners hide? Do winners just cower? They just cower in fear? They don't... No. Winners challenge, face their fears head on. Winners go straight through the fear, bro. Straight through the darkness. Cowards, they hide. They're terrified. Come on, bro. If I'm losing games to people who are hiding, literally not engaging, how is that a loss? Maybe I don't I don't see a first place on my screen, but damn, I sure feel like a winner the way I'm playing. If I had to hide the whole time to get a dub, I wouldn't feel too proud of it. I'd be like, holy crap, how'd I do that? But like, I might do it for a challenge coming up. Go for a zero kill win or something. Get like, I, I, actually it'd be pretty easy. It'd actually be really easy. You know how? Have multiple self revives, durable gas mask, have a throwable buy station. You can hide in the gas and outlive the other guy because you're hiding better with more self revives. Come on now. I thought they fixed you. I thought you couldn't fly the heli till the way end. You can fly that sucker to the way end. No, from my position, I couldn't hit him in the helicopter. The circle was so small. Yo, Storm's coming through with the two after gifting a membership to Austin. He said, no thumbs. Seagulls who hide. They're terrified, bro. They're shaking in their boots. They barely have a 1KD. If that, they're trying to get their first win. And they're so proud of themselves once they get it. I got my first win with one kill. I did it. Come on now. I'm trying to level up. I want to win with 30 kills. I want to win being a freak that does not stop the whole time. How often do you guys see me camping the way my enemies play? I'm going to guess not often at all. Because when I play this, bro, I ain't playing like other people. No. No. I sometimes come across a mirror version of myself that's kind of aware, doing the same things I'm doing. It's not fun when you go against a rat that just hides and that's what kills you. But when you actually find someone with movement, ability, skill, awareness, they engage, disengage, re-engage, different angle, play it up, shoot. You could be fighting one guy for the whole match. And it's like, that's, you know it's the best guy in the lobby because you can't kill him and he can't kill you. You both just barely get away, played in healing. But then some Joe Schmo, no thumb seagull, kills you in a corner. You're like, that's what kills me, but me and this... It's like... <sighs> It's crazy. I can't even believe the kill I got. I have to play this back because that that was insane. You know it's the best guy. Watch this. You can't kill him and he can't watch. You guys want it though. <laughs> Is this how we're gonna lose the game to this the guy in a helicopter? I have a mask. He probably has a mask. I couldn't aim high enough up. Have. You guys can't see it. I have one self. I got two. Don't have a mask. Can I buy one? <laughs> I was hoping to find a gas mask in one of the two crates I picked up. I was hoping I could have hit this, but obviously not. I should have went straight to the building. Instead of backtracking. But the kill that surprised me was before that. It was really weird. Right there. Right here. Right here. This this kill coming up right here, I should not have got. There was no durable in there. I have limited durable gas masks. These gas plays are clutch. Every shot he was hitting was blasting me so easily. So easily. I thought I was going to die here for sure. 100% I should have been dead. I didn't know he was right here. I thought he was still in that same position. He was right here. I, I barely saw him. I did not see him. Literally, I, you, could, you could barely see him. But watch how weird. I'm just going to play it out in normal speed. Then I'll go, go back and slow it down. Watch how weird this engagement is. Watch, watch. That, that, my game's breaking. That right there, it didn't look like much. But the aim assist in this game is so broken. The rotational aim assist will lock when you're fighting, firing from the hip. And it feels weird because you're not controlling it. You're just firing and every shot is like perfectly hitting. Wondering what is going on right now. 
There's noobs who utilize that without even realizing what it's doing for them. I notice immediately when the game locks on for me or doesn't, or I notice immediately when they have lock on aim assist or don't, because there's moments where you should be dead, but you don't die. There's moments where you kill, you should kill, but you don't. It's so weird. This game is so weird. It's weird. And this was the we one of the weirdest gunfights I've ever won. Doesn't look like much. I just mantled and shot, but the way it felt, it was so weird. He fires me first. Since he hit me first and I shot back, I won. I should not have won. I sh no way I should have won that fight. I, I still haven't hit him yet. Still haven't hit him. He cracked all my plates and I'm low on health. I'm in the gas. There's no reason. There's no reason I should won have won this fight. Now I hit him. A couple, few times, four times, five times, six times, seven. Every bullet, every bullet was hitting. Every bullet hit. Even while this was going on. Every bullet's still hitting. It's still... Now, since he wasn't shooting right there, he had to reload. My aim assist was like, the game wanted him to win right there, but since he had no ammo, he couldn't shoot. And my aim assist right for these shots weren't locking on like the ones before. I mean, I guess we're in, we're in such slow mo. <laughs> this was the weirdest gunfight I've had all sesh. The way it felt was so clunky. I can't believe it. What's happening? My game's breaking. It's the rotational aim assist while mantling that feels weird. If you shoot while mantling while someone's shooting you, every shot hits. Or if, if they're shock sticked and shoot you, every shot they shoot hits because they're being shocked. So for some reason, something in the code tells the game to lock on. They have to remove that. I wonder how the game would feel if there was no aim assist. No rotational aim assist, none, zero. So you just had to aim. People would get one kill or none. And once you master it, you would just be so much better. I would love to see a COD game that had very minimal aim assist. Maybe even a mode that has none of it, just to see how accurate people actually are. The hell was that? That was the weirdest shit ever. That was so weird. I don't even know what happened. So at this stage, I should have noticed he was, was in the really helicopter, weird. which I kind of did. I just I looked at, it. I looked up weird. at it. It's, I should not have won that. But in this moment, I should have been maybe searching those buildings for gas masks. I should have been taking shots at the helicopter right now. Uh, for future engagements, if I see a heli in the sky right now, I'm going to be more like, okay, I'm going to have to shoot this guy out of the sky before he just out survives me with self revives. I'm surprised they allow you to fly heli this late in the circle. On OG Verdance, you couldn't fly helis. I actually thought he hopped out too right there, just a bird flying. But I, sh I heard a crate maybe in that water. Circle keeps closing. I'm like, oh man. I try to take some shots, but I'm like, this circle's closing too, too quick. I won't be able to shoot enough. That was, that was a tough loss, bro. But I'm going to play just one more for you guys. Courtesy of Stormtrooper Aim. Gifting a sub. You guys want to see one more? So here you go. You know how like real life doesn't have aim assist and stuff? That's how I want the game to be. I want the game to resemble people's actual skill and ability, not what the game thinks it has to do to help you. If you're in a UFC match and you're going against someone, there's no aim assist. There's no assistance whatsoever. If someone's the better fighter, the better fighter will kill the other guy unless the ref stops it, so. I want this game to feel like it's real. Like the engagements are actually based on who's better at the game and not who can abuse the mechanics more. I don't like having aim, rotational aim assist while mantling. I don't like when people have lock on aim assist when I'm moving really fast. I want the game to feel like it's a real life uh, uh, show of skill. Like a real... Where's the skill gap? I want a skill gap. That's what I want. The algorithms ruined it. That has so much potential. It really, really does. If they just took away aim assist, that would show the skill 100%. Man, this lobby system still. Thank you, Uptown Row. Hey, as you are too. That's the best battles. They hit you with a mean lag, like what the F? Mean lag. That's your dub. Bet that hell you rat probably ended with a point three that game. Probably. Probably did. Bro, you can tell who's good real quick. You'll know. You'll just be like, oh shoot. They they got me. 
they got to me first. I couldn't shoot back. But a lot of the times you're like, what an absolute rat. This game is designed for rats, bro. You could be a savage playing a rat game, but a rat will kill you. So you sometimes have to adopt the rat play style, AKA ADS and not move. Also known as the pro play style. How can the strat be also from pros? Because that's what pros do. They hold angles the entire game. If they try to run, they're gonna die by someone who's holding an angle. If you watch pros play the whole time, they're ADS, they're barely moving. And if they are moving, spamming callouts in each other's ears nonstop the whole game, just so everyone knows where people are, so they can push angles with confidence or not. But if you just ADS more, ADS more, ADS more, you'll win more. I'm trying to tax sprint parkour pro everywhere. Then I get mad at someone who's just like, just trying to win my first game. Everyone's just trying to win. Whether you're sitting still or rushing around, bro. People are just trying to win. To stay calm through it is the toughest part. To be patient through it is the toughest part. To sit still is the toughest part. To not get mad by at dying by people who don't seem to have as much skill is the toughest part. Like staying calm, that's tough. We've been saying this since the game. A really good player can play every style. Yo. We got an Etnies shirt. We have an Etnies shirt underneath that's like for skateboarding. It's like moisture wicking. We got this, I don't know, savage Japanese. Got this from a. Uh, TJ Maxx for probably like 15 bucks. I got the hat. This hat cost more than the hoodie. Got this hat from the fair. I think it cost 35 because everything from the fair is a ripoff. Probably could have got this online for five bucks. I got scammed, but it's all good. I like the hat. If you buy stuff at the mall, the fair, anywhere besides the internet, you're getting scammed. They probably buy from the internet and then sell it for twice the price. I don't think there's a rule against that unless you can't resell, which some things you can't. But pretty much anything you find online 100% will be cheaper than stores in person. Mine's got the strings though. Mine's got the strings. Do I have to specify? Bucket hat with string. I got scammed, bro. I got scammed in real life. That's literally the hat I have. I got scammed. I shouldn't have looked up the prices of stuff. If you want to find sick stuff, just buy it online. It's cheaper, made in China, looks just as good. Support your support your sweat factories. Or like See these glasses? Guess how much? $200. Just kidding. They're $5 online. You buy glasses from Oakley, Ray-Ban, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Pretty much buy the same thing online. Maybe with cheaper materials, but does the same thing. $5. Sunglasses. I mean, yo, being a consumer, being a human being on Earth is funny. We can't even find a game the whole time. Couldn't find a match. Us humans just want stuff we don't need. Because we're force fed it everywhere we see. Buy this, buy that, the new and improved, the upgraded, this, that, and the other. Get a new vehicle, get a new this. The experience you got going to the fair with your girl while buying that hat made it worth it. Thank you, Nick Knack. That's the perspective I needed, brother. That's the perspective I needed right there. That's for sure. Because the experience was way more worth it than the hat itself is. 
going to do something with the one you love and having fun outside in the sun, that's not a waste. That's not a waste at all. MW2 feels like a handicapped COD. It really does. It's handicapped, made for handicapped. I'm not making fun of people with handicaps. I'm just saying, like, it really does help out. This game has a handicap 100%. If you're not good, it will handicap, help you, aim assist, lock to enemies' heads 100%, no matter what. No matter what. If you just shoot back, but p bad players that don't know how to shoot back panic when they get shot. So, the few times they panic, shoot you back, it'll lock, and you'll wonder, how did this guy, without any aim, kill me? Because there's handicaps. There really, 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 really is. The devs came out and said it themselves, bro. I'm just hoping the devs for MW3 have more skill and ability than the poor IW crew that apparently changed since the OG days. You got guys from the Infinity War team back in the day who made the game so great that now are helping out with Ubisoft or making other games themselves. Um, it's a shame that Infinity Ward became the not good developer because they were my favorite ones. They really were my favorite. Deep down they still are, but the algorithms that add to the games aren't making the experience better. I think Sledgehammer is more community centric and they actually want to make people that play their game happy. Infinity Ward, I don't know what happened if the Satan took over or some demonic force made them create a game that was made for I don't know who. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the guy to, to always hate on a COD game because throughout time I made the best of all of them. But because we have so much experience in all of them, you can compare the differences between how the games are designed. And like I say often, bro, this game has so much potential. I don't think the whole game sucks. But the algorithms behind the surface level make for very, very, very awkward feeling situations that remind me of a COD mobile experience on a computer. That's the worst compliment I could possibly give Call of Duty. Compare it to a mobile game. I'm gonna go get some animal cookies. Be right back. of animal cookies you smoke and not the ones you eat cookies and I got a piece of bread because this is the only food I have in my house hey being a gamer is not easy man you have to make yourself food unless you have an amazing partner who wants to support you I'm actually not bad at making food. When I have ingredients to put stuff together, I'll just put all the best tasting stuff together. Give me a bowl with the best ingredients in the world, bro, and I'll love it so much. I don't care if it tastes like dirt, grass, even if it tastes like manure. If it's good for me, truly, I will eat anything. And I'll love it fully. Dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Growing up, I hated stuff that was healthy, except like broccoli. But my, you know, my grandma really helped me out, my brother out. She was like my, my grandma was my second mom. Thankfully, I still got my grandma and my mama. I love them dearly, and I want the best for them, of course. And growing up, man, my grandma made sure that there was always green on the plate. Every dinner always had green on it, whether it be peas, broccoli, beans, always, always something green. I think that's why I like green so much, if you know what I mean. Shout out to my grandma. I don't know if I should say this, but I'm gonna say it. I got my grandma to smoke weed, and then I regret it immediately. I wish I didn't do that. I gotta not do that. Especially because she used to be a heavy smoker. I just wanted her to take a little hit, just a little baby hit, just to see how what she thought of it. She had a coughing attack and I felt very bad. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Grandma. I didn't, I didn't. Like, my lungs, it, 
It's tickling my lungs. I'm, I'm like, guys, see, I'm not a perfect human being. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to show my true colors here on stream. I'm not a perfect human being as I like to think I am sometimes when I play the game, but it's sometimes. Hey, sometimes I, uh, you know, have a little too much fun. I gotta, I gotta not get my grandma high with smoke. I want my grandma to live long and not have, and not give her a coughing attack. I love you, grandma. And I'm sorry if you don't like that I consume cannabis. But I don't think she does, I don't think she minds, to be honest with you. I think she's just happy that I'm happy. She actually wanted to try it. I'm like, you want to try it, Grandma? She's like, okay. You know, I didn't force it upon her. I didn't say, Grandma, you have to hit this now. She's like, okay. She went, and she instantly started dying. It was the smallest little. Growing up, you know, I never really talked about marijuana. Never talked about THC openly because it was kind of frowned upon. But now that it's legalized in so many more places and pretty much everyone does it unless you're a square. Just kidding. Or have a job that does not allow you to, uh, you know, can't they drug test you. But what's really funny about the whole thing is they allow people to drink alcohol, which is actual poison, but they don't let people ingest THC, which is actual medicine from God and the earth itself. But they let you have poison. That just right there tells me things are backwards and actually not what it seems. So I'm not going to like feel bad for doing something that truly doesn't feel bad to me. I'd rather... <laughs> I'm just fortunate, you know, to be where I am, bro, because, you know... Everyone's living different lives, doing different things, different jobs. I get to play video games and smoke weed. I mean, come on now. That's every stoner stream. Yo, that drop shot almost works. Well, the assassination, but... It's not like I'm a stoner or a hippie, blazing it all day, every day. Maybe at one point in my life, that's how it was. But even then, it wasn't actually as bad as I'm probably making it seem. My tolerance is pretty high. But even less for alcohol. I have a couple of drinks, I'm like, I'm already good. I'm, I don't need more than that. It just makes you sicker and sicker feeling. Not actually, like, better feeling. But when it comes to weed... I'm not to, not to say this, Good but kill. I can ingest 250 well, milligrams and be fine still. Yeah, I might be hella high, but that's what eagles do. They fly really, really high. And you're kind of used to it. My brother Patrick, who's my twin brother, if he ingests 5 milligrams, he'll be in a loop and go paranoid. He'll be like, did I already say that? Did I already say what I said? Oh my god, I can't... Uh, he'll just keep going in circles and circles and circles, wondering why do I feel this way? I can't control this. I, I can't stop thinking. Blah, blah, blah. Like... He's my twin, so I know what it's like. My mind moves a mile per hour per minute anyways. I don't start feeling, like, anxious or paranoid unless it's really crappy weed. Because that will make you feel like, oh, I wish I did not do that. Yeah, I, don't, I do not like this right now. Moment I stop the serpentine, it actually hits. If you move that quick, I don't think the aim assist actually locks because it can't decide which direction you're going. This game didn't have aim assist. I don't think people would ever get kills. They just wouldn't be able to acquire a target. Unless they got really used to it. Even this right now is all aim assist, really. I'm just shooting in that direction. And because I'm, I'm dead now. Effing trees messing it up. I don't, the fudge is going on? I'm gonna kill that guy. I don't know where you jumped, but I'm gonna kill you. I see you. Oh my god, I bumped something. You're messing up the vibe. Target down. 
Watching the rest of them. Hostile UAV active. Let's come on out. Yo, should I make a uh, a vlog? I'm marijuana. Or should I not? It's over. What if I told you I got eight eighths? All different strains from cookies. Would you believe me? For two hundred dollars from a shop called KB Vapor Smoke and Vapor. Would you believe that? Or is that oddly specific to be true? Or is it too specific to be not true? Cash God. Let's see about that. Marked remaining operators from that squad. Hunt them down. Do it. Well, now I know who the stoners are in the chat. That's for sure. I mean, if your name is Weed is My Religion, I would expect no less than a yes. Yes, if you want. Do it, LOL. Yes. I don't want to make people stoners. I don't want to make people potheads. I don't want to make people smoke weed. I don't want to be a bad influence. I don't want to promote something that's not good, but I don't think marijuana is... Negative, count. period. I don't I don't think you should do it before the age of like Make it like drinking. Make it 21. Isn't that already kind of it? I mean people do it way younger. I probably started when I was like I was a I was a good angel up in up until about senior year. I was a perfect, sweet, innocent angel. Who did nothing wrong ever and always followed the rules about junior senior year i'm like oh man school is dumb as heck i can do whatever i want i got two study halls gym and lunch i don't even have to try at all no more Funny, a lot of Snoop Dogs with ride shields. Uh. Gotta be better than that. No more second chances. I don't even have self revive. Game is all aim assist, all rotational aim assist, the whole game. Wild, actually. Hostile UAV overhead. Can I find a self? Can I get lucky? I can actually use these things babies or parents to monitor their, their babies if you're a grown-ass man using this thing looking for kills might have to reconsider the game hold on let me just check my little radar they're this way here they are I found them I got them on my little heartbeat get out of here bro hostile UAV active I'm gonna have to buy a self. If I get one shot headshot, it's over, folks. I'm gonna ignore some enemies and try not to get shot in the head. Oh shit. Why does this feel slow? I don't, I don't like it in there. I don't like that. Hear me out. What if they added a quick buy feature? Let's say you wanna. This is such a such a genius idea that would make them millions of dollars. Hear me out. Sector. 
Let's say you want to buy a durable, a UAV, plates, an ammo crate. Instead of me having to click, 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 and scroll to each thing, how about I have an auto select, an auto buy feature? Let me highlight the things where if I have enough cash, it'll buy all of the things. And if I don't have enough cash for one of the things, it'll not buy the thing. How about that? How about make it so I hit the buy and get what I need immediately and not make like, oh, let me fumble and juggle through this. You feel me? Yo, devs, let me just come to the studios for like, you know, a day or two. Let me play your game. Let me, I'll let you know what will make it more fun for everybody, noobs, pros, and it actually will be fun and competitive and fair and balanced for everyone. Let me help out, guys. My ideas, I promise, will make it better for everybody. I'm not just trying to make it better for me. It's for the integrity of the whole game. The integrity of mankind itself. I can absorb and absorb, eh? Instead, they invite, invite cheaters to their studios. <laughs> they invite people that started playing during Warzone 1 with cheats. They invite those people, but not those who've been playing it forever, posting content forever. Okay, okay. It's because I'm not a chick that cheats. Damn, bro. Hostile precision airstrike. Get to cover. Sometimes I wish I was a girl. Not because I want to be a girl, just so I know what it would like to be one. And I'm sure girls wish they were not girls sometimes, or maybe they wish they were never a boy. Sometimes I'm like, yo. Uh, let me just experience it for like a day. I don't know. Let me just check myself out. Let me just have walls and get away with it. Just for one day. Come on now. Snoop, you gotta be kidding me. Not this again. I have to find something to throw at him. Ah, GG. GG, boys. GG. I don't know why I thought there was one right behind me. Well, we can't end it on that, obviously. Damn, son. Oh, my God. We were doing... The riot shield Snoop Dogg messed it all up. I have to make sure I grab stuff that I could chuck at riot shield, guys. So, I might have to switch this to a Semtex. Not, dude, or I guess the shock stick. Why am I coming across riot shield guys and not having a way to kill them easily? Why? Why do I not have my stuff? What am I doing? What am I doing this whole game, bro? What the hell? Um. That was so, that was so stupid, that last game. Riot shield guy and then... I don't know. I, I, I can't even believe the second guy killed me. Was I getting shot in the back at all? I can't believe that guy even got me. That bot on the bottom floor? Hold up. I know he had first shot, but still, I was surprised. I feel like I don't stop moving the entire game. The entire, entire game, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Not this again. So I could have instead tried rushing in there, shooting him while jumping and trying to dodge his melee hit. Or I also was trying to go down here to find something to pick up. I did not see him. He, okay, got one plate off. See what, yo. Who's looking at my right? Ah, GG. Damn, son. Damn. I thought for some reason someone was behind me. The high alert actually did not help right there. For a split second, it made me not ADS. You probably saw it when I was going through the window. I tried to shoot from the hit, but I like didn't ADS because I thought the guy from behind was going to hop down and try to hit me. So I tried to move to the right while hip firing, but he was ADS not moving 
and he got the kill. Not because he was better, but Enemy. more better positioned and more patient about it. I hopped down, running away from ride shield guys, so... Ah, it just feels like you get kicked in the nuts sometimes, that's all. I don't know if, like, playing Warzone and winning actually means you're good at the game. I think every engagement in the way you play shows how good you are at the game. Not, like, sitting in a corner and then winning because you hid the whole time. I don't know if that means you're good at it. You're good at doing what it takes to win, you know? But does it mean you're better overall? You're a better gamer? Stand by for as long as you're doing your best and feel like you're you're pretty damn good, then keep getting better. And uh, it's my goal to uh, drop these people that I think aren't as good. If they're really not as good at the game, then there's no excuse as to why they're killing me. Even if they're sitting still in the corner not moving. Like, if I truly am better, I should be able to kill this guy that isn't as good. I should be able to. Survive the countdown to earn redeployment. Secure kills to speed up the timer. I want to play with some other streamers just to see, like, not to compare ourselves to others, just to see how we play when we do play with other good people that are also good. I played with K3 recently, and it's really fun playing with him because he can go around and drop 20 kills without even me having to be close to him. And then when we do stay close, we won't lose because we'll make sure to help each other out exactly the way we need to without having to say anything, really. Callouts are nice, but when you're both locked in, you don't have to say nothing. You just both are slaying. I think next on my list, we got Seabass and also Spartacus. Spartacus and I have been meeting to play for pretty much since the start of this game. We just, it just hasn't happened yet because our schedules are different. He streams from like 8 to 1 in the like 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. I stream from like 4, 5 p.m. to like whenever. So more evening, night than I am morning, afternoon, really. You know, we, we play into the afternoon, but you know, just my, my scheduling right now. Not really existing, I guess. I have a lot of time playing this game. I've heard a lot of reactions today of people saying, how the hell are you rank 1000? When you play for eight, nine, 10 hours in a sesh every couple days or every day, you level up pretty quick. I'm seeing, I'm seeing shadows. I hop down. Hostile UAV overhead. Flawless. Kill confirmed. If you're better, bro, you're just better. You're just better. Anyone else might have died there and said, Oh my god, third party! Like, kill them then. Be better. He's waiting. I'm just gonna push it. You can't win a solo game, you can't win with the team. So even when you're playing with the team, you have to sometimes pretend it's just you because your team's not there to help you. So you just have to go in and kill all of them. That's why when I'm looking for teammates, I need people that know how to kill. Kill, kill bro. I, I mean more kills than me. And I'm one of the deadliest slayers I know. At least putting in that effort to try, man. I need to see it. I need to feel it. Need recon overhead. Got it. Stuff like that. Like it's because you're not good. It's because you're bad at the game. I can tell by your voice. You're slow. You're old. You're not ready. You're not. No offense. I'd beat you in a race. Even like a thumb wrestle war. I swear. I can just tell from your attitude. You're not a winner. You got turned on 
so hard, absolutely shat on so quickly. This game, if you shoot you back, you will win. Ooh, I gave him a chance. I tried. I tried. I do crazy stuff like this all game just to die by someone like this at the end. That's literally the whole kill cam. That, that'll be how I die. I'm like, what was that? The guy's like, got him. I'm fighting for my life. All game. Every engagement. You never know how it's going to go. Unless you're me. Or unless you're the best you. Because you're going to win. You know what to do. You know how the game works. You know how it feels. You know how to win. You know the best guns to use. How to play. How to move. How to groove. How to shoot. Everything. Disengage. Played up. Essentials. Everything, bro. Everything. You need it all. I'm just going to thirst. Someone's behind me. Let's put one of these. Is that a... Decoy? He's gonna have his guns. That was the quickest dumpage in a while. He had no plates. I have to teach everybody a lesson every time I play this game, bro. I don't know why I feel that way, but I'm just teaching lessons out here. I'm letting the game play speak for itself sometimes. We're just showing on the business real quick, and that's it. They don't deserve any more. On to the next lobby you go. Even if the ISO is better, I don't think I like it more. Durable. Bomb drone? Oh my. Who first? I need multiple editors to help me edit my stream gameplay. People that know how to edit Call of Duty really well and know what is good and what's not, what to keep, what not to keep, I really need that, yo. Because we have so many moments that get seen by about 100 people total, and I think, oh god, I think we're capable of, uh, you don't even rush it, you just, like, stand there. That's weird. Are you gonna push now, you weirdo? Like that? That's what I thought. Got it. No, oh, no, no, I just, I just want that. Enemy soldier incoming. Hostile UAV overhead. You're on the buy. Did you, UAV did you die going for the buy? Where'd you go, my guy? Where are we going? Do you prefer the old CODs? Or this Hostile Warzone area? Is that a rhetorical question? Um, there's things I like about the OG ones more. I think if they were to fix things about this, I would like it more. There's things that need to be fixed about both. 
I think I try to make the best of all of them. I've enjoyed all of them the most. I can't say I enjoy the ones back then more because I enjoy the one I play the most now. Even if it's broken and not the way I think it should be, it's just the newest experience. And it's hard to say the old ones are better when they're not up to date in many ways. Graphically, frames, all that. Might be too savage for my own good, bro. That's why I have a girlfriend to help soften me up and show me that there's more to life than being a savage in Call of Duty. Oof, I messed up a little bit. I messed up. I actually thought they went the other way based on the audio. GG. It's not Mr. So Easy. We've been slaying all sesh, legit slaying. And knowledge bomb dropping, the best gameplay, best wisdom, every, everything, bro, everything. But you already know if you're part of the Empire. It's annoying, dude. And all my plates again? 25 are left. Oh, I'm dead. Damn it, dude. Oh my god. <clears throat> Only cause stream I watch, and it's never a dull moment. It's quite the performance, bro. It's nonstop something happening, something going on. I want to leave you guys with feeling like you gained something in some way, whether it be amazing gameplay, whether it be knowledge and wisdom you haven't considered before, philosophies, mindsets, ways of being, feeling encouraged, motivated, enlightened, something. I want to provide you with more, more than you ask for, more than you bargain for. I want to hook you guys up with everything I got. That's why my streams are a different breed, bro. You guys are a different breed, too. Here in the EE, it's not your typical everyday McDonald's stream, bro. We're not a McDonald's streamer, okay? We're not a Twinkie guy. We're not a ho-ho man. No, bro. We're not a chubby cheek, sit on a butt all day. No, we're a savage that does not stop moving and grooving and slaying and being the absolute best, most dominant force possible. No matter the game, no matter what. Good luck to my enemies and my competition. Even AI is afraid of me. It doesn't know how to contain me, bro, because we're all over the board. It doesn't know if I'm an entertainer, a gamer, a conspiracy theorist, a truth seeker, a, an artist, if I'm a singer, a rapper, am I a editor, a Photoshop person? Are you a... Uh, what are you? I'm everything, yo. Everything in one. I can hop on my vlog and say I'm a... I, I can be whatever I want. My, my job... Is anything I want to be. And I love that the most. And I think everyone could be whatever they want to be, bro. We're all incredible. And so capable of amazing things. I'll see little kids randomly out and about. Showing off their moves with a basketball, a scooter. Got some dudes uh, who can uh, customize stuff really well. It's a lot of cool stuff, man. What do I do? Ah, uh, everything. But most of my life, Call of Duty. That's why I'm the best at this game. And this is the game I play. This is what this is the game I'm best at. We're trying to harness, gather, enlist. Like we're trying to, we're trying to get 
the dopest, the greatest, the wokest, the coolest, the chillest, the vibiest. I don't want people in my community, in my empire, that are negative, that are Debbie Downers, that try to belittle me or try to tell me to relax or calm down or chill out. Like, I'm expressing, bro, I'm expressing everything. And I don't need anyone in my life to be like, yo, don't do that. But people on the internet, they might try to say things that might feel like they're trying to bring you down. But it's up to us to not let others dictate how we think or feel. If anything, use it as fuel, because that's what I do. I see something I don't like, or if someone's trying to get under my skin, for some reason it fuels me up, and it makes me feel invigorated. I don't know. I feel energized when I have to like try, whether it be in the game or in real life, bro. I just, for some reason, just get this like amped energy. It's like before a tournament, before a competitive match, before anything. I love it. I wouldn't play the game if it wasn't competitive at all. But this Call of Duty is not the most competitive one. Even though people that play it are obviously trying their best, everyone is. Hmm. Need a gun. The more I play this, the more locked in I feel. Almost, almost got you there, buddy. Almost. I didn't know where it was coming from. Get ready. You're redeploying. And I think Ashika players generally are the best, the better players. Like the way people play Ashika and the people that play it, they're just better on the skill level. They play this a lot. Same thing with Vondell. People that play Vondell are good. I just noticed Vondell compared to Ashika players. There's a difference. Most people on Vondell, they just hide the whole time. They sit in a building or a rooftop. People on Ashika, they might hide, but like they're more freaky deaky like. El Masra, bro, take a net. More competitive players play MP. I need plates, yo. You and Noah four five six. He doesn't like me, but I think he is pretty good. Wait, Noah J or is there? Is it Noah J four five six? Because if that's the one, I don't think he likes me because he's all about the mainstream narrative and I'm not. So he's kind of a robot. No offense to him. He's really good at the game, but. I think some of his beliefs are robotic. No offense at all, by the way. I just don't follow mainstream, nor would I ever get something. <sighs> Let's not get too into detail. There's just some things that I've noticed some people sell their soul and uh, they don't even realize it. They think there's people in power that try to push things on people that think it's for the greater good, but it's actually a way of removing the heavenly holy energy <laughs> by doing what they tell you to do on TV. That's kind of the opposite. Because if TV actually cared and mainstream cared, bro, they would say, um, stop watching the news, stop eating garbage, junk food, and fast food, exercise daily, drink lots of water, Welcome green, foods, overhead. fruits, limit sector. the meat intake, make sure it's high quality meat, limit the amount of cheese and animal products you eat, because that stuff causes a lot of problems if you actually do the research. But so many people, bro, are so asleep. Me saying this triggers them, so they mute me on Twitter and stuff, because... I break, shatter their whole reality, and everyone views me like I'm the black sheep, when really it's just like the genius that no one actually realizes is, because they're just, you know, crazy people sound crazy to stupid people. I'm not calling Noah stupid by any means, by the way, just because I said his name before. I'm not, I'm not referring to him. He's actually very smart, very smart indeed. Some of the smartest people I know have the least common sense of all time, bro. It's wild. Like many of these smart Call of Duty guys probably have me Enemy muted because their math doesn't equate Hostile when they UAV. think about me. They still think we went to the moon. That's the problem. True, I, that's, it's starts there, bro. We talked about it earlier, but let's not trigger more people right now because I don't want to shatter people's realities this fast. 
before they go offline. Looking at bushes like people. Was that a person? UAV Good kill. Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. Get hunting. A true sign of intelligence is if you're awake or not to what's actually being put out there. That's a real sign of intelligence, in my opinion. If you just regurgitate what you were taught in school or in college from a textbook, is that real intelligence when you still think the TV is telling you the truth? I don't think you're intelligent at all, actually. But some people might think Hunt I'm UAV active. a very dumb person for not believing the mainstream narrative. But Hunt come on, you gotta be you gotta be awake. You gotta wake the F up, bro. I'm trying to wake people up, and if I can't wake people up, then hopefully just vibe with those who are awake. Um I've been vibing so much with homies in real life that I haven't talked to in a while, but when we speak, it's like it was yesterday. We're just talking about legit truth bombs that shift the way you think about reality. And I think level up my mentality. If you realize the real lies and open up and think outside the box, and then you start discovering more pieces of the puzzle, it's incredible that feeling. It's it's so fascinating. And it's it's you want to actually learn. You want to research, not just regurgitate what you've been told your whole life. Come on now. You gotta wake up. Many people are so old and so dumb. Smart in their own ways for sure, but they still believe what they're told and it's, you know, indoctrination and cognitive dissonance and it's, I'm dumb about a lot of things too, bro. The more I learn, the dumber I feel. Because once you start waking up for real, for real, like, oh my God, wait. That's how it actually works. That's how life actually is. And here, I thought I knew for the longest time. I thought I knew when I was five. And you realize one thing at a time, another piece of the puzzle, yo. There are 24 enemies active. Kill them all. Oh, thank you, Storm, for the five. I appreciate you. Always coming through with the love, man. Not necessary or expected Hostile by any UAV means. Active. Even if you were to not Hostile show up UAV one day and just disappeared. Hostile of course, UAV I mean, first UAV off, active. I'd be worried. I'd be like, yo, where's, where's Storm at? But if you didn't donate and, like, if you guys that are members stopped being a member, I wouldn't, like, not like you or hate you. I'd Enemy wonder, destroyed. like, where you were if Use I didn't see you in the chat. But I never want anyone feeling like you have to be donating or gifting or stuff because you have been. It's like going to a bar every day and just tipping your waiter generously or your bartender just because that's where you go but i don't want you guys thinking i'm your local bartender you don't have to tip me just because it's what you're used to doing i want you guys to feel like you can just chill and enjoy without having to give nothing just keep your eyes on the prize baby the storm thank you bro you're always doing the opposite of what i say and i respect i respect that i do i respect contrast if I say something and someone thinks the opposite, I love that. I don't know why, but I really do. Let's say when colors clash, like very opposite light colors that just look Enemy crazy next to each other. Obviously black and white, the yin and yang, that's incredible looking to me. But like other colors that just vibe. I like contrast in life. I've always liked it. This game's easy as hell. Damn. It's honestly too easy. That's the problem. It's too easy to kill. It's too easy to die. I feel like the best and die by a scrub. But if you truly are the best, bro, like number one in the world, then you're not going to lose ever. You have no reason to lose. If you truly are the best, there's no excuse. There's nothing you could say or do. You put the time in, you put the experience in, you got the knowledge, the awareness. You should know how to beat people at the same game you've been playing. You should know. I don't care if they're camping. I don't care if they're playing like a noob or rat. You should beat them if they really are bad. If you really are better. For real, guys. I should have no excuses. Like, it's my fault all the way. I couldn't dive. My fault. I need some cash. I think where the problem lies when we play is that we get we we compare ourselves to others. So if I can start comparing myself to other 
players in this game, other streamers, other whatever, then I s might stop doing what I do naturally because I'm worried that I might not be doing as good as so-and-so. How are they doing? I got to make sure I'm doing better than that. Like, just do your best. Win more games. UAV is being a fuel. RTB is You guys. You're going to need plates. You're going to die way too fast. I'm like trying to be a helpful enemy. This is what you could have done if you wanted to win. Not that. I want to stock up on... Wait, are you close? The hell? You in the air? Okay. I'm going to find some more cash and buy a durable extra self revives because the past two games or however many games came down to the final circles and I ended up coming second because I didn't have a durable gas mask or enough self revives a riot shield guy in a corner I couldn't like the circle was closed and then a guy in a helicopter other times throughout the sash stuff like that was happening so this time I will ensure that we're, we're prepared we have what we need Incredible aiming ability. Wow. Look at him go. Gotta be careful with what we push here. Thought I heard something. What is that? Who's looking? Who is it? go like do something I don't have my mp5 he's close I might be dead GG boys I said I might be dead because I didn't have a weapon for close up and he heard my footsteps I guess and, and just this I mean I'm surprised he heard me to be honest with you but uh, GG I'm gonna switch this back to the mp5 I still think I like it more than the ISO, even though the ISO does beat the MP5 up close because of the fire rate alone. I have to ensure I have my MP5 for close up because the Tech 9 is, is it's crap. It's really bad. It loses every gunfight. If you shoot him first, if you shoot him second, you still lose. It's only good underwater. It's not good. I probably would have been better off keeping this out to kill that guy because this thing is really, 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 really bad. Really bad. It used to be good when it first dropped, but I think they lowered the range or damage or something because it used to be really, really good. It was. I remember day one when I unlocked it. I'm like, oh my god, it's incredible. But then after a week, I'm like, why does it why is it not killing ever? Wild. I fell for my own trap. I said I have to be careful when I push. So what do I do? I push, then I die. GG. GG. I need a proper gun for that range. Ashika has become a little snoozy compared to Von Dell. A little. It's a smaller map but sometimes feels a little snoozy at times. Every BR is gonna feel snoozy. You wanna not snooze? Go play a hardcore shipment. That will uh, light you up. El Masra is the most boring experience in any COD game of all time. Um, so let's play it. I'm not even capping, it really is the most boring COD experience. Let me think of one more boring. Maybe the first two CODs. Like the first two CODs ever made, or maybe the third. If you play those first few, they are really boring. They really are not fun. Because they just don't play. I don't know. They don't play that well. MW2. Now we're talking. Or COD 4. The OG COD 4. That was one of the best playing CODs. MW2. I'm not actually sure if it's a better playing COD than COD 4. I think COD 4 had a higher skill gap. I think the aim and movement in there felt... I remember watching montages being like, damn, now that's real skill. MW2 introduced a lot of cheesy things that kind of handicapped the way the game would, would feel with the death streaks, one man army, danger close, noob tube, commando pro, that right there, all that kind of really ruined it. MW3 brought back the movement. It's faster. It brought specialists even quicker, having all the perks and the weapon proficiencies made it super lit. MW3 was sick. Shout out to Sludgehammer because they helped out with that one. So hopefully the new MW3 is going to be sick. 
based on a few impressions, people are making it seem like it's faster, that the movement's back. Because, bro, playing this, I'd rather jump off a bridge with the parachute. But I don't have a parachute to jump off a bridge with. Playing this by itself, solo, I have fun driving the vehicle. Driving the vehicles the most when I play this. I think it's a beautiful place to, like, go take a vacation. To, like, you know, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. But for a Call of Duty experience, you can't say it's one of the best ones. It's Warzone. It's the least Call of Duty Contact thing. The, the reason Vondel, Ashika, Rebirth are fun to me is because they felt more like MP. The pacing, the movement, you felt like you just could run and gun the whole time. MW2 took away the run and gunning feel because if you run, you're dead. If you get caught, if you're running and they shoot, every bullet hits. That's why you catch these people like speed running and then people acquiring target because aim assist is insane i don't know if it's aim assist or if it's something else but mw3 i don't want to have high hopes but people are saying it's going to be faster so i'm expecting that at least Sometimes things work out the opposite like you think. You might be so sure, so dead set that something's going to work out some way. Or you might believe something with your whole heart. And you believe it since you were five years old when I told you in kindergarten. But then when you grow up, you hear something that might challenge that. And you're like, wait, hold on. You're telling me it's not like what I thought. I have to change the way I think, the way I play. You're going to have to. Especially on a map like this. But... I say that, so make sure you guys just do what I say, but don't do what I do. Because what I do is not what I say. Sometimes, but when I, the way I play, I'm like, play smart, play safe, then I'm rushing. Then I die immediately. Then I then I cry about someone not moving. Then I play Vondale, and then you know how it goes. So let's try to get what we need, and then just go camp to the center. I really, I, I really will try to stick to my word this time. I watched Harry Potter 2 the other day. Whenever I'm on a train, it reminds me of Harry Potter. The best Harry Potter movies are 1, 2, and 3. And then the last one. 4, I would say 4. I like 4. But the first 3, legendary. People would say the third one's the best. Because everyone says it's the best one, it's not my favorite one. I think 2 might be. I like the, I like the vibe. I read Harry Potter one, two times. And when I say I read it, I read the chapter summaries two times. And when I say I read the chapter summaries two times, I skimmed through the chapter summaries two times. So I know my Harry Potter. They came to, if there's a school project, you think I'm gonna read the whole book? You kidding me? I'm gonna use Google, look up at the chapter summaries, and answer your silly, stupid questions, teacher. But I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna say, here you go, Mrs. So-and-so. You look so beautiful today. I love your outfit. You do such a great job teaching. Thank you for molding our minds and shaping the way we think and feel for the rest of time. I really do appreciate you. And I would get a 95 average just for saying that. Not really. I wasn't a teacher's pet. But teachers, I feel like treating me like that as if I did say that. I would be myself, bro. I'd get kicked out of class for saying something silly. But I swear even the teacher would laugh at it. But I would be the one to be made an example of because... Because I had such a great soul that teachers felt I could be the one that will be the example. I've genuinely felt that. Like, let's make... Because I would, I would play into it. I'd love to go out of the classroom. I would love to make a statement when it's very quiet in the class. I would... Dude, I loved... Uh, high school was fun for making everyone in the class laugh. Or, like, just talking to the weirdos, the jocks, the geeks, the, the freaks. I would talk to everybody. The kid that probably had a bomb or a knife. Talk to the kid that's definitely high on something. Talk to the jocks that have meat heads. Talk to the cheerleaders that are full of themselves. Talk to the nerds that are so smart. Talk to the emo kids that watch Naruto and run like that. Talk to the gym class tryhard heroes because I was also a gym class tryhard hero. Bro, I was friends with everybody. Everybody, dude. And everybody was friends with me. I don't think a single person ever said something negative to me. Because they couldn't. I was way too friendly and positive. It's hard to be mean to someone that's nice. 
like just inherently nice to your core. You just look at someone, you're like, oh, you look so sweet and innocent. And then I play Call of Duty and become an absolute savage. And I forget. What are we what are we doing? Alright. I miss high school just for the people. Cause it was fun. Homework was obviously not, but I forgot that school existed once I stopped. Like I thought, okay, guys, school's not actually important. Everyone actually do go do what's important instead. How about school start teaching things of actual importance? Like teach people how to do their taxes. I still don't know how to do it. Gotta pay people to do it. I'm not gonna lie, I probably do know how. I just I don't feel like going through all my bank statements, adding everything up, and then like that's I sure what probably businessmen do. I'll hire someone to do that part. I don't like paperwork. I don't like all that. You, you guys can worry about that stuff. Let me just live my life. I'll do what I have to do. I pay my bills. I do what I have to do. So just, hey, take the money out of my account if you have to. Take it out. Holy crap, bro. Slavery might not exist here in America. Unless you consider paying taxes a form of slavery. Sure feels like it. I pay school taxes, dog. I don't even go to school. They should at least cut my yard for free. I still have to pay for that or do it myself, but I have to get a new mower. All I have is a weed whacker right now, and that's going to be tough to cut grass that's 12 inches tall. But now I got it taken care of because the town came through. Well, some Karen old lady next door, I think, complained about my grass being more than 10 inches because it was pretty long, not going to lie, but I really don't care. You know, people might judge me for that. I, I agree it looks good when it's cut, but I think it looks great when it's long. I think it looks natural. It looks beautiful. I want to live amongst a forest of trees and grass and animals. I really love it. I want to be away from neighbors. I want to live somewhere where you can't complain about my property that I pay for. Like, let me grow it to my damn rooftop. Let me get through my grass like it's a safari with a machete. If that's what I want, I pay taxes. Let me do it. But there's rules. So some Karen complained. I had two dudes. One looked like Tim the Tatman. Other guy looked like Z-Laner. Literally exactly and they helped me out they were super cool dudes shout out to brandon and jeffrey jeff at least i think that was their names shout out to them bro they they hooked me up and i paid them for their service i gave them both 100 bucks i thought that was generous enough they have these big ass mowers that were able to cut right through it he even cut down a tree with that thing he wrote rode over a tree it was impressive <clears throat> I also have two speeding tickets that I have to pay for it at the end of this month. The second one was baloney. I was in my grandma's car. The thing can't even speed if you want to. The cop was just feeling frisky. He stopped while in front of me, disregarding the people whizzing past me. He thought I was probably some wee old lady, so he's gonna pick on an old lady. He realized it was me with my, I was picking up my uh, sister, her boyfriend, and her and their friend from the Canadian bus stop somewhere they went to germany to go see some performance some music i already forgot who some german band or something and uh while driving my i drove my grandma's vehicle there to pick them up because my vehicle needed an oil change for like a week and i didn't want to keep pushing it so i grabbed my grandma's vehicle i didn't bother with my radar because i'm like i can't even speed in this thing it's hard to speed in it i was in a 55 zone going 65 i thought that was like you know that's okay, right? Ah, GG. Oh, I didn't do what I was going to say. My bad, guys. My bad. I'll do it now. I'm going to go back to that guy first and kill him. So long story short, I got pulled over going 10 over. Uh, don't speed. It's not worth it. Unless you just want the thrill of potentially getting caught, which is a thrill. At some point in my life, I'm not saying I will, soon, some point in my life, I will, uh... Is that illegal to say something that you're going to do illegally in the future? I might potentially go really fast and not stop. Is that allowed? It's allowed if you don't get caught. It's tough to get caught, though, if you don't stop. But then if you get stopped, you lose your license. So, what's the price you want to pay? Do you want to drive? 
or not? Well, let's find out. I'm gonna, I'm losing your, I see your suckers, wham! Just bam, explosion, you're crashed, now you're dead. Was it worth it now? That's like a commercial, trying to tell you to slow down. <laughs> they hit you, they hit you with it real hard. I was I was going for you, that's for sure. What angles, guys? Go on, go ahead, go ahead, take your shot, take your shot, take your shot. Go ahead, go ahead, take your shot. Go ahead, take your shot. Go ahead, take the shot. Go ahead, go ahead. The hell, take the shot. Take the shot. I think I saw it to the Erie County Fair on Sunday. The last day it was open, but I was too scared to walk up to you. No. I promise I'm not as scary as I see when I play Call of Duty. I swear on everything. I'm probably going to be the friendliest person you've ever met. I, I mean that, too. I'm not going to be like Elite Shot Persona like, Drop down, soldier! Blah, blah, blah! Push-ups and vegetables! I'll just be like, Yo, what's up, dude? How we do? Hey, man, I appreciate that. Yo, thank you for saying what's up, man. I'd love to get a picture with you. Oh, sweet. I'm not gonna be like... What? Can't you see I'm out? Don't bother me ever again. God. I won't be like that. Unless you want me to be. Alright, so this guy might have some form of... Like, I don't want to say a mental disease or disorder. But based on what I'm experiencing so far... He might be somewhere on the spectrum. And I am as well. Look at these things. That gives it away right there. Bouncing Bettys. Like, oh my god. They just put him out of his misery. Oh, jeez. Wow. Poor guy. You know? Poor guy. I might actually die next. I might be the next one on the list. I'm gonna have to hit a buy and get a self-revive for a few. It's wild that people play this. I can't tell if people are real or bots. I really can't. <clears throat> I mean, Solo? Almazra? Oh my goodness. Woo! Yeah, everyone's got high explosive on. What kind of optic is that? Not a buy station. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Everybody, come take my hand. We'll walk this road together through the storm. Whatever weather, cold or warm. Let you know that you're not alone. <laughs> you ever see the guy singing that song with a lot like there's a lot of people around him. He was trying to get the crowd involved and no one sung along. He was like being arrested or something while singing it, trying to sing that song. And there was like cops and like people just looking at him like, bro, no one's gonna join you in this song. You're just gonna get arrested. And that's that. I've never been arrested before. Should I find a reason? Call of Duty Gamer goes on rampage in real life after feeling like he is an actual COD God. People actually play this game? Holy moly. If I just keep saying that, maybe I'll win. If it, yo. They need a mini. Excuse me. They need a mini royale for solo, like 24-7. There's no reason it should take this long to get one kill. Everything has to be to my pace, and everything has to be made to my liking. Emperor Ali shot, get what he he gets what he wants, nor does he have to speak clearly either. He just gets it because everyone knows what he's talking about.
So now, I sit in the center and wait. Let's pick the most center spot and be the biggest bum I could possibly, possibly become. The biggest bum. Enemy soldier incoming. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I have some gifts for you. They're up in my bum. Do, 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 do. Pew 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 pew. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Wait, you're not. Hostile counter UAV is active. Wait. Wait, what kind am I even holding? That's not an MP5. I literally thought it was an MP5. Pack 56. Oh, that's the ugliest thing I've ever picked up. Jeez, you have a sniper with that? Oh, no wonder. No wonder you're a loser. Not in real life, just in the game because he lost. I'm not calling him a loser. That would be not nice. I want to be a winner. So what do I have to do? Sit in the center. If you want to be a winner, sit in the center. If you want to be a winner, sit in the center. I'm a little baby that plays El Miser. If I want to be a winner, sit in the center. Yay! It's so much fun. If you're happy and you know it, clap your cheeks. If you're happy and you know it, clap your cheeks. If you're happy and you know it, and you're in the rain. Felt a lot better than him. I just kind of knew he was gonna die, but I gotta be careful because I'm like, oh, good shots, good shots. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That dude, that's the first, that's the first time I've heard, the first time I heard that in probably, I'm not gonna lie, three months, probably at least 25 streams. Um, I haven't heard that response in a long time. He overcommitted way too hard because he licked me a little bit. Being a better player means you being the more patient player. He sh deserved the kill, truly he did. He did deserve it because, I mean, he had the first shots and the movement, but I feel like I deserve that one, for being honest. I do, I feel like I deserve that kill. I feel like I personally deserved it based on what I, sh how many times I hit him. He's got a P90 from that range, let's see it. Yep. And that's why you can't take this game seriously, people. He won that 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 somehow he won he's able to sway off target but my consistently accurate shots don't get it don't get the job done I even aimed higher mass you can't take this game seriously people first time I heard that in probably I'm not gonna lie three months probably at least 25 streams um, I haven't heard that response in a long time he overcommitted way too hard for me licking a little bit Being a better player means you being the more patient player. He should deserve the kill, true, he did. He did deserve it because 
to get the first shot in the movement, but... I deserve that kill. I feel like I personally deserved it. Based on what I, how many times I hit him? He's got a peanut if not racist. Being a better player means you're being the more patient player. He deserved the kill, truly, he did. He did deserve it because, I mean, he had the first shots and the movement, but... Hey, you could be the judge. You could be the judge of that if you want. This game is phony as shit, bro. Literally designed for handicapped people that don't know how to play Call of Duty. I'm not making fun of handicapped people. I'm, I'm talking about people that, that aren't capable of playing Call of Duty properly. Literally designed for people that don't even deserve the kill. He did not have more headshots. If you watch that back, hell no, he did not. He was off target. Relying 100% on aim assist. Me, 100% on target. Landed many, many headshots. Upper chest, neck, did not miss. Don't get the kill. Bro. Remember, this game has matchmaking algorithms that balance gunfights out. Giving the player that doesn't deserve it the kill sometimes. It always does. Happens both ways. It's all... For the sake of balancing and hopefully making you want to play more because you feel cheated, you feel scammed, you feel like you were taken advantage of. So you're like, well, I'm going to go again to prove that I'm better. You do win because you are better. Then the next game feels the same way. It feels phony as hell. I don't like arcades because of that reason, because they're not real. I don't like even fake arcades that have skill games because even those are rigged. I like the racing games, the shooting games. But every game is going to be rigged in some way. Professional sports, all of them are rigged in some way. Now they introduce that to gaming. It's incredible how they brought that over to gaming. Incredible, man. Incredible stuff. Hey, guys, I'm going to have to eat some more bread or something. I got... No fuel in the tank right now. I'm gonna find something to munch on. Check weapons and gear. We're holding for deployment.
Oh shit. What happened to my game? All I have is cucumbers and bread. I saw that video. He thought the airport was going to join him in singing. <laughs> I might have to find it. Oh, this is so not, this is so, man, this is so not good. guys this is how i feel when i'm streaming when i'm trying to amp you guys up this is how i feel and i'm just like Little bit, little bit of inspiration to get you going. My God, what the hell? I can't wait till my channel's big enough where I could just react to other videos. I'm not there yet, though. Maybe one day. Because I would love to just react to videos all day long. Why do anything? We could just watch people do stuff instead and just react to it. I haven't made it to the big leagues yet, though. One day, boys. One day. <clears throat> why am I... Yo, why do I play this game for as long as I do? Does anyone know? Why? Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know why I do. I feel like there's probably many games... I mean, I play COD, but, like, why do I play it this long? Why do I stream it this long? It's honestly fun for a few hours... After that, it's not really fun. It's really not. Not to be... What's fun? What's fun to me? Let me think of the most fun things I, I do. Snowboarding is so fun. I love snowboarding. Video games, they're supposed to be fun. But this Call of Duty is not one of them. It's not... I wouldn't call it fun. It's... I don't even want to say competitive. It's like... Well, how would you say grinding your head against a, like a concrete wall? It's like uh, suffering. It's like suffering. You know what they say about suffering? Well, you can't have life without suffering. They say suffering is life. There wouldn't be life without it. So if you never suffered ever you wouldn't know what joy was you wouldn't know what happiness was contentment was fulfillment was if you never felt other things like sadness depression anxiety if you haven't felt these other things that people get medicated to because they're feeling when i think a lot of these feelings are natural but i think there's ways to uh calm your nerves and your system and make yourself feel better other than taking pills that numb your brain and the best thing you could do is breathe. First off, literally breathe. I don't breathe enough when I stream. I'm very focused. So my breaths are probably shallow. They're not like very deep inhales that are really good for you. Because getting oxygen to all parts of your body. Your organs. Your blood. So instead of taking pills, breathe first. Some pills you might need to take because of health reasons, I know. But man, so many pharmaceutical companies just making bank poisoning the youth oh man but change is upon us my friends we're going through changes right now i, I see so many people waking up i'm, I'm reading so much information on the internet i don't think they thought the internet was going to be 
the way it is. I don't think if they didn't. I don't think they. Uh, I think they underestimated how quickly information was going to spread, and it spread so quick they start. They started like taking stuff down, censoring, blacklisting, shadow banning. But because they started taking stuff down, it makes it more obvious. So it's like the uh, the stry sand effect. So like the harder they tried to censor and block things, the more loud it becomes and the more obvious it is. So. I feel like we're at a turning point right now, and it's like the Titanic going down really, really slowly, though. And it's up to you if you're gonna get a raft or not before you die in the cold water. You know, you got Rose saying she's never gonna let go. The first thing she does when she gets a little cold is she lets go of Jack. Jack could have 100% most definitely fit. Myth busted, bro. Jack could have fit on that raft. They did the test. Um, the director, I already forgot his name right now, who directed Titanic. It wasn't Spielberg, right? It was, uh... Well, whoever it was. If he could have done the movie over, he would have ensured Jack died for sure. By making sure the raft was only enough for her. That's what he said. What an ass. I was, I cried every time I heard that song come up. As a kid, I remember going to living room, my mom's playing it, I would cry every time. I'll still cry about it. I'll cry right now if you want. James Cameron. Thank you. Thank you. Cameron. I knew it wasn't Spielberg because it just doesn't sound right. Cameron does. Why is bread so good? When you're hungry and have nothing else to eat. Bread is so not even good for you. Bread's actually not good for you. That's a little fun fact I realized later on. Bread is not good for you, bro. All that gluten, that's not good for your system. The pastas and all the breads and all the uh, grains and all the a lot of bread and gluten. No bueno. At least for me, in my research. In my body. Hey, maybe that's your diet. Maybe you only eat bread. Hell. I love how sniping feels amazing in this game. I'm not even gonna kill the guy. Fuck, get over. Oh my god, he's gonna chase like crazy. I'm gonna hop off from up there. Be smart. Sniping MW1 was so smooth. It was so great. This, can this lead me to safety? Or is this lead me to a, just a room? Wait, is that... That's you? That's him, bro. Wait, wait, wait. wait was that him? That, fucking gear. What's, what's that? remaining operators from that squad. I can't f I have more health when they're freaking down. on his deathbed takes two melee whacks to the face with a gun. Be advised, enemies deployed to fight. If you were to bash him on the face, I mean, this is a game, bro. Holy moly. What do they do? Why did they make it not feel like... What do they do to the game? I said every time I played, but why... Yo, MW3 better be sick, bro. It's not gonna be Warzone 3. Warzone's gonna stay the way it feels. But I hope the MP resembles something that doesn't make you pissed off every time you play. 
most enemies, most people I hear that play, I don't know if there's a good energy surrounding this game. Any, every sesh, everyone's in some mood, so then it makes me feel like I have to be more savage. Or not care at all and just play dumb and somehow win a game with barely paying attention. <clears throat> but I remember older CODs not fe like they were tough. They were frustrating at times, but the way it was designed, it wouldn't it wouldn't grind my What's gears. Up, they there. found a great way to piss people off. That pissed me off real good. Real good. Bread doesn't make you fat, it just makes you unhealthy. All you eat is bread. It might, it, might you it might make you fat, but it'll make you inflamed. It'll make you doughy. It'll make you look like the doughboy. Straight up. Like you'll see little ass kids that are so doughy looking, eating so much bread and carbs, crackers and cereal and chips and cookies, cakes, pastries. That's all just absolute garbage. I've been making a goal of mine to cut out all garbage and seeing how it affects my health. And damn, do I feel energized. Bro, I've been going for six, seven hours, and I feel like my energy... Marching the rest of them. I could go run a marathon right now. Never run a marathon before, but right now, I feel like I can. At this moment in time. So much of the junky foods make you feel slow, exhausted, and heavy. It weighs you down. But when you're eating the foods from the gods, you're going to feel like a god yourself. And that's not bread. The type of bread would be like flat bread. Bread that you like make in the sun. Bread that does not have gluten. It would be not even bread to you. The foods I find the best taste the worst to most people. I want like every natural ingredient into a powder, which I do have by the way, and I mix it with water or a protein po uh, juice, powder, whatever. Um, and damn, that stuff right there, when you're drinking the foods from the gods, it makes you feel like a god. my backup a sniper I might die right here I'm okay my enemies are actually all sweat balls though all of them because I'm a sweat ball my stats are a sweat ball stat 4.2 KD the last 10 games you don't think the games put me against people that know how to play 100% they are let me team up with one of you guys you'll see the difference in the lobbies immediately and I don't mean that in a mean way like if you got lower stats and I play with you lobbies will be easier for me but more difficult for you Because it mixes in a little combination of both. If you play with a variety of people that all have varied stats, you're, I can tell my enemies are like sometimes clueless, sometimes just running around. But if it's just me or playing with someone that has stats just like mine or higher, lobbies are ruthless. The matchmaking is ruthless. The whole game, how it feels, ruthless, bro. It's not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. If I ever had a heart attack playing Call of Duty, that is not the way I'd want to go down. I'd rather have a heart attack making love, baby. <laughs> Someone's ADSing somewhere sitting still for sure. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure bro. Obviously, 100% guaranteed. How do I know? Because that's how people play. How do I know he's going to be right there? Because that's how people play. Obviously. I feel like I don't know how to stop. My enemies don't know how to move. But that's my weakness, is not knowing how to stop. And the people that are stopped will sometimes get you when you're moving. That's how it goes, yo. 
But after seven hours of playing this game, I can't just sit still because I'm already sitting still in my chair right now. I can't sit still twice. I don't play this to sit in the corner and wait. Jeez Louise. Now, if there's an objective, a goal, where if I'm playing with somebody and our goal is to win, we're both going to do what we have to do. If I'm going solo, I don't even care what happens. We're just going in. Wow, you're a different rat. I didn't know it existed. You guys are incredible at this game. Guys. What's up with everyone playing like this? Huh? Is this the way to do it? <clears throat> this is how you do it? Is this, is this what you do? I mean, is this how you win? Just, just testing out a new strategy, guys. Just let me make sure I can't sneak behind me. Just testing a new strat. Just learning from the best of the best. Hostile dropping into the area. Watch the skies. Uh, don't worry about me, guys. Just practicing a new strategy, that's all. 25 are still active in the AO. Is this fun to watch, guys? Y'all entertained right now? What do you guys think? 10 out of 10, IGN, or maybe even 11? Over the top, best of the best, number one. The greatest Call of Duty player of all time. Mackerel. How loud are my footsteps? I'm gonna throw preemptively one of these. What? Little tippity taps. Who the hell did that? That's way too slow. Gas is closing in. What the shnikes? Why do you sound like you're right there? A gas mask or something, guy. There's a guy up there, guy. We're all in this together. Come on, guys, sing it with me. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Come on, guys, everybody, come take my hand. Come on, y'all. We walk this road together. Come on, guys, let's get into it. Through the storm, no one's singing. Oh, everybody, <sighs> yes, yes. Oh my god, that's... Whoa! I didn't want to quit out of the game. It almost quit out of itself. What the hell? I didn't... 
I thought I saw a person. I'm not even kidding. I think I did. God forsaken game am I playing? Can I sw squeeze through there? I'm gonna squeeze through. No, I'll squeeze through. There you go. There you go. Perfect. Hey, Lord, have mercy! <laughs> no, I was kidding. It was a joke. Come on, guys. Hold my hand. We're, we're, we're rock this, bro. Together. Through the storm. Whatever weather. He's got a bomb. Just kidding. Just testing to make sure y'all on point. Beep, beep, beep. Just kidding. I have 57 G's. Make you 60. Oh, where, oh, where could he be? I don't have a mask or self. No, no, no. Wait, why was I getting a weird lock feeling? Two seconds, no. No, no. My victory loaf. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. We got him. I feel when I play Call of Duty. Ladies 
Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. The cadence, the rhythm, the delivery. Impressive. Guys, what do we do after winning? Do I take a break now? Do I end it on a win? Or do I keep going? Do I end it on a win or do I keep going? If I win, I got to play again. But if I lose, I got to play again. Heads, I win. Tails, you lose. No matter what I do, I got to go again. If you win, you go again. If you lose, you go again. Just one more game. Guys, I'm going crazy playing this game. Someone help. Someone, I need backup. I need backup. Someone send it help. Don't send the SWAT team in though, bro. I don't want them messing my stuff up, man. Oh, I got to stretch, dude. I feel like I didn't do anything all day but play this game, bro. I was playing this game. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Trios. I'm cracking every uh, part of my body. Listen. Everything's yeah, cracking. We're crack a freaking lacking, bro. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I was up so. Did you what? I hit a nasty snipe. Oh. Uh. Use the time to practice. We will be deploying soon. like want to sit i don't even like want to sit back down bro i've been sitting all day oh my god i know people camp in call of duty when the entire time you're sitting in a chair you're already not moving how do you not move twice how do you not want to move two times are so quick to say, oh, level 1,000, I bet you're fat with no girlfriend. Actually, I'm the opposite, and I have a beautiful girlfriend. No, we can't explore here now. No, I don't know. We got a Randy or no? Oh, we do. A good one. Oh, no. Hopefully he's I am breaking play. stereotypes. A thousand, you gotta be high. You gotta play a lot to get to a thousand. Five seconds. If I mute them, can I unmute them? I'll just go where they drop. I don't wanna. I don't wanna talk to them because I'll mess up their vibe and then they won't play well. If I start talking, I just mess up their mojo. I don't wanna mess it up. I want them to think I'm not that good and that they have to worry that like you better get yo Willie, you better you better get kills if you're not having a mic, bro. It's like you better get more than one kill and do more than hundred damage. I'm used to having teammates that are like, yo, you better do something, you know, call the leak shot. Like you better stay alive for more than 0.5 seconds. Don't worry about me, worry about yourself. Bounty targets are up. Take them down. Nikki is quick. Since when did Nicki Minaj get that fast? No way she's that fast. I want to take that vest. What the hell? I tried taking it. He took it before I could take it. I'll grab a ninja star. These things kind of throw straight. I'm gonna hit him with one of these. Pop that up. Got 
My switch is mighty Squad slow. Well done. Not even a little peek. I'm taking this path. Less obvious. Guys are the most typical bushes. I thought you were kind of a teammate. I don't know. I mean, I saw the blue. I don't know. Your dog tag. Move to oh, I literally saw the blue name. You're lucky the game has aim assist. Truly, you're lucky. They play like it's their first game of all time. Where are the savages, bro? Where are the freaks that do not stop? They're out here somewhere. It's Ashika Island. The people on here, bro, they're on something. There might be something that's in the water. I don't know. But I'm used to people using their left sticks a bit more. These guys? I think they're still in here. Guys still in here? They're still in here, all right. And that, I love how, Jesus, Grimity! Oh my god! Bro! Oh, what? look at the kill cams! Look at the game! Look at the way people play! Look how lock on aim assist it is! Holy moly! Where are the real players at? Jesus, give me a gun that shoots bullets. All right, here's this one shoots bullets. I need like real bullets. Eagle bullets. Your squad mates are they put, bro. Well done. Bosnia, I can't. Bosnia, I can't. I 12 bullets, not enough. 32 might be. We're all gonna die by the gas. Damn, GG boys. That gas is faster than us. Your squad mates back on station. Good <clears throat> Bro, it's been an absolute session for seven hours. We've seen it all. We've seen it all, bro. I can't believe we've seen it all, but we have in this sesh. Time for vengeance. You redeploy. We are the last of a dying breed. We're detecting vulnerability and I want to continue sector. the legacy. What's the legacy, you ask? Playing this game solo for way more hours than one should. These two got the best teammates they could have dreamed about. Honestly, not right now. I'm not playing well right now. I can't even pick up my guns. If I can get my guns and not get instantly dropped by a team charging me, I might be able to do something. Might be able to get something going here. Oh, that one. Thank you, boys. Thank you. I don't know if they bought it or what, but... I really have to go back, man, and cut some moments out and, like, straight up send it to the developers. Like, is this how it's supposed to be? Is this normal? Will this be an MW3? Question mark? I feel like I might be one of the best beta testers. We'll break the game by trying to abuse the mechanics. We've seen some weird things. I've won some games in weird ways today. And I've also lost some games in annoying ways. Win some, lose some. Like, we've lost games where people were flying in the air, didn't have enough self revives. Yo, Papa Glockachu. How we doing, brother? Been a member for five months. He said, Sean, my wife and I just had our first daughter, Taylor, last night around 9.30. The stream is helping me get through the night in the hospital, brother. Yo, congratulations to you and the wife, my dude. Making, you're making your own life. A young prodigy in the making.
congratulations, man. I'm no dad, but I heard when people become one, it changes you forever, and there's no going back. Now you're dad forever. And that's pretty epic, man. Let me guess. No more Call of Duty gameplay for you? Now that your life's consumed by the child's, all of your time, energy, and money must go into growing this little thing. I wish you the best, bro. I really do. <laughs> the sleepless nights and the, and the poopy diaper changes. I wish you the best, man. I still have to change my poopy diaper after my streams. For real? Chill. <laughs> the hell? I wish I could buy more right now, but I really can't. As long as I'm doing my team's damage combined, I'm doing something, even if I'm dead right now. It's my goal, bro, to literally get more kills and damage than my whole team combined every time. I could probably do a better job if I were to stick around with them. Probably. You know, working as a team enough. You're funny, you're funny. No, baby. Our baby doesn't have a gender. It's actually going to be gender neutral. We're going to dress it in dresses and suits. Let the baby decide what it wants to be. Damage, all the damage. Sick and tired of bombs sticking their better. They're lucky I barely try half the time I play this game. I'm like talking about. Ancestral stuff, right? Meanwhile, they're struggling to get one kill. If I lock it in and focus up, it's gonna be difficult pushing that too. Nice, boys. Come on. You know we're over here. Move to the circle. I still have to get self. Get lit up. Oh, oh, oh. I'm like wanting to stay on the edge to potentially shoot back, but then see two, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get out of here. been one of the not least fun Ashika matches of all time. Every time we just got caught. 
That's what I get for running around solo, though, honestly. It's not about how much kills and damage you do, it's about how close you hold your teammates' hands, and whoever stays alive longer wins. But when I play, I'm just trying to get as many kills and do as much as damage as I can, but we paid the price. Now we ate the dust. 3,800 damage and 5 kills. Crazy. 1,500 but 4. Crazy, bro. Crazy enemy. game. You're nearly done. Remember, it's 300 health per enemy. There's just been a lot of times where I couldn't finish the kill because you'll down one or two, but then there's two other buddies are right there. So you have to retreat. They revive one of them. You're down another. You can't get that kill. You got to run away. You got to kill someone else. Like, crazy, crazy, crazy. How the world is right now, Sean, some people take that idea and let their child decide what they truly feel, even when the obvious is obvious. Well, of course. I mean, we live in a twisted society. Of course it's gonna be crazy, bro. Parents, a lot of parents, I feel like, maybe didn't even have the best parents themselves, so then they teach their kids what they weren't taught, and the cycle repeats itself. Well, how the man, why we, 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 we. This world needs good parents, man. Good parenting skills that, but the parent himself has to know how to parent themselves. You can't eat junk and garbage all the time and expect your kids to come out looking perfect. Growing up to be the best they could be if they're eating McDonald's every day. Come on now. Oh my God. He actually goes for the res. The man is a living legend. Now we're gonna win the game because of him. Literally, GG, bro. The question is, am I going to be able to drop in with that full team? Oh no. Oh no. I need like... Is that the last team? We might be in trouble. I don't think I'll be able to land. That's literally the last team. I'm not going to be able to land. How am I going to land in the water without getting a shot? He's going to have to shoot them now. I have to shoot right now too. Dude, where's the rest of them? Wow, wow, the teammate with the flipping clutch, he's level one thousand fifty. Let's get it, baby. It's not every day you see a teammate come through and get all the reses and us winning the game because of it. We actually dropped in with the Lockman sub. I dropped in the same time he engaged, so I was hoping it would buy me some time. And it did, bro. Our homies dropped in too. They're picking people off from different angles. What do you know? The buyback got us the win. This dude's name is Go Buy Him Back. GG. 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 bro. GG's, bro. G a G, everybody. Now everybody take my hand and come together. G a G. Can I end it, guys? Am I am I good? You guys never want it's it's never enough for you guys. I could have the most ridiculous game. Not one time would you say, you know what, Elite? Go take a break. You're gonna say just one more. Run it back. Go again. When do I get a break? I take a break for a few minutes to take a piss or get something to eat. When do I get a rest? Boss, you guys are my boss. You guys demand more. I feel like a flower today, bro. But I came out with so much energy, so. I look all soft and friendly and, and like, look at that flower boy. But then I'm a ferocious savage of an animal. I don't want you to end, but I kind of want you to take a break. You good, bro. If you need to go, just let us know.
Bro, I had to go after the, the moment I start playing this game, I feel like I have to go. But I stick through it. I win. I lose. I get back up. I go again. I win. I lose. I go back again. I win. I win. I lose. I lose. I win. I lose. I win. And it's never enough for you guys. It's never enough. I literally dropped the most truth wisdom bombs of all time. People be like, that's cool. How about just one more game though? When does it end? The question is, what I already said. The answer, you already know what it is, bro. It never ends. You always go again. The COD cycle repeats itself. I'm going to play Call of Duty until I'm old and wrinkly. And I'll still be wondering why YouTube shadow bans me and I still only get 100 views per stream. But nonetheless, bro, I'm going to keep doing my best, coming out on top, catching more dubs, dropping truth bombs, and waking up individuals worldwide. Our energy is limitless. It's infinite. Our potential is whatever we want to be, bro. And if YouTube doesn't appreciate that, so be it. We'll keep staying lit, staying woke, and learning more every day, bro. Hope you guys enjoyed this sesh. I could keep going. The problem with this game is it's addictive, and uh, I like to play, but then after a while, it's tough for me to stop. You guys want to see more? Part of me is like, you just go again. And then other parts like, yo, take a break. And you guys make it hard, man. You guys make it real hard for me to stop. I know it's up to me, but it's like, now I got let down you guys that wanted to watch more. But I'd rather leave you wanting more than saying like, okay, I think you should stop now. Prestige worldwide. Mr. Recon tuning in at the end of the sesh. Don't forget to drop a like. Bro, don't you dare encourage me to keep going. We have we need a break. You guys get breaks too at some point, right? Boats and hoes. Take care of your mind and body. Damn, for real though, we blessed. I said it earlier, you, you ain't read it. You said each to our own gotta respect how it is. I'm not sure what you said, but I read everything you said. I read it, bro. I'm more than a puppet that reads, I swear. Hope you guys enjoyed this sesh and maybe learned something new. Maybe I, I'm helping you on your journey of life to wake up, to realize, to realize. Go down the rabbit hole. You'll, you're going to find out some amazing things. And you're going to start putting all those pieces together. But it starts with one question that you're going to have to, I guess, find throughout this sesh. If you don't know this one question, if you don't think you're woke, bro, then you probably don't know. You got to know to know. And once you know, you don't unknow. Stay elite, bro. Keep doing your best. Showing up in whatever way that is. I'm going to see you guys again sooner than later. Enough is never enough for you guys. But I don't plan to stop anyways, as long as you enjoy. That's all that matters to me. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys again on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Have fun, yo. Get some rest, bro. Keep walking. Keep waking them up. Always, brother. Thank you for the two. Thank you, Recon. Thank you, chat. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Stay woke. Stay awake. Stay elite. Rinse and repeat. See you guys on Monday. At the latest. Bang, bang. Whew. Quite the sesh. So much bombs within it, yo. Play it back. Later. Skaters. <sighs> Good night, y'all. Y'all make it hard to leave. Take care. Doses. Bye, everybody. Bang!